great to be here. Our man Kenneth Rokafor is in the house. We're going to be closing down Roken, an am amazing campaign that I, I can't do justice myself. So I have assembled a team of experts who are going to help me break down just how awesome a campaign this is. I'm waiting for the comments to start showing up. Let's see who we got. I got my man, One Wicked Evo. It is good to see you, Bow. You know what I'm saying? My man, Lord Raven, or the chats are coming in. Keep that going. We're going to be talking about some books. We're going to be talking about some upcoming campaigns, and we're going to be closing Groken out. So here, let me show you guys real quick here. Let's see where we're at with Groken 2 right now. And everybody, man, Make sure you're showing some love. Let's throw some Roka Force in there. Um, we got a show. Let's let's see what we got over here. Boom. All right. We're at 119,000. So if you guys did not hear last night, the stretch goal we got to get to tonight, $125,000. You guys think we can do it? Let me know. We got Conspiracy and Comics. Welcome, sir. Odin Dasko. His link for his... His uh, sign-up project coming up soon is in the description, and uh, as long as uh, as well as a bunch of other campaigns coming up. But um, speaking of, we got Kyle. Good to see you, brother. Refresh. Are we saying refresh? All right, let's refresh this real quick. Let's refresh here, because I got this is all falling on my shoulders. If we don't get to one hundred twenty-five thousand, everybody is gonna be. Oh, why? All right, we're moving. We're moving, baby. Let's go. You know, I'm gonna be bringing some other people in and out. You know, here to help us out tonight. You know what I'm saying? We got Matthew Fowler. We got Jay Dollar. We got Crazy Man. We got my man Jeremy Burtz who sent me some fan art from Grokin. We'll be showing that off. We got Hicks Villain. You know what I'm saying? Good to see you. We got Hiawatha, a.k.a. my man Shep. We got Mike TV Dub. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get to 125K, get this stretch mark or stretch goal for this bookmark, baby. So, you know, but yeah. So we're going to talk. Be, we're going to be closing down Grokin. I can see my man Nico. Good to see you. Um, So. You know, we're going to be talking about some other campaigns during the middle as we're as we're closing this down. We're going to be here all night till three o'clock closing this down. Um, we got Corey Barton. You'll be seeing something to him uh, here in just a minute. I'm going to show you guys uh, something I put together for you. So whatever. And then I'm going to bring on the panel. So here we go. Bow. Books. Check them out. Books. Check them out. Pick up a book. You got a fantasy, imagination can take you to where you want to be. Are you curious? How can you find out? Books, check them out. Books, check them out. Read about stars and cars, play electric guitars, or cops that work hard, patrolling the boulevard, the heavyweight champ and his craziest bout. Books, check them out. Books, check them out. At your library. looks good boy that look good all right but yeah let's bring on the panel you know what i'm saying first up we're gonna bring on my co-host with the mostos or whatever however we want to go my man steve that's star wars boy welcome Damn. steve you excited super excited you sound like it you know what i'm saying you know you're <laughs> you know you're just you know vibrating with positivity but yeah to help us out i have enlisted the trust from the colonel the man, this guy, is amazing talent, amazing artist, illustrator, video game creator. You guys know him, Zade Studios. Bow, bow, what up, buddy? Aye, 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 yeah, bow, yeah, 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 bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. He yeah. is going to be helping me co-host tonight. He's going to be handling all the technical, um, you know, art, art stuff. You know, whatever. Whoop de woo. Um, we also got. You know, coming in, up and coming, rising sensation, Dean James. Good day, wow. everyone. You know it. All right. So, also to help out, the guy from How to Draw Comics, my good friend, Clayton Barton. Let's bring him in. Bow. 
Hey, what's up, everyone? Darren, I love your energy tonight. You're on fire. <laughs> oh, everybody's matching it, man. The <laughs> chat is going off. Um, I see my man Rick Sailor back there. Um, he's on two bars with the with the connectivity. We'll try to get him in if he can. But last but not least, you know what I'm saying? The man of the hour. Chat, can I get a is it too much to ask? Can we get can we get you know a whole row of Roka Force? Can we get that popping? Here he is. Kenneth Roker. The man, the myth, the legend. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? We are not Hi, worthy. friends there. We are not worthy. What up, what up? <laughs> how you feeling, man? Dude, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Super happy to be here. And yes, we saw, we waiting for Luke how it's closing this 60 days. Yeah. And yeah, it's on you. And the, the number is going to tell how it's close and next moving forward. Right, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, like um let's see where you're at right now, man. I was worried. I was worried um last night that we were gonna have to get because we're trying to get to 125k, you guys. Um if you haven't back, definitely gonna want to um get on that. But yeah, so you, let's uh, let's hit a refresh and see if we picked up any backers. But yeah, we were at 116,000 last night. Um when uh, when I think we closed out. We're moving, it's moving, it is moving. Right here. All right, let's see. We got somebody in the back popping in. Who we got? We got my man. Okay, now he's good to go. Rick Sailor, how are Rick you Sailor. doing, brother? Hey, Rick. What's up, Rick bro? Sailor. What up, what up? There he hey, is. Rick. One of the greatest yeah. fans to come join us. Um, thank you for thank you for being here. Rick's gonna pop in for an hour or two or something like that and hang out with us. Um, we're gonna try to bring in some more people tonight. Um, you know, throughout the panel. You know, we're gonna be closing it down all night um staying here till it closes so um you know these guys clayton said he's gonna stay for an hour or so or maybe an hour and a half something like that so he's gonna be on however long you want me and jetty. Oh, dude hey it's on you bro you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get some network going here between all these amazing artists and stuff you know going on there so uh, let's see who we got in the chat we got some new faces popping up we got my man odin dasko i think i two timed him we got crazy mad we got Corey barton clayton barton's brother from kozor you guys seen him in there we got cider hype you know what i'm saying awesome panel d wag thank you thank you we got my man general piggies in here you know what i'm saying 80s made consumer you know all right let's see who else we got up in here let's see here all right. Oh, we got Dan to Dan to Dan Danny. We got oh, no. uh, whatever. We're not yeah, going to highlight Danny. him. But I am going to highlight Clutch Boogie. Welcome, yeah. sir. You know what I'm saying? We got Matthew Fowler. <laughs> I'm going Fowler Fowler to send Fowler the link. I'm going to send Fowler the link here in yeah. just a second. Um, see if we'll bring him on if he wants to <clears> pop on. and said something about you know showing off some roach balls later. We got Kyle, you know what I'm oh. saying, over here throwing up the rope for us. Thank you, sir. Um, we got Geek Hazu, you know what I'm saying? Bow. Hey. Showing love for Kenneth. Um, let's see who else we got. All right. Oh, we got my man Phoenix. He's up in here, the metal smith. Um, boom, so here he is. is. Bow. So, um, oh, here he is. So, do not let me forget with my ADHD, okay, guys? Do not <laughs> let me forget. One of the cool things about uh, Restream over StreamYards is it records everybody's uh, uh chat messages so it tells me at the end of the night who the number one chatters are who's being the most oh. supportive Some i want to talk about in the future um going far as this channel and the Fuji tv we're going to basically try to offer prizes coming up um you know and we'll show some aro but right now we're going to talk some broken um show off the campaign talk to you guys see what's going on um uh-oh we got somebody else showing up uh-oh we got we got show him sign tag, baby. Here's he's showing. What's I, going on? I, 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 hey, Joe. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see everybody. Quite the panel. Uh, I've sent Shanthan Jetty the link. Hopefully, he can pop in here later. Him and Zade, you know what I'm saying? The Colonel. Hey, uh, D-Wag's trying to test this panel, dude. Like, look at <laughs> right. I, I am. I am. I am. So. <laughs> Yeah. Hail, uh, everybody. I just uh, I, I backed for a second time again. I'd go back and get the, the sketchbook, which oh. I didn't get the first time. I was like, damn it. I should have got that the first time. So I got that. <laughs> Thank so, you. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome, man. Appreciate Congratulations. It. This is awesome. Yeah. Well deserved. So you guys don't learn? Yeah. Working on it. Kind of always back the biggest tier. Yeah, I should have. Thank you. Yeah. 
I would have got the sketch here. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna. Yeah, I wasn't gonna refund, so I was like, I'll just, I'm gonna back a second time. <laughs> it's just gonna be what it is. That's, that's how that's how I roll. It's fine. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, the refund refund text on anything attached broken is like wearing the six 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 symbol on your head. <laughs> well, like wait, so I, yeah. go who ahead, can dude. see the refunding except for Rockefeller? Yeah, just just Rockefeller. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was just saying as a personal thing. You wouldn't see that on your records that you would refund. Yeah, I couldn't bear to do it. Yeah, what I couldn't this refund you're talking about. <laughs> you know, okay. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's I good do. To the, the, I was the like, refund and saw later the upgrade. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah that's what I did. I, I was like, I'm going to refund this one and get the bigger one. I changed my mind. <laughs> I should have done it. Yeah. It's okay. You guys can <laughs> shout me out of mine. <laughs> yeah, I think um, but... it's all, all in here, and that's a growth. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm gonna make, make you big, there, brother. What you got? What? Oh, oh man, beautiful. Rick is nice. Rick's... Rick. Yeah. I am now, so you know jelly what? of you, brother. Well, you want me to tell you a, a little story about Grokin though? Okay, so so John or Joe was drawing. Let me get it. Um, a, a piece, uh, what was that, for Fragtober? Joe? Who, me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This piece. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're lost him. Froze. I think, I think we're losing you. Beautiful spot oh, to freeze, though. No, it is awesome. Yeah, it's good. Oh, I remember that was going oh, around on Twitter, dude. That thing is sick. Thank you. Hey! Oh. Hey, Shelby. 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 <laughs> All right, Rick. I man, I it's saying you're low, so I am gonna kick you, brother. Um, hang out in the chat, baby. M show some love. I'm gonna talk to you in just a minute. We'll get you back in here. Uh, oh, you're there just, he is. Rick. There Rick. He is. Yeah, you're back. You're back now, Rick. Um, the important uh, stuff got fragmented, but you're good now. Okay. Yeah, I got one last person. We got Lord Crackhead. Finally, he is here with us. Hell yeah! Wow. Oh, we got him. What is up? Back. What is up? All right, this is a party now. All right, we it's a party. Now. It is a closeout party oh, indeed. Look at these fine folks in the chat and on the panel. Man, <laughs> this is the Roker Force. Speaking yeah, of party, it looks like. um, hail to the chat, hail to the panel, hail to yes. Kenneth and Groken 2. I'm going to take a shot for all you guys right now. To Groken 2. Oh, awesome. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, uh, man, man so, so you guys were talking about, um, I got my man Gary G up in here. We got my man Ben. Um, we got Amanda B. I was trying to click on her earlier. Hey, man. man, so oh, man. speaking of refunds, yeah, speaking of refunds, so Joe, funny story about um Reaper Destroyer. Yeah, why I got you here. Um oh. dude, when the night of your launch, so you mm -hmm. know, you were handing out the Phoenix, you know, Metal Smith trading card yes, for the sir. first hundred backers. Mm -hmm. I was trying so fast to uh to back. I double clicked, and at the time I was broke, dude. I mean, I'm talking. I had like seventy five dollars <laughs> to my name, and I ended up getting in there like forty or something, right? So I am gonna. I ended up. Or, I ended up uh, adding two books, and at the time, I mean, like I was like, ah, oh, bro, I was in, over there, you know, eating roaches out the dumpster and stuff. But like, um, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna end up giving. Get, I, I, I did. I didn't want to. I, I couldn't refund, man. I could not lose that trading card, man. So yeah, whatever. But yeah, so mm -hmm. Steve got, you know. A Reaper Destroyer. He got. He's gonna get him a Shelby Robertson cover. That's um, what's up. A oh, Reaper cool. Destroyer. And that's what's I, up. You know, I do got I'll a little bit of money. money. I think I'm. I know that's. So I'm gonna back. I think I'm gonna get you a uh, Groken One and Two tonight too, Steve. If you're good. You can oh hell make yeah, them. that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna buy all my hard work. <laughs> mm, mm. That'd be awesome, man. You guys. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm thinking about buying that, but yeah, man. Um. Uh, so getting Steve something, but uh, yeah, we're, let's let's see what we got. But yeah, Rick, did you have anything you wanted to show off, man? If, if not, Steve, I'll have a uh, piece of T Wag down. Sweet. Okay. All right. Cool. Be cool. Cool. Oh, Rick, you should show off that yeah. uh, that pit build a figure in person. Now, oh, I mean, I, we, yeah, we showed off the picture of it, oh, but see. the pictures don't do it justice. I was so jealous. Right. So the uh, I get me one right, Joe will. I had to bribe <laughs> Joe. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. He he wasn't gonna tell it until I was like, "Hey, I was like, I happen to have it for you." Dude, I did the first time. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then, and then uh, he sent me one. So Joe actually got one from Kenneth, the, the right one. Yeah. So I'm going to send him one of the two. Because like, you can't have enough. Yeah, I we'll definitely man. appreciate that. Everything. Yeah, I, I felt so bad. <laughs> I felt so bad for missing the first campaign. But it was like Ooh. right around that time where I was just kind of coming nice. into Comics Gate and I was just getting to learn who who people were. And uh, yeah, it was just I, I just kind of missed it before oh, I knew it was man. over. And I was Jimmy. like, damn it, damn it. Hey, Rick, that's cool. that's cool. hey, Rick back in the day, that that was really hard to assemble. It was hard to track down because uh, every All Toys R Us yeah. had. They had like 900 Super Patriots, but no one had Dragon, dude. Like, Dragon was always like, I think it was a short pack. Ah. Uh. Oh, it looks like we lost Rick, man. So, Rick, man, if you want to hang out in the chat, you're having connection issues, whatever. Whoop de woo. We love having you on, though. Um, thank you for showing off all them goodies, man. Rick is awesome, dude. Like, me and, you know, let's see if he's back in here. Oh, I think I heard him. Yeah. He, yeah, Rick's okay, the cool, best, cool. All right. literally. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Rick, you got anything else you want to show off? Uh, yeah, I'll show you off one more thing. You guys get any more any good comics right, lately? I, yeah, I, um, Roach you know, I got, I, I did. Getting... Roach balls. <laughs> oh, speaking of, okay, here, let's check in on Groken real quick. Um, let's see what we got real quick. Um, Okay, let me uh, go over here. I got to click on clutch. Thank you for showing. Yeah, Rick it does have oh, yeah. that 28k connection. Um, man, dude, yeah, the chat just... you guys are flying it like it's like it's like lagging. I can't I can't like hide it there. Okay, thank. <laughs> you. All right, cool. It's it's all right. Boom. There we go. All right, so let's hit a refresh on Groken. Let's see where we're at, and then uh, maybe yeah, we can show off some Roach balls while we while we're at it. Um. I got some stuff to show off too. So let's see where we're at. Yeah. Okay. We're moving. We're moving. <laughs> we're moving. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I'm over here, here lagging, but yeah. Um so, okay. now if um correct me if I'm wrong, Kenneth, but if this gets to one hundred and fifty thousand, there is another stretch goal that you're going to be implementing, right? One twenty five, yeah. One twenty five? If I can. Right, that's what we got to do. We got to aim for 125 then. 125. Yes, it, you know, it's going to the trajectory of the. It's going. If I the possibility to go in demand, it's going to put post and we have time to, to make it. But it's a bookmark and I go to dedicate it to the art from Broken. Yeah, do you guys hear that? 125. Yeah. 125 or parties canceled, all right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a guest trying to join. Hang out. Just um, out. We got a guest that's trying to join. Um, I think Rick's going to show off like one or two things, and um, uh, you know, maybe we'll let him go since he's having connection issues. I did just want to yeah. have him come on, man, because Rick is one of the best, you know, what I'm saying fans that we yeah. got. Hail he's Rick, so for sure. One of the biggest you know supporters we have in these parts Absolutely. is Rick Sailor. The guy is yeah. just, Rick, you know, Rick, through. hang out with the chat, man. Um, you're having yep. connection issues. Let's see who else we got yeah. real quick. Okay. Much love, bro. I appreciate you coming on. Right. And I'll talk to you later. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Whoever was showing up. Man, we got 45 people in here getting this cracking with us, man. Thank you, guys. You know what I'm saying? I got the energy drink. So we're going to be here getting this popping all night. I got, I got, I got, and I got more already. And I think. And he's got his crack, ounces. so he's good. All right. Uh-oh. Okay. Since we're speaking yeah, on Roach, Kenneth, is it cool if we, if we head on to Roach Balls for a little bit? Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna, you know, because because Roach Balls is not, unfortunately, Rich took the campaign down, but you know, there we have time. But you can still yeah. get some uh, fresh Sully action teaming up with a certain tiger, I hear. Oh yeah. yes, that's oh, coming yeah. up. We got the. Oh look, okay, we got blue balls. Blue balls. Uh, oh, he knows it. The Tiger Blue Roach Balls crossover. Yeah. But yeah, yeah everybody's, get, everybody's yeah. getting their roach balls in the mail, and uh, people are like, uh, you know, wanting one, but then the campaign's closed down. So I yeah. thought, I thought, in honor of uh, Rock of Force celebration tonight, we can give away a copy of uh, roach balls. I got yeah. a couple, a couple Super. extra copies tonight. 
So I don't uh, need okay. to ha- I don't need to handle the giveaway. You know, Darren's it's his house, but whatever he can do it however he wants tonight. But yeah, there's a copy of Roach Balls for one lucky backer tonight, man. Wow, nice, nice. Awesome, awesome man. Thank cool. you, thank you, thank you. Um, legendary. we do. I, I did send the I sent the link out to quite a few people, man. Um, so yeah, we'll maybe if you know. We'll keep kind of like running people in and out. You know, I know a lot of people wanted to hang in here and, and come to get to meet you, Kenneth. Um, I know uh, Dean James in particular. You know, he's a big fan. You know what I'm Go saying? Um, you know, and he's over there. He's the, the artist on the birth. Hey, man, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're one of the hottest up and coming artists that we got, man. So I got to show you some love. Got to no, have you, you on here. Um, yep. So, but yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Matthew. Um, how do you want to do it, Matthew? I'm down. I'm down. However, man, I let you guys do this, man. Let you guys nerd out. However, you want to do. Um, Whoever this giveaway for road most balls. crack in the next fifteen <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's no rush, yeah. man. You guys got the closeout going on. Just figure yeah. it out and let me know where it needs to go, man. I, I just okay. want to come okay, in real yeah. quick and, and tell Kenneth congratulations. You know, on the campaigns, <laughs> fucking killing it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I forget my backer number, but I am in there. Early on, I was a day one backer. So, yes. crack, pack, backs, you know. You. Yeah, show the support wow. tonight, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Matthew. Matthew. Oh, yes. And I'm going to be so with you. Cool, cool. I'm going to be with you guys uh, in the stream chat, hanging out uh, all night. So, I'm going to hop out and, uh, you know, okay. let the guests keep so, rolling rolling in and out. Oh, uh, go ahead. So, we got one, one copy of Roach Balls we're giving out? Yep. Okay, cool, cool. All right, well, nice. we'll figure something out. Crackhead, if you want to handle that, that's your area, you know what I'm saying? I had um, two to give out, thing. but then Rich hit me up, and he's like, yo, one of those is one of the top secret first test prints of the book. And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, I'm keeping oh, it. Oh, no shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to hold on to that, man. Yeah, I, I had to, to keep that. that one. So, yeah, it's one <laughs> copy to give out. But I'll load it up. I'll make it a two for uh, You know, you get, <laughs> you get Roach Balls. And Tiger Blue in, uh, oh, damn. in honor of Blue Balls, you know. So. Oh, and that's nice. that's one of the that's one of the originals. That's one of the original ones. And then, um, you know, speaking of Tiger Blue, Steve, pull on one of them figures, man. Well, yeah. How many you got left, Steve? Oh yeah, make Steve big, dude. Check this out. Oh yeah. Right, hold on, all right. Let me. Uh, he sent me a picture right, of this boom. the other day. All right. Um, Steve's been hard at work okay, in that boom. basement of his, like a mad scientist. Oh, we got a wall of them right, shits cool. ready yes. to pack up and ship. Bloody hell. Look at that. Right. Hey, Steve, yeah. they're going to get off the shelves and Star Wars toys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are peg warmers, man, for sure. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, I back it. I, I, I received one of those figures. <laughs> nice. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're- We'll make sure to take care of you, Kenneth, man. Yep, you'll you get one for sure. Course, man, so, yes, I, I, and, I like um, it. So, Steve, Steve, Mo Biggs, if you're in the chat, I'm sure you're not going to mind, but is it okay? Because what Fowler um, agreed for us, um, one of the things he said, like he's like, D-Wag, I appreciate you promoting, blah, blah, you know, and all this stuff. Um, one of the things he said was, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get 50, like, card backs of the ARO action figure um, since Clutch Boogie – who is in the chat? He did win one. I think we're gonna make his gun, and we'll send Mo one with this with whatever. But yeah, those guys will have like like a gun. The gun for ARO will be different colors. But uh, yeah, man, we just want to hand those out and show you guys love for supporting us and just doing all you guys do because we really like you guys are amazing. So yeah, but um, Kenneth, yeah, we'll definitely send you an ARO if you want one, an, an AR-15 orangutan from Mo Biggs. Yep, um, I put in an nice order. Cool. I put in an order to 3D Zach to. To make the A-Row cards today. Yeah, I said. I said nice. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I said, oh, did you just get the final ones? I sent all the Tiger Blue 2 print files, you know, the reprint of the Shelby, EJ Moore just cover off, the poster, uh, the nice. trading cards, and oh, and the packages for the Noir variant and the Red, White, and Tiger Blue 4th of July variant. And then uh, in that order, I made sure to include a batch of the Aero cards so he can give out all the figures carded. Right, we got to edit the, the card. There's one more edit we have to make. So okay. tell him not to start that one yet. All right, well, I'm sure it'll take him probably a week to get through okay. all the figure posters and reprints <laughs> and all that okay. shit, man. All right. And I did just get a message, Crackhead, man, because, you know, this is – 
you know, giveaways was like something that you you were an expert at. I not so much. I'm I'm not going oh, to no the, the stream <laughs> rest off. Uh, but General Piggy has just messaged me and he said, "Hello, my friend. I have a rare The Walking Dead issues. I'd love for you Damn. to give away as surprises Whoa. for your channel." Um, Hail General me. Piggy's awesome. Like uh, one of the best people we got up in here, man. Uh, if not the best. Um, so I'm gonna see if he can maybe message you, Craig, and he can handle that, or, or, or okay, however man. you guys want to do the giveaway. That's fine. But um, uh, I think oh, Steve, Steve died. are you there? Did you die? <laughs> so my camera just fell in the drawer. <laughs> I was gonna say I can't handle Dan, another funeral, I man. I thought Danny got Steve. <laughs> right, cool. We're back. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. My wife yeah, so we got um, my headphone gets wrapped up in my chair, real bad. Oh my um, gosh, Steve! We're done here and here and from here. Your all your excuses, okay? Knock my camera so, down. Um, um, I'm back. Let's now. go back. We're, let's go see what we're at here. Boom. Yeah, so I'm I'm backer nine oh three on Groken, and I got that oh. sketchbook, Kenneth. I I was really nice. interested in that perk, so I was like super stoked about it. Nice. And uh, dude, just again, I can't wait to dig into this stuff. That is nice. The, the sketchbook I only did like at the moment two illustration and I planify by numbers everything I want to put inside. Like okay, you have, you're going to mm -hmm. have a lot of variety of different style of, of illustration. Um, yes, I'm super pumped for for doing that book. Also, yes. the, the sketchbook. I always show yeah, my my fan imagination to do s sketches. But now I'm going to print it and something but exclusive for, for this book. Mm -hmm. uh, we like exclusives. Yeah, <laughs> me too. It's, it's, it's more like I work in top secret things. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. So um, I have news. We are being um, we are being stream sniped by Uncle E and those guys over there. So um much love. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go come over here. What's up, guys? I'm gonna edit this. Hail. Wow. See, okay. now we're, we're, out, we're closing out Groken Two with the awesome panel. We got Kenneth Roke for it. We got Shelby Robertson. We got Clayton. We got the General, the Colonel. Look at all these fine folk. We got Fowler. We got Dean What's James. <laughs> Damn. We got Joe M. Sontag. Hell yeah. Don't Don't trying to get Groken to that one hundred twenty-five thousand dollar mark, so we can unlock that beautiful stretch goal that Kenneth has planned. Yeah, we're not that far mm -hmm. away either. Pretty damn close. I think we it was at like one eighteen when I last checked. Man, before yeah. I came on, I'm checking. Yeah. Refreshing now. So, so yeah, Ethan is over there. He's showing off Groken too, helping us out. Hell yeah! Um, big thanks to him and everybody yeah. coming over here showing some love. I was love. watching EBS uh, earlier, and he said something about thanks, uh, Jordan, working with something with Rokefort. Um, the gingerbread man, man or whatever, is actually, right? Yeah, he's he's doing a cool story, bro story, uh, the gingerbread man John Wick style. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not the buttons. Not the gumdrop buttons. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed the story. It's gonna be. It looks fun. Looks like it's gonna be fun. Yeah. You bit his. Uh, I love off. the end. Also, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can pull up the, uh, the Cyber Frog um, Second Chance campaign with Kenneth's. Uh, um, uh, he, he's Kenneth's did some covers. awesome covers over there. Yeah. 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 So beautiful covers. Kenneth, that's for hey, you. Kenneth. Eddie, if he oh, streams, you. I've been so checking smart, out. Yeah. He yeah. showed <laughs> up <Nice>. today. <laughs> that's gonna <laughs> be the compile into the feast. Good looking, man. Oh, Thanks. Is it, uh, Tom? <laughs> yeah. Did awesome, anyone, awesome, did, awesome. Did anyone see Thumb Wars back in the day? Like, I think it was late 90s. It was a spoof of Star that, Wars, kind of, but it was like yeah. Thumb Wars. Uh, like that Titanic. Yeah, my boys. The same way. Man, my boys used to, I used to watch those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were Odin Kirk stuff, uh -huh. but yeah, goofy. I remember Thumb Wars, and then they had like uh, Stormtroopers, but it was like an Trooper, episode of Cops, yeah, yeah. And shit like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're like, "Do you have a bill of receipt for this R two unit?" And they're talking, the jaw was like, wah, wah, wah. You know, <laughs> "That was pretty cool." <laughs> but yeah, we ain't here to talk about that. We talk about Groken. Groken. Yeah. So we got some artists here, guys. 
Like, uh, yes, let's nerd out. Let's nerd out on this art, dude. Yep. So, let's, let's like, Sontag, show, yes, like, sir. which which part, like, what's your favorite part about how Kenneth is able to, like, do these compositions and lead the eye? I've been hearing a lot of people talk about that, and it's evident, especially with him gotten this giant dragon grabbing a frame and breaking it. Like, it's insane. Well, that's what I was like, going to say, that double page spread and broken <clears throat> where everything's just kind of split up that, like that with that, that monster and stuff is insanely good but he's just going back i mean he has a very unique way of laying out the page with the pan like everything's very uh interesting to look at you know like nothing's mm. boring uh that's what i really appreciate like the imagination behind all that is is mm. insane like i'll flip through groken or just any of kind of work really but i'll just flip through groken i'm just like i'm like fuck like how did you did you think of that? Like, it's it's crazy. I love it. I love how your mind that, works when it comes to that. Thank you. Oh, well, it's, it's more... oh sorry, sorry. My bad. I, I the, uh... improvise every time I go yeah. to the page and depend what I need to tell, what the impact I want in some panels. And that's why my priority. And in the flow, is moving forward and looking to the, to the eye, to the spectator, completely have a logic and don't distract for the movement. And um, this is all is for me is easy. It's the fun part of, of the, the, the book to navigate page by page. Yeah. Until and the, also the, the rhythm need to be up on more up and down sometimes. But this is about also the how much you put in the panels. Sometimes you need to put areas you go like a more relaxed to more open areas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but when it's a lot of things you need to imp compress the things yeah and small panels shorts and it's, it's, it's you really more quickly that the time lag be, between panel it is it, just a uh, logic you you create when you have a lot of work but it, it's fun it's fun always do do you work with the passion and you're going to have good results yeah that shines through in your work absolutely mm -hmm. you, can, you can definitely tell the passion and love you put into every page and every panel is great you know it's very inspirational i'll say that as an as a fellow artist mm -hmm. someone that's always trying to improve their work it's very inspirational to look at your pages and just you know, imagine what more i could be doing with my stuff you know yeah sometimes i i i, I like more the passive pages but because you have you dedicate more time to look at the end that the result you mm. you look and return and dig in in the details but it, it, it depends every page is different depend the the script it, oh wow fun. yeah and why real quick i don't mean to cut you off but look at what snuggy jr though those are his backer numbers man so wow. much Snuggie. love snug you know, I mean, dude, that I mean, I know Snuggy ball. was head over. He was probably gonna back those anyway, but you, you know, like Kenneth, you did that amazing bookmark. You know what I'm saying? I do have that link in description. Um, all these guys that are on the panel, guys that are gonna be coming in, all their links are in the description, guys. So thank you, and um, thank you, um, everybody that's showing up from over from um Uncle E and all that stuff, man. Much love, appreciate you guys, and, and lurkers, we appreciate you too. Mm -hmm. Thanks for supporting. But yeah, like um, let me uh let me get out the way. I just wanted to say that real quick here. I mean, back to Zontog's point and and kind of what you were talking about, Kenneth, is kind of like the leading the eye through the compression of details and then the 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 rhythmic spacing in between them. I saw a lot on I think it was like the first big broken image that I saw, and you got to see the whole big like, city city walls were pretty high behind the character, <clears throat> like just stat, like on the pedestal or whatever was central. And that's where I started to see, like, even like through your stuff, it's so well done. You can literally learn kind of like, if you didn't know about that, now you do look at your art. It, it's really good. And so getting from the backgrounds into the characters too, like I love your character designs because again, every inch of them is interesting to look at each part of their costume adds to the character design i got this girl here that has a whole anklet of pouches and it's like i want to know why she's got an anklet of pouches it's awesome like it, it's yeah. just so neat i'm really glad you, you appreciate it mm -hmm. that's good thank you 
Oh, yeah. Shit, I'm gonna get out of here real quick, guys. I just want to right. appreciate you, man. Thank you, you know, man. All right, brother. Congratulations. You know, take, take care. care. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, we got 62 people in here. Thank you, guys, man. Oh, Let's check out real quick. Yeah, um, make sure you smash that like. Yeah, 49 likes for 60 yeah. some odd people in here. Yeah, hit that yeah. like. And, 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 and we'll, Let's get it to 69, right. guys. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah, 69. Perfect. You know, I did want to say something while we got Joe in here too, man. Like, um, I don't, you know, we don't want to get too deep into it, but our buddy, Sean, um, his campaign type one, yes. um, you know, if we can help him out, it's a sign up, you know what I'm saying? He's got some, he's going through uh, some hard times right now, but we definitely want to show him love. Absolutely. And also I see you, uh, Jim Cox. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Felix. You know, all you guys, man, Jabba, appreciate you being here. You know, whatever. Um, Finatra, yeah, and um, uh, yeah. Oh, Finatra, yeah. Finatra. Hey. You know, me and Finatra, yeah. we we uh, hey, he's got you know now. broken. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been listening to uh, yeah. Megadeth. <laughs> big big out, Megadeth bro. fan now. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So if you guys, if if we got any mods in the chat, if I need to make some more, let me know. Um, uh, and let's get you know sign up for Type One, and also back you know let's keep moving Groken. But yeah, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share. Um, Broken real quick. Let's let's hit a refresh. Um, looks like we're over one hundred and twenty thousand. Um, big thanks to uh, Uncle E for helping nice. too. Nice, nice. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's uh, hit a refresh. Um, boom. Okay, refresh time. Nice. Let's go. Let's see where we're at. Uh, it's loaded. Oh, there we go. 20. Oh, Fourteen hundred back get in there. Let's go. Nice. Let's go, you guys. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Big shout out. Yeah. Big shout out to the chat and everybody for backing. You guys always come yes. through big for these campaigns. A thousand percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's incredible. Come moving. Oh, so, and, and I did just get hit up um, a good friend of the chats. They will know who this is. Um, my buddy, my good friend just texted me on my phone. Um, I borrow ideas. You guys in the chat, you might know I borrow ideas. If we could get some, show some love for I, 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 um, Ibby, you know what I'm saying? He was backer 1502. So big shout out to him, man. Um, he's got some stuff going on. Oh, home, but yeah, he's lurking. He's watching. So much love to uh, Ibby. So big shout out um, to IBI. Whatever. But yeah. Yep. So boom. Great. Thank you. There we go. Yes. Big, big, big breakthrough right there. But yeah. Um, where were we going? I'm, I'm pulling an ADD. So I, what I was were we kinda, talking about? I was kind of getting into his, uh, how he's spacing uh, details, how he crunches them down. Uh, we're talking about Kenneth's uh, work here. In his detail, he crunches them down and then spreads some open spaces to allow the eye a resting point as it's flowing through or certain concepts. But it's also a way he's controlling the, the contrast. Am I right? Or uh, am I on to it a little bit? Like you're... Your black, your black yeah. and white balances. Yes, it's um, it's different factors. Um, you, at the end, you appreciate one in one piece, but mm -hmm. also the background, the, the the composition behind the panels, the black areas, they help you to move and be more specific when you're going. The, the important part of the of yeah. the page. Yeah, the focal point. I, I play with, with yeah, different line techniques. Line. Yeah. yeah, I just, I, I'm enthralled with your work, and so I wanted to ask some questions. And anyone else? I mean, it's also, I don't want to be the only one going, hey, hey can it? Let's. Well, let's I, I, I can explain, uh, explain more. Yes. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Today. Can it? <laughs> are you familiar? And I know that we're, well, since we got a bunch of new people here, let's go ahead and um just go ahead and. uh. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna share uh, some some Beckon art real quick. Um, if that's cool, he's got real a signing quick, list, quick, uh, a mailing list. Real quick, Groken just hit one twenty one thousand three twenty five. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow. Yes. Let's go. Rolling. Let's go. Okay. You know. Um. Man, that's crazy. Let's go. Yes. Um. Right. <laughs> Steve. Hold on one second here. Steve, I'm going to bring you right back. I'm going to try to see if this makes us bigger here. All right, boom. Okay. I'm going to, you're, you're still here, Steve. I'm just going to bring you back. But yeah, um, let's show you guys uh, something, you know, because Zade's just not over here just talking, man. Yeah. You know, this guy is an amazing. Look at this. This double wraparound cover. Um, I think I had no idea. 
I think I had Noah from NTM Comics ask me that one time. It was like, so what is it, you know, that it's big about, you know, your contrast control? And I was talking about Kenneth. I was like, look at how, he, yeah. you know, certain spacing is happening here and there. And he was like, oh, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, that's really why I said in details. Mm -hmm. Really in details. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then wow. he's got the double page spread here, man. He's, you know, going really heavy into this fantasy stuff, man. Man, dude, Not yeah, we, we were blown That's away good. when we first. <laughs> That's yeah. a great page. And, and so, you know, for you guys that don't know much about the Colonel, the Colonel is coming over here, like, you know, like he's more of a traditional artist and, and you know, expert, and he's coming over to comics. And he's also done in video games and stuff. Colonel, if you want to go, you know, um, you got some new panels, like, you know, like this, this right here, to be honest, before I let you go, um, he was working on this on stream over at his channel, Zade Studios, if you guys want to, um, you know, make sure you guys subscribe to that after his link is in the description. Um, you know, I thought this was a cover. Um, th yeah. This right here was a cover. But yeah, this is just like a panel or something on a page. But yeah, so this is the interior work. So, mm -hmm. um, it, you know, it, he's got some skills. The, I came into into this group as much as you guys know, is like coming in with a video game. You know, I was following Joe Catapano from Star Circuit Bow! coming into into, the, you know, into all of us and meeting all of you guys. And I was trying to find a, a voice, you know, with the pen, you know, with the artwork, like a style is another way of kind of saying that that sounds so, ooh. but uh, like looking for, you know, inspiration of where to go, how far you can push it. It was a lot of Kenneth and everyone going, dude, look at Kenneth stuff, look at this stuff. And then it was also Bancroft showing, I think him and Mel B were showing a Disney comic book from, from France, I guess it was all European, but it was really rendered, like over rendered, incredible illustration. And that's what I studied at, you know, Savannah College of Art and Design. So, like, that stuff just seems to be where my eye goes. It's what I'm interested in. And the other thing is, I grew up around hillbillies that were matter of fact. If it didn't look like it was supposed to look, they spit tobacco in your sketchbook. So, yeah, <laughs> you kind of you kind of learn to over render to get away from that. But yeah, that's a but yeah. We uh we still have the video game up on Steam, and it's a it's a prototype, and we're gonna be updating it soon, like full boss fight, full like party, and the game and the comic and all that I'm doing is all connected. So if you guys are into RPGs with a little bit of action twist to it, run over there. I hand animated it. So it's 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 crazy. It's amazing. I'm doing it's a cool. package. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and, and I've been making like are you, plastic toy yeah, Let me make you bigger. <laughs> so, let me make you let me make you bigger. I'm making you big. Boom. I'm gonna be so. I'm gonna be uh posting these somehow uh for my campaign, but this is a uh, crystal dagger. You know, it's not a real crystal, and no, it's not sharp, but it's got a little belt frog that doubles as a stand. You can hang it, wear it at the Ren Fairs or whatever. But, you know, it's a, it's an acrylic blade with some coloring in it, make it look all old and, and, you know, crusty and stuff. But the handle is made of steel armature wire that I wove with, you know, sinew. And then it's got a leather wrap and another crystal in that. But this knife will be featured in my book. It's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet's dagger. So... I'm trying to That's figure really out. That's really nice. Yeah, I'm going to have like three of them. So I'm going to make two more. And I think that's where, uh, as all as I'm going to like, all I'm going to make for the campaign because uh, it takes some time to, to, to do the weaving part. But yeah, uh, yeah they were cool. super cool to get them done. But, you know, it's. Uh, yeah, it's that's all. Go ahead. D Wags over here salivating. You said it's made out of crystal. <laughs> <laughs> right. And it's blue color. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Break, yeah breaking back um, color, right? Right, right, right. But yeah. Uh, oh right? no, Jim! I'll go ahead. Go ahead, Kenneth. Oh, the the, the I the uh, the dollars look amazing. Thank I'm you, only man. going to be three of those. It's going to be in the campaign, or yeah, yeah. Uh, they're like super exclusive. Since I'm doing my book fully digital. Uh, like a lot of people like having those original art pieces and you know i, I should draw oh. something but the, another part of me was like well sculpture's part of part of it so the can i make sculpture but then i got 
a little Weta workshop in my head and started making a movie prop. So, yeah. you know, no. I, it was so like... Yeah, it's, it's, on, it's only digital? It's not... I, I thought it was pencil. You, the pages. Material no, no, that's all digital. Oh, cool. Yeah. It'll yeah. work. So, thanks. I mean, I, like I said, my next book, I'm probably going to go more traditional, but that's because that's why I know. I'm just kind of what I'm more comfortable with. I think I've the been... transition of video, the video games to to pages in yeah. comics is this is depending how you, you you look in the the art but it's fantastic mm. that the what you're doing well thank you hey you all no heard details. it here you all heard it right here <laughs> <laughs> yeah somebody put that thank yeah. you thank you oh. not worried yeah but yeah uh yeah, yeah, I, yeah so with it being my first swing i look up to a lot of everyone that's in the chat especially michael bancroft i mean like looking at what that guy was doing and 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 how he he brings the positivity. Shantan Jetty, I'm just I can't be more blessed to have a guy working on an alternate cover for my book. Shant's just bringing that light. Oh man, that thing is looking beautiful too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Maybe all, we can bring that up later. But all of you are kind of like you're you're the wind in the sails of my burning ship. So it's it's been <laughs> awesome. So. <laughs> Well, you're so putting out a really you. good yep, product, yep. man, and I think a lot yeah. of us uh, and a lot of people in the chat and around everywhere are seeing that. And once more people get eyes on that beautiful art that you're putting together, I think Beckon is uh, has the potential to really take off. So just Thank keep playing you. And if, it, any, if any of you guys are are watching, I'm still open to find a printer. So <laughs> I got to put that out there. Might have to put you in touch with uh, Fowler yeah. and 3D Zach. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, blue, uh, Tiger Blue's just awesome. I mean, over there in Jose Garcia's stuff was another influence, like seeing how fast yeah. he was working. And he was putting out videos of like, he, or like just talking to us, you know, in streams is going, yeah, here's how I kind of lay things out quickly and his shape language and he throws, you know, his flow through it. I mean, that's what's been so enlightening i haven't had a group of creators not just artists even writers some, you know and sculptors like i haven't been around a group this creative since college and right that's saying something yeah. like you guys are super yeah. inspirational every inch of the way so yeah, like every single corner you look at you see someone creating something and just incredible so it's mm -hmm. i imagine it's really good to the uh, creative you know mindset mm-hmm Definitely. Yeah. Core, well, I, or, I'm just I'm just glad Mark Silvestri did not spit tobacco on Kenneth's samples. That's <laughs> all I know. <laughs> that never happened. Hey, hey, oh, he's the win. <laughs> it's so win. true. Dude. Or, or did it happen, Kenneth? Did it happen? No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I return all my samples. <laughs> I mean, Clayton, no. Clay, do you have any like crazy art stories that or uh, or interests that uh that maybe Rocafort has pushed you pushed you through or mm. influenced anything that you and you and Corey are doing over there? You know, I always liked Kenneth Rocafort's work, but when I saw Groken, I was even more blown away. Uh, I think that he was able to kind of do whatever he wanted to do on that book. And so he put his best foot forward on it and just completely blew away everybody's expectations. So when it rocked up at my doorstep, yeah, obviously pretty much what you were saying, uh, it's really inspiring to look at the execution of it, the professional way in which it was put together it feels like a premium book just physically. And then of course the illustrations, uh, mind-boggling i love personally for me it's the energy within his work that's what really draws me into it uh just the way in which the the lines are laid down and uh how sharp the the direction in which they're being drawn is there's a certain level of uh, determination and assuredness within those lines and it's just it's great it's it's beautifully stylized detailed at the same time the designs of the characters the most, <laughs> yeah and some of the most complex and beautiful panel layouts i've ever seen in a book mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, hands down. Oh, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, you can play your tiny words really appreciate it. <clears throat> Kenneth has an Gar- excellent eye for composition. Oh yes, Jose Garcia would would say uh, he's he's got the confidence in in that stroke, and that's kind of what you were talking about that sureness that this is a yeah. this isn't just a random stroke. I planned this out. This is this is the way it is because of everything else around it. It's so well thought through. Mm. Yeah, he pushes the the shapes and the the silhouettes of the characters just that little bit further than most other artists do, and I think that that's what emphasizes the level of impact that his illustrations have. And uh, yeah, like like you were also saying with the character designs, I think they were another standout element from Kenneth's book. It's a fantasy genre um, with a with a few other genres mixed into. Sci-fi. Uh, yeah, sci-fi. Some like sci-fi punk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sci-fi yeah. punk. A little bit of steampunk feel in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's yeah, it's I feel just like really Broken great to look at. Beautifully blends sci-fi and fantasy like I've never seen before. Mm-hmm. And let's not even begin talking about the colors. I mean, they're <laughs> absolutely <laughs> stunning. Just a perfect yeah, amazing, the perfect yeah. line work. Yeah. And it's painted. Yeah. It's painted. I don't know how he does it. And I don't know how he does it so quickly as well. It felt like Groken 1 really didn't have a whole lot of... It didn't have the amount of production time that you would expect it would to have it look that great. You know? And so I don't know if it was in production long before the initial campaign came out or uh, or whether Kenneth is just a fast yeah. artist. I guess he's had a lot of right. years of practice <laughs> in the industry to get <laughs> it down and have. to get it right, but... I have the story in mind about uh, the production was during mm. the campaign. That's amazing. That's really uh, amazing. Real quick, real quick, why he's here, I and, and, and you know, Kenneth, you can, can continue, but Big Boy Robo is an amazing artist, so I just want to give him a shout-out, so yes. keep the look out, you know, out for him. All right, I'm going to remove myself, so you guys keep nerding out, man. This is great. <laughs> So, Kenneth, what's yeah. your process? How do you get these pages done so quickly? Because I noticed that not only is your finished... Like, I, I, sometimes I'm confused when I see your finished line work. Am I looking at really clean pencils or really clean inks? Because sometimes I can't tell the difference. But Because well, they look so identical. Your pencils are so uh, clean, yeah. so tight. And then you go over the top of them with the ink. I almost feel like you could leave it at just pencils and no one would even notice. <laughs> okay, I go to uh, say the different parts. My, about my pencil, I usually it was clean because I was in period that I never used an inker before. Mm. My work is going directly to the pencil, to the colors. Nice. That's why I'm, and, oh, great. Yes, and that way my work, I think, for Marvel and DC, was at the be- in DC beginning, was more pencil only. Then I moved to ink my own work. That's when my pencil. And also, I, I sometimes I do sketches directly with the ink without a pencil layout on the inks yeah. or, or the paper. And this um, gives you the skill to put directly the, the thing you have in the mind to the paper. And the don't waste too much time. I'm going, yes, I'm going to direct to that. Or you need to improvise. If it's not look good, well, add some extra things and change the name mm-hmm. <laughs> of the thing. Um, about the timing, it's a lot of fighting with the stress. I don't want to put the thing at the end, at the end when I'm short in time. I prefer um, mm-hmm. have a good schedule and planify. This is the utopia because uh, we planify and at the end you do a mess <laughs> with the Canada. Mm-hmm. But uh, have a little notes about what at what time you need to finish is good. Sometimes I'm really strict. I'm going, I put to that hour mm-hmm. of the day, to that order, I need to finish that panel and that panel follow. And I, my day is full and that hour to the hour is on my only mm-hmm. break. And maybe video games and I read something or whatever. I'll, mm. I'll refresh myself. Um, but that's helped a lot when mm. I start in early in the morning to work and finish early because I have a, a schedule 
um, right. I just and feel I, that I can manage, not a real one. Yeah, I was kind of um, talking about this with someone else. It was like, I, I since I don't set a lot of hard deadlines for my process, I kind of work it till it's done or till I feel like it's done. It kind of takes a lot longer. But if you're setting by this hour to this hour, I've got to get this panel done. You can't afford to get stuck into the details and try to over render, mm -hmm. which makes your decisions much more important and much more streamlined. Yes, correct. But yes, yes. And the funny thing is, if you end early, you continue the page because you want to put more effort and more mm -hmm. details. But you, you need to have a balance. Sometimes you say, okay, it's yeah. done. I move to the next next page. Mm -hmm. so sometimes when I uh, early, I do a layout for the complete page a rough pencil layout on the computer no matter where and i say okay it's done i do two and only work in one page to finish but yeah. i have two pages layout ready and the next day if i do the same mm -hmm. i'm moving really forward to in, in the project because i i know at the end i'm not i don't need to add pages because the story is done completely and um, that's the most piece in, inside you like an artist like a you know cool. so, deal problems more so it takes you about a, a day to do a page i'm guessing yes um when cool. I, I was working in the big two i my schedule was a, a page a day and it was ink also oh does that include inks as well yes yes so you pen you lay it out you pencil it and you ink it all in a day yeah one of that's amazing. Nice. Wow, that's great. No, I mean, especially to and to maintain that yeah, kind jealous. of you know that kind of detail and it to come out that beautiful. That's crazy, man. That's good stuff. Yeah. It, how it, many? It, sorry. What, sorry. How many hours is that at the drawing board? That can't be just within an eight-hour period. No, oh, something more. Yeah. It's like a no life, <laughs> no social life. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but, but but the the good thing is when you manage your own time, you you need to escape and take mm -hmm. a day or the week or two to, to manage your own stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But don't do like me when I have a, a, a time. I do another kind of drawings. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yes. But but it, it is it's lifestyle in part, um, mm -hmm. and you need to mentally be prepared for that kind of work. I, I know you know, as a professional. Um, oh, yeah. It, everyone I'm terrible at schedules, though. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so for me, what holds up, holds up my schedule sometimes is when I make a mistake on a page and I realize, mm. oh, this panel needs to be redrawn, which holds up the entire situation. Does that ever happen to you? And when you do notice these mistakes, do you just let them go so you can move on with the page? Or do you... Yeah, that, that, that thing happened. That, that, that's why I really focus to move the layouts mm -hmm. quickly because I know what happened in the seven pages. Yeah, in the future, I, I more like a that, that helped to don't have too much mistakes. If the mistake happened, is because proportions or yeah, something that means um, technical things, not, not in the story. So you that, focus a bit more on the planning. Yeah, uh, planify is super important. And mm. my my coming right now, I've broken two. I only need to work in two more pages in the rough layouts, and it's done that part. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, which by the way, guys, broken right now is at one twenty two eighty five. Whoa! Bam. That's amazing. That is a good interruption. I love it. <laughs> because that, that's, that's part of I help now. Thank you to every backer from the first backer to the last one at the moment. Thank you. Yeah, this is yeah. awesome. I think we're definitely going to get that 125. So what do you do for your creativity, Kenneth? Because looking at your artwork, I mean, that's some crazy stuff. I mean, where do you get your inspiration from? And how do you come up with these crazy character designs and scenarios within your comic books? 
It's like yeah, you've been well, let off the leash now that you were able to do your own thing. <laughs> yes, it's, it's people more ask that, that kind of question than people answer uh, with other artists, influence coming here by the access to view things, but more depend about your imagination. Because mm -hmm. if cause something is copy and do a mix of things that you saw mm. than create. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, it's like a, my brain moves different, like sometimes people say, than other. And maybe I don't talk too quick about my mind. My mind is yeah. his imagination mm. go out. Hey, can I return to, to the planet? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I, 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 I love to, to put my thing, the things I have in my in paper. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of sketchbooks I never show to the public, a lot of drawings. Oh. And things and sometimes I, I bad, sometimes I ignore to uh, continue to create, don't go back. Um, yes, it's dependent on the imagination. It's like a writer. It's, it's better to have a writer who create new things and put mm -hmm. new ideas than the person who only take and do a mix of something. So, mm -hmm. So to do that, your visual library you know, has been built up over the years. You can kind of think about these ideas and move in. My visual library that. is more imagination than things. So, I so, oh, okay, okay, okay. Where I was gonna go was like, what yeah. inspired a lot of your use of these type things too? Like, I think, uh, like, did, yeah, was there I, any I, media beforehand that you liked that kind of- I like sculpture, I, I like, obviously drawing arts, I like theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that, that, that's up to, obviously. Now, if you like how theater, did you get into the comic books? Um, I quit my job and go say, okay, I, I always love comics and I want to go to that, that area. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Awesome. Uh, I was just went for it one day, huh? Yes. Um, no, awesome, always. I, 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 I draw. I did a small comic when I was. Four years old, like the Superman, dear comic. Mm -hmm. And yes, I draw like a kid, ugly. And but always drawing monsters and then robots. A period of robots when I was a toddler. Then more in the near to the high school, I started with the superheroes and searching, yeah, um, comics. Mm. Um, that. Then my professional work was a scientific illustrator for seven years. And yeah, uh, at one moment I, I, I quit and I decided to go into the gra graphics and toy bots and yes, like a artist hmm. in general, yeah. but always looking for comics. And at one point I say, I quit completely the scientific illustrator and jump to the comics stuff. That must have been yes. really cool, uh, especially when you got to work on Superman uh, for the first time, I imagine, because, you know, mm -hmm. you know, being a kid, liking the character of Superman, then growing yeah. up to actually be able to draw it, that must have been awesome. I, I think he's the most iconic character. Definitely. Um, you, you can know the character Definitely. in the world, but like a kid is, is something like, a, oh, you, you admire. Oh, that, that that's that's super hero with the cave. I want to have the cave. Yeah. I... <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows that. <laughs> things. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's very iconic. That's how yes. how I feel about the Phantom. Yeah. Who is in the generation almost before? Yeah. Without Superman. the Phantom, we probably never would have got Batman. Well, yes. really, well, any well, superhero in tights. I mean, right? Yeah. Superheroes, I love monsters. By the way, it's not because he. Mm -hmm. It's clean superhero. <laughs> I love ugly stuff and a lot, yeah. lot, lot of things. Um, yes, but use your imagination to put your ideas is really fundamental to, to design. I get the feeling that when you're drawing, though, Kenneth, you're not even consciously thinking about or, um, or reaching for ideas. I feel like you're just moving the pencil on the page and this beautiful artwork is coming together 
Uh, no, that's not happening that way. That doesn't happen that way. <laughs> that happen that way. Yeah. So you, I, I, you, I, I, you're like, let's just let's just keep the rumor that that's the way it happens, though. Let's just put yeah, it it's like magic. It's right? a myth, right? No, no you're yeah. handling yeah. the yeah. news. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I use a sharper defensive and put only down the paper <laughs> up here. Yeah, that, that's a formula. Well, it's weird be because Salt sometimes when I'm, is paper. I, yeah. I say that because sometimes when I'm drawing, uh, what I'll notice is that in a weird way it's it's sometimes it's to do with shape i'll be watching these different shapes grow off of the characters and that'll lead from one idea to the next idea yep. and it the drawing will almost grow itself without me having to you know get in my own way with it so to speak if i think too much sometimes i get uh creatively constipated yes uh, so yeah. sometimes people say the the tool is not important but maybe i was sad. The vision we have of materials, um, you are more loose with the cheap paper than the specific mm -hmm. one because you don't want to damage the paper. <laughs> and yeah. that's funny when you use a pencil and you feel more comfortable, more free to do lines and be more freestyle <laughs> when you draw. Mm. It, the result is more more you, but sometimes mm -hmm. more less from restrictions. Mm. Because you, you you need to use your motor of your hand and brain mm -hmm. to, to to express different things. It's like music, like a jamming. It's not restrictions, but also I can tell you about the theater part. You know body mm. language, how it spread things. Uh, go yeah, to, for sure. To personal characters. Um. I, by the way, I was a kid who go out to play outside in the yard with a stick and yeah and shop <laughs> yeah. yeah yes it, it, we all did <laughs> yes <laughs> jumping <laughs> climbing trees yes that's mm. that's why and you need imagination mm -hmm. always was three yeah it was three but you play so before you draw kenneth do you have a a vision inside your head can you see what you're going to, or what you intend to draw on the page before you actually draw it and and do you sometimes spend a few days just fleshing out that idea inside your mind before you get it down to the page? Um, for in about rocking, um, was more okay. That's the difference between when you receive a script in the company and what is going on. For work in the companies, you need to resolve the problem. Mm -hmm. You have the script, you analyze, and put the best way to to cover all the information panel by panel in that page and moving to the next one. In the in the way I, I wrote Rocken, I have the concept done of I know how to finish the story. I need to wait for the emotion of the reader, more intrigue, more soft in some areas and and the timing is moving pacing and I, I need to divide the comics in parts like okay i have five pages for the flashback mm -hmm. i mm. two for action or i want to spend more time to explain the the situation the interaction of your characters and and i do that in the 50 pages 52 pages whatever and planify everything and with a good result at the end or more problems at the end to continue the next issue mm. and if, if you do the diagram in your mind or in paper it's better because you don't forget <laughs> and it's easy to to have to like, like a map and do it mm. i recommend to do that planification because if sometimes I have the problem to go to focus in one part and consume it too too much part of the of of, of the comic. I, I I need to balance because we need to, a lot of information needs to cover in, in the comic. Uh, I think in, in broken two. Mm. Now I'm working. Uh, yeah, yeah that that's happening in broken one too. It's, it's like a I I the, the different I I at pages. In the last one, but the pages know what at the end, one in the middle, the pages are, uh, 
I don't tell you which page. I, I was my last page I had, but <laughs> <laughs> it's <Right>. secret. <laughs> I yeah. don't going to show my formula. All my mistakes inside the comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yeah. it, it's fun. It's all the, the product. The, 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 the important part is the result. And the process is personal. How how quick, how how difficult for you, how easy. Um, at the end, you evaluate the, the final product. Mm -hmm. I think, and the satisfaction, the satisfaction of of all the the stress. <laughs> to, right. To, to I know me end. and Dean were talking. We're talking some praises in the green room before you jumped in, Dean. Like. What were you? Uh, what were you like? Super knocked on the ground about groping. If you're still here, you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> when, I mean, <laughs> you don't have a question about what inside or what part of the screen. Um, well, it's just open. I, I mean, what wasn't I impressed by with Groken though? You know, like um, there is one thing I have wanted to ask Kenneth. Uh, what how do you decide what colors to use because you are one of my main inspirations when it comes to coloring specifically and like it's very easy to just end up with something that looks you know bright rainbow you know ridiculous. yes it's easy to see the answer i i try to don't skip any color i put all every color in every place yes, no, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what i like yes. chaos yeah. yes i i really love the uh, okay, the decision of this comic is the theme originally. I was thinking go dark, but I don't want to impact uh, visually in that way. I try to, in that moment, I'm going to bring colors. But when you read the comic, you're going to feel. But um, I want to the atmosphere more fantasy. Um, no too realistic, like a uh, cinematography in the real world. Mm -hmm. that, that, that was my choice of, of the palette. Um, it, it's had fun, all small details, put the color in different areas. And yeah, it's, I, I, I play with a bright palette. No monotones, no, no, not too much. How I explain? Uh, I want to have a fun coloring, and every page have pop out by his own in, in, in the book. Um, yeah, I, I think the the only page have um, like a color like a is it, that one. It's a soft. It's on not, not too much color, um, or of not a that drastic color like the. Almost start traveling to the citadel, down the, the, the gradient of the sky and dark, the positive area and negative area. I love that page. It's simple, but really cover all the information and the time and the territory of the opus. So, yeah, I yeah, now know what these disciples feel like or felt like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I is uh, have fun, enjoy. Um, you you have in mind something you want to put. The the process is the only thing going to take time. But I, I don't know how I answered the question. But my decision color is like okay, enjoy, put all the color you want, and don't do a, ca a chaos. And if it's a ca chaos, okay, try to look logic. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. That did that well, answer. Okay. It helped. Sorry, maybe I confused more. You. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. You didn't confuse more. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, um, no man. That's awesome, Kenneth. I know everybody loved picking your brain, and now Shelby, I think, mm -hmm. wants to maybe interject something here. Is that right, Shelby? Or you want to hold off on that? Yeah. So Shelby's yeah, about can, my eyes. <laughs> yeah, you can bring, yeah, you can pop that up there. Yeah. So Kenneth. Have you always been a winner? Look at this. This is <laughs> this is way back. Look, before <laughs> Kenneth was pro, he was winning Jim Lee's desk. No, Look at this. Years kidding. Yeah. Wizard Wizard Magazine. <laughs> Kenneth, how old were you, Kenneth? Eight? Seventeen. Seventeen? 
Yeah. Wow. Damn. So, wow. so that's the piece. Uh, according to Jim Lee, he wanted to hire you, but Mark got you first. <laughs> yep. No, the, the, um, I won the, the to set him off. Grand prize. <laughs> um, they asked me to go to to California. Nice. And my parents say, okay, you're going to the university. <laughs> <laughs> time passed and, then, and yeah. Yeah, and then you ended up on Hunter Killer. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. I, I won I, I won different contests in the middle. I, I was like a hunter for for contests. Yeah, like I saw that you fun. did uh you created what three characters? Three characters that they won the contest, right? Yes, yeah, so I, I won uh, another co a cover for Wizard World magazine, the, the, the Wizard Magazine. I won the Cybernari character, which is a friend, and he was drawing that one. Yeah. A uh, few small ones. I think Jeff Scott Campbell character, I, I draw my interpretation, and I won that too in the forum. Um, yes, I, I, that's what's fun, and that's help you to to look your, your skills, because you want to check how how bad or how good you are compared with other in the industry in, in the fan area. Right. Um, yes, I have eyes over me looking at my progress, and I did also kind of um, webtoon fan things. Yeah, so I, I, I always in, in the area of comics when I was young. Uh, at the end, when I, I decided to quit work, I went, okay, Kenneth, it's your time. Not much more options. <laughs> and you love it? <laughs> okay, go for that. Yeah, I was going to ask you last night. I had this saved, and I was like, oh, I forgot to ask him last night. I'll bring it up tomorrow. You know, on your right. closeout. Why not, right? <clears throat> yes. Long time talking, right? They're like, uh, how many hours? <laughs> <laughs> so it's crazy to look at that though because kenneth you said you did that when you were 17 yeah 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 oh, see, like, there are people that crazy. still can't draw that good now and then there's this massive improvement between there and where you are now it's it's ridiculous you're on your own level man it is crazy well, thank yeah. you <laughs> how did you get that good at 17 you're only like what Kiss. 19 though dean right so you'll, you'll get there man you're almost there yeah, yeah i'm sure i'll get there one day and <laughs> it starts twitching from flashbacks because he was locked in a basement and forced to draw most of his childhood then <laughs> must, it puts must the color it. on the paper it rubs it it's in. like it's like shelby <laughs> shelby was a uh an extremely talented young man as well but it's mm -hmm. weird because you'll have people who try really really hard to get good at drawing for like 10 years straight and they'll still be nowhere near that good and you know that they, they might be much older they might be in their 30s or something like that you know so it's always just blows my mind when i see super young people in their teens drawing on a mm -hmm. crazily professional yeah. level how does that happen you must be draw you must just be drawing constantly yeah, hand shall, shall answer that. Well, when you start drawing? Oh, you don't want to hear mine. Uh, I, I, quit, I quit drawing. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear mine. Um, <laughs> I want. I want. <laughs> Reverse yeah, psychology. So I, yeah, I lied. I lied to get into uh, to comics. I act, Legally, I wasn't supposed to be able to work in California. When I did, I was 16. And, uh, hey, I make told it till you make I, it. I, yeah, yeah. I told them I was 17 when I got the phone call. Uh, for Liefeld to go work at Extreme. So I was like, mm. yeah, I'm 17. I, I was 16. I barely had my permit. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, took, I had a little Toyota MR2, you know, once the lights pop up and the motors behind you and the trunks in the front, and I drove down there. And, um, yeah, it was cool. I was down there for quite a while. Um, yeah, basically, guys, if you want to break into comics, just lie. And then you'll... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm 17. <laughs> Just like, sure. yeah, I'm 17. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's the air quote right there. Shelby Do Robinson. You, you want to get yeah. into just comics, lie. just lie. Just lie. Yeah, lie I, uh, finds a way. Fake your I remember with with uh, with payroll, we, we used to have to uh, we used to have to submit like how many pinups, pages, whatever. We had different rates for different things. <laughs> and every single time I'd submit mine, uh, Shannon, uh, who's Danny Mickey's they were not married then, but Danny Mickey's wife. The anchor Danny Mickey, his Shannon was our sec. She was the secretary at Extreme in the front office, and uh, she would ask me for my ID, and I, you know, I always uh, I forgot it at the club, you know, like I lost it. I, I always had a reason, so always have a reason why you don't have your ID, and always lie, and and you and you'll be fine. <laughs> That's how you make it. I mean, did you get you found out eventually? Did you have to explain yourself, Shelby? No, I narked myself out when I was eighteen. I mean, you know, when you're old enough, you can just tell them. But uh, thanks, KSSS. It's my birthday today, I guess. Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. All, you know, all the time. How old are you? 62. 69. <laughs> 69. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, anyways. No, I, I quit. I, I actually, honestly, I quit drawing in uh, high school. I went to... Uh, I went to Paris. I started, I started, I was focusing on baseball. I grew up in a baseball town. So uh, there's other players from my team that actually went to the majors. And um, that was my focus. I was a baseball player. So uh, I had some stuff happen in my life uh, with my parents that made me kind of have to shift gears and focus off sports. I was like, I need to figure out something else to do. Um, so I ended up working for this company uh, when I was 15 <laughs> uh, called, uh, Eros worldwide and and we used to make blimps and they basically paid me training on the spot to to do a blimp design i think it was like autocad 2.0 or something like that so i was doing cad drawings um and i also and at night i was working at a, a t-shirt a screen printer um so i got to learn how to do screens you know we had our own dark room and stuff and um so i was doing that kind of work so it was like a lot of grunt work before i had any paid work to sit down and work on two dimensional designs, uh, exclusively, you know, but that was at 15. So, did you say when I was, yeah, when I was 15, uh, so I'm pretty old now. Like this is, it's, uh, so what year? 90, 1990, I guess. Now it's uh, 2022. Well, oh, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah, around, around 90, uh, <laughs> In California, you you used you used to be able to get your driver's uh, your permit when you were like 14, um, 14 and a half, 15, 15 and a half. If you had driven for like six months uh, supervised with no tickets or no citations, uh, you would be able to uh, apply for your license, which you normally wouldn't be able to get till you were seventeen. Um, now, uh, with my, I have two boys that are in their twenties. Uh, they, they had to wait till they were 18 and 19 to get theirs. So I was like, mm. man, I was already driving four years before you dudes got yours. Like but to be doing paid design work at 15 is pretty amazing. At 15, yeah. I was folding boxes at a mushroom factory. I mean, the story like, about me getting that job work. is, is crazier than the job though. Um, the company's uh, Eros Worldwide was British, but they used to operate out of the Atwater Airport. Okay, um, they my boss essentially walked onto a high school campus without identifying himself or anything else, <laughs> and he walked every classroom looking for the art class because he needed to train a couple of artists. So he was looking for someone 17, 18 years old. And there was a painting up that I did of a, uh, it was like a dolphin and a scuba diver. It was, it was based on a photo. And he saw that and he asked my teacher, oh, like the guy completely lied. Like he was not supposed to be on campus. He identified himself as something he wasn't. Uh, Whoa. And basically that's how he got my information. And my question is, why the hell did my teacher give this dude a 15 year old's information of how that's to get crazy. a hold of me? So he, he ended up at my house, like on my doorstep oh. and offered me my job. Yeah. <laughs> and I told him, I go, dude, I'm not 17. Yeah. Hey, yeah. do you yeah. want a job? No. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's it was like I said, it's, it's a good it thing was he a crazy, was there to give you a joke. A crazy story. Yeah. Yeah. We had guns, dude. I didn't care. I was, you oh, know. good. I, and I, what, what's the lapse of time we, between you go out of drawings and return? I'm sorry? With, you, um, you mentioned you, you quit to drawing for a lapse of time and return. How many years? So in, in, one, in one junior week, I say, okay, I return two weeks to draw. In, in junior high, <laughs> yeah. Uh, in, in junior high school, so like seventh, eighth grade, um, I was completely convinced that I was the second coming of Walter Simonson. I was like, I'm Walt Simonson's next protege. I'm going to be the next Walt Simonson because I was like, I was obsessed with X Factor and Uncanny X. And those were my two books. And I was right. like, my lines look more like Walt's than Mark's. So I'll just settle for, for Walt for now. So I was saying the same thing about Todd McFarlane. Everything I did was angular. I couldn't I couldn't get the you know the the nice females and stuff. So um I, I was really focused on art, you know, but that's really young, man, you know, 12, 13 to be focused on a career. You know, like at that point it's just fun. It's kind of rare. Um, and then all of my friends, uh we were we were we would just play pickup games, uh baseball pickup games every weekend, and I started focusing and then we started having agents uh, my freshman year, sophomore year. And I had a buddy who actually got drafted uh, as catcher for Kansas City Royals, and he was a sophomore. And what happened was we saw he got a $30,000 check, and then we all got serious. So <laughs> that's what happened. Literally, it was money. We were like, oh, shit, you can make a lot of money just by being drafted. We didn't know that, you know, we weren't really thinking that direction. So. Uh, yeah, we focused on that, and uh, like I said, what I ended up. Did you play Shelby? Uh, I was a third. <laughs> I was originally a first baseman. Uh, I got shifted to third, um, third center and right were my positions. But I also pitched. I used to, you know, I, I'd pitch an inning or two. Nice. Um, yeah. So that's so one way you rockets too. Me. The hot, the hot zone. <laughs> so when did you get back into comics and stay in comics then? It must have been still early. So so I I used to just kind of doodle and I would kind of sketch a little bit. Um, my uh, I guess it would be like my my freshman sophomore junior year. Um, I would just kind of play around. You know, I, really, I, honestly, I would do. I wasn't I wasn't doing panel work. I wasn't trying to do pinups or nothing else. I would just draw whatever um i always had art class though um mm -hmm. and then when i decided like baseball wasn't going to work and had some stuff happen at home um i did my first set of samples uh that i had done in like five years and i sent them in and got a phone call that weekend so like it was really cool like it happened fast and it, i don't think my story is common like my first samples got me my gig you know like usually mm. you hear todd mcfarland talk about oh i had to do 200 pages before a publisher would talk to me you know and yeah. i was like that was not my case at all um i have two rejection letters i got one i got one rejection letter in 1989 or 1990 from jim valentino it's a handwritten letter uh very very eloquently telling me that i need to learn how to draw the human form mm. <laughs> and um i still have it actually i saved it. i actually i used to have it oh. framed above my uh, desk for a long time um Man, it feels good to be shelby <laughs> and then and then my second rejection letter i got was uh from extreme studios six months after i was already working there what <laughs> nice i don't know i never asked them. so weird. it showed up at my house yeah and my dad's like hey i think uh... your work mailed your check here and i was like what he goes yeah you got a letter from extreme and i was like open it up and he read it to me and i was like what the hell so were you worried you didn't was... have a job anymore <laughs> he was worried no 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 not at all I, I i figured it was um i figured it was eric stevenson just being a dickhead honestly yeah yeah he never liked me he i uh i was all pierced out i had blue hair like he just he was a total square man he didn't want anyone in there that was different you know so i was like this guy he, he would he would walk by my desk and just talk shit like all day he'd walk by and be like 
you can't draw women's hair. That hair sucks. You should redraw it. I'm going to talk to your editor. You need to redraw that page. She would say stuff like that, like nonstop. So petty. You know? and I was what like, would you say back? Oh, I usually would not. I would usually have like music. Back, you know, this is back. We had like him. I had like my I had my disc man going with my double A's and you know. So you were the coolest guy in the studio, and he didn't like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was I was still in the thunder. Mm. Yeah, because I've, seen your, cool, I've seen your stuff from back then, like the uh, old Prophet books and stuff. What was it, Prophet or some other book that you did for Extreme? And it was, it's just crazy to think that you were that good so young. I still feel like I'm getting to that level. Mm. No, my old work is pretty terrible. I don't know. Working, you, you guys, it might have been terrible, way, but you, you made are... it look good. <laughs> Refresh no, you, guys are, you guys are way ahead. Look at that. 122, 990. Oh man, getting so close. Yeah, well, Kenneth, you need to start drawing that bookmark, bro. Yes, I, I think. No, I only going to put in the search box, <laughs> and then during the next one, I, I'm going to start put the 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 progress, the the search goals making. No, nice. that, that's my plan. Oh, so you're <laughs> well, making I'm a to, bookmark? To the show. Yes. Ah, as a yeah, stretch goal. As a special yes. I'm going to show my. He my, said it on uh, chat here too, like, guys. He said 125. I, I hope <laughs> you, you like Star Wars because I draw my R2D2 and my four years old. <laughs> we used to, to show you how ugly I draw. <laughs> it's here? Yeah. Ah, Look how right. ugly. <laughs> 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 you, you honestly made me how ugly I grow. Let's be like, clip that audio so we can have well, this. Same year, same year. Look how film. ugly. Oh, that's cool. I got more in colors. And yes, yeah, see, I that, look at that, more colors. Wait, is that a munch? Wait, is that? I don't wait, know what is <laughs> It's something. Oh, wait, is this your artwork? Oh, you save everything. It is your art, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's mine. Kenneth saves all of his art. That's I look, love that. Look, look, look how beautiful colors. It's tendency, right? Absolutely beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> how old were you? Well, that one? <laughs> for four years. Four years old. I was, yeah, I was a toddler. Yeah. Hold on, I think I got a five-year-old. It's no kid. I was five. Oh, wow. wow. Kenneth, throw that vehicle in broken too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I feel like this almost. Hey, yes. This feels well, related maybe, to broken. Somehow, maybe for yes, or the title. Look how beautiful! I think he have an eye in the top of the <laughs> awesome. shark fin, yeah. the, the top and the tail. So you got there you go. I'm gone. Yeah, cool. I don't know. Uh, sumo says fifty dollars confirmed. <laughs> I think I'm going to draw my my version of this vehicle in my sketchbook in the campaign. That'd the new cool. version of, of this would be super colorful. I will enjoy it. So, you, you know what that reminds me of, Kenneth? Do you remember? Do you remember that old series way back called? Uh, it was called what was it? Jace, Jace and the Wild Warriors. Do you remember that at all? The name is not sound. Well, maybe Jace and the Wild Warriors. They they were just a bunch of dudes driving around in vehicles that were like uh, they were like organic, like they had like uh like living tails and stuff on them it was it was kind of a bizarre cartoon yeah it was I, it was I, out I, around the same time as like sectars and centurions and all that okay i, I go to check but i don't want to have influence maybe i'm going to finish this vehicle first and then i'm going to search for for that mm. oh, it is looking trick yeah it's it's an ugly but have his own, <laughs> oh. own I'm colorful, yeah. Super colorful. Show it again, show That's it again, cool. show it again, show it again. There we go. I mean, that was kind of the weird thing with Don't copy, it's copyright. That's going to end that up was, being more, more beautiful, views though, uh, man. in photo and chat. <laughs> I have a lot of drawings when I was a kid, except the, um, the ugly monsters. I, mm. I really... At five, well, at four too. I, I draw a lot of gore. Oh, things. A, a lot of gory things. 
Oh, yeah. the truth yeah, is like coming the, out now. Well, that was in, in the trust. In the trust no, it's not. Did you get sent to the school counselor? Right. There's some detention <laughs> in there, huh? That's how I got sent. Ah, I did that too, I like man. teddy bears <laughs> with blood and those things. So, with teeth and dogs out. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, He's going to I show it. One more, one more drums. Yeah, Distort face. There's oh, that's stuff. cool. I, I I have more. A lot of stuff like that. More defined. I have one excellent thing. I love. Yeah, I Can know it, what, when I was here. I what was the first? Yeah. What was the first thing you drew on Jen Lee's desk? The one that you um, won off wizard. No, I, I just cleaned the, the table and the most ruins. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait. It's, 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 you spray it's, it's down the it's, desk and wipe this artwork off? Yeah, that, 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 that's, it's <laughs> most of my papers. That table have a lot of drawings. Uh -huh. Wolverine, that, and you that didn't like them, of... so you sprayed them down and you wiped yeah, them yeah, off? I, you had to make I, room I for it though. I need something. Clear I love to, that. To work <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Don't believe me too much. My stories. Oh, I got. I have. Oh man. Not fighter. Oh, Darth Vader. Cool. Yeah. You're a Star Wars fan. Ah, oh, man. I have a, wow. That's gonna be a, a poster. Oh yeah. Princess Leah. Princess Leah in black. That's what it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah. oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm based more in the bring, toys. I mean, wait, is that Yoda? <laughs> yeah. Bring that bring it up. Yeah. Wait, go up a little bit. Is that Yoda? <laughs> That's Yoda, dude. Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> the force is strong dude. And I put the number I think of the toy because I always have my toys and no well, she's not black it, the, the the dress is is silver. Her legs <laughs> are awesome, her pose. Yes, so so much action. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Very dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, hey, you got, it's, it's you got nice more in the floor. You down. got more articulation in your drawing than the than the action figures had, kiddo. <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Hold up! Thank you. All right, guys, hold on one second here. I'm gonna kick myself. I think we gotta we gotta go to the campaign. Uh oh. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh yes. <laughs> it's almost at 123. Uh, it's, oh, uh, oh, it might even be there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, it go. might even be there by now. 123, 185. Thank you. Mm. I can smell that Wow. You, you enjoy much that bow, one? much bow. How much bow? At 1,437 backers, only 13 backers away from 1,450. Let's, we we got to get it there. And I'm sure once mm. we get it there, that'll probably give us the 125 that we need to get to that awesome next stretch goal. Mm -hmm. Right now we are sadly three hundred more backers than the first campaign. It's amazing. Wow, great! You know the other thing about Groken is it's one of the most unique looking comic books out there, in terms of theme and and just characters and that kind of thing. There's nothing else like it. So yep. well done. It's, it's one of a kind. It really is, and, and you don't really see that often, especially these days where so much stuff has been done and redone and redone. So many things are kind of you know, different mm. takes on stuff that has come before. But you look at Groken, and, and yeah, it's just mm. totally new. It doesn't look like anything that has yeah. come before it. Yes, it's so hard sometime... to describe it to someone without pictures because there's nothing like it. I can say, oh, it's like this or that. It's, it just all looks yes, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Man, dude, um, Rick Saylor is backer 1555. He oh. said, "Let's get it. Let's." He said, "He said we got to refresh again." So let me kick myself. Oh. There we go. Hold on one sec here. Yeah, and dude, yeah, this uh, program is 
eating up bandwidth. Hold on one, one sec here, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, we are getting closer and closer. Yes. Rick is 100% right. Look at that. Wow. wow. Yeah. Credit, Man, credit to hard. R2-D2 sketch by Kenneth. Yes. And the Yoda. It's, it's yeah. not the car. It's the Star Wars stuff. Yeah, the Yoda brought it home. Yeah, you know, as soon as he saw that, 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 that Princess Leia, he was like, oh, man, whatever this guy made. And I think the, yep. the number is from the back of the toy. <laughs> is the number of the figure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did you draw the did you draw the snake around Yoda's neck too? Obviously. Look how amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what else you think drew it? Look at that. It was it. Those are my skills. That's the Those brown snake bearing. <laughs> it's not the yeah, I, was gonna, I was gonna say, isn't it is it orange? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually a brown snake variant. That's good. Yeah, that's the expensive one. So, Kenneth so Kenneth had expensive toys. Um, yes, I, I had like a eight figure of Luke Skywalker, like a pilot, a swing pilot. More of those those characters die, um, in in my sister broke it, the heads and yeah. Uh, <laughs> in mission, in mission. Usually you hear about the brother breaking the Barbie dolls' heads off. <laughs> yeah, so oh, all, 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 all there is um down in in the dirt and they're they're going to search something in the the caves in particular some iguana tunnels in, in the and i put inside to, to go to the mission to search inside the, the cave oh and i never found again the, the, <laughs> the figures <laughs> yeah but I, like i said you need to have imagination when you are a kid and that mm. more how dealing with when you do scripts and stuff. Maybe yeah. I do a, a, a it's nice you get to preserve that as a as an adult, being a comic book <laughs> artist, because so many people lose their imaginations, and that that childlike curiosity, things that they could potentially create, we get to do that, which is really yeah. nice. I think artists always retain things. And um, you don't need to to put exactly your thoughts on who you was young or or your personal life, but that for me how how move the the logic of things and and put uh, always um, something. You need to don't believe in logics. Put weird stuff mm -hmm. in in the paper. Um, feel free to to explore other areas. And mm. explore new ideas, and well, you need to to be convinced it's a good product. <laughs> don't, don't, don't go too much too crazy, and people don't understand yeah. you. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, it, it, it's good to have imagination, and it's fundamental if you're going to create stuff. Do you, um, when you're working, Kenneth? Do you eliminate all the distractions that could potentially take you away from it? For example, the internet. Or uh, you know YouTube, social media, your phone, because I feel like to be able to do the level of output that you're able to pull off, you'd have to be completely immersed in in the work at hand. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, yeah, uh, when it's like a crate, but when it, you're only inking, it's not that necessary because you are working over you. Yeah, pencil. Yeah, yeah, pencils. Yeah. But when you when you write uh, writing. And you need to emerge like uh, the characters, how interact, how talk. One, the every character have different tone of talking, and um, also purpose in the in the comic. You need to jump, to jump to different mind. And yeah, it's, it's better don't have too much things like mm. uh, interrupt you in that, yeah. that, that flow. But it is it, it depends some sometimes I do the layout of on the in the story how I want to move notes in the is angry or something and how is it going, going to project in the dialogue and then I again to draw. Yeah, it is hmm. but like you say, it's it's preferred to to don't have interruption like calls and 
look, look something like uh, it's going to influence too much. Like <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I found once I start, it is much easier to keep going, but it's really hard to start. And uh, usually because I get, I mean, the worst habit you can create is jumping on Facebook or something like that first thing in the morning and checking your emails. I've found, for me, I can't switch off. It's really hard for me to get to work after that. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you, Kenneth? Yes, you seem yes. like you're a very focused man. No, obviously, uh, we want something to to look around. Or if you're going to, to check something, put a timer. Because if not, ah, you're going good to, idea. To, waste, to, to wait the time of the, the whole day. Because if you use four hours looking dogs, funny things, uh, cats, whatever, yeah, <laughs> failures, and you're going to laugh to enjoy the day, but it's not productive day at the end. Time does have a way of slipping away when you're watching funny cat videos. Yeah, is it whatever you want to to look about? It's like a, I don't want yeah, to say you can get lost real time, quick but... in YouTube watching videos. Next thing you know, four hours go by. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, big time! It's so it's so easy to have that happen. But yes, when I doing the the process, but it's not consuming too much time. The writing for page in the day, maybe one hour. Or, or something, for page or less, hmm. fifty minutes. I don't know. That depends on how how heavy it is. The the rest of the day you can listen things, you can watch, you can interact, texting, whatever. Hmm. When you are drawing only because you, you know what you're going to do, it's only uh, have a good pace. Hmm. I, I try to the time. The, the consume time in the morning more for doing the heavy part, the one I need more concentration because I don't want to be tired when I'm doing the that. Oh, who, who do that? I think that's Rob Arnold. Yeah, yeah Rob, uh, Rob is really proud of this. I've been waiting yeah, to show Rob, it. Rob's a fantastic really artist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great job, Rob. Rob feels threatened yeah. with Kent on panel. Rob wants to reassure his dominance as the number one artist in CG. So this, this is what Rob's doing. I want to talk to Rob about why he felt the way he felt while he was drawing this. Yeah. <laughs> who, who are these characters he's drawing? Who do they see? Yeah, symbolize? what's going on here? This is dark. Yeah, what's happening? He's in total January 6th. Yeah. I got to tell DK2. A peek into the mind of Rob <laughs> Arnold, and it is scary. Yeah. Yeah. We need oh, to. Oh, what age Rob. was that? Yeah. <laughs> How big is the forehead on the one? 48. That age? <laughs> Why okay, do they Rob? have no faces? It's disturbing. Is everything all right at home? <laughs> Is Rob having a stroke? He yeah, seems Rob, frustrated. Blink twice if you're being held against your will. <laughs> Pretty good. I feel like there's a hidden message in this drawing. Okay. Yeah, mirror flip it. Let's see what it looks like. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, the proportion is better than mine when I was four years. <laughs> uh, uh, Kenneth, what do you have to say about this insulting, just insulting comment that Rob the Replicator has made? You you know you had talked to us last night, me and Lord Crackhead, after the stream. I, you were mentioning about that cover you were going to do for Rob, but I sounds like that might be out the window now. Or, you know, oh, yeah. I'm just kidding, but... uh. Yeah, yeah. No, much love, but yeah. And we got nothing on <laughs> Okay. I respect your opinion. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rob, I, th I think I think that covers out try. the, you know, it's, it's, it's no not happening, bro. Good luck. Oh, he's got a cover right there. He just drew it himself. He's good. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Mm. <laughs> Save some money, but no. I will try the yeah. cover for you. Just draw your own. Um, Don't listen to him, man. Rob's it, got enough. It's not ideal, it by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, JV is just 
roasting me in the chat, guys. I'm gonna go put myself back in timeout, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna check in on Groken. Yeah, the heavy breathing. I've seen a, a chat in there is like whoever need, keeps heavy breathing needs to mute their mic. My, my dogs. So oh, wow. sorry. <laughs> It's a big dog. Yeah, big ones. Big dogs. Oh, it's so close now. Refreshing time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's spin. go. Oh, yeah. Dead yeah, refresh. I missed it. Yep, 12357. Nice. Yeah, yep. Went up a more, yeah, went up 120 something, yeah. Nice. Almost. Very nice. We are yes. moving along. You guys, thank you. That's yeah, shout nice. out to the chat. Shout out to everybody who has yeah. been backing this campaign, sharing it out on your social media. And definitely do that. Share out the stream. Share out the campaign. Let everybody know that this is closing down tonight, 3 a.m. Eastern. Get in here. Back broken too. Let's get this thing to 125K. Hmm. There should be more backers Word. on this. It's like people haven't heard about it yet because if they knew what it was, there would be no hesitation. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with crowdfunding. With you know, uh, crowdfunding is still, you know, it's still very much in its infancy. There's still a ton mm -hmm. of comic book fans out there that have no idea what crowdfunding even is. Uh, Phoenix, in particular, he travels the con circuit all around the country. That's pretty much all he does uh, for, yeah, his, for, sure. uh, for his work. And that's it's true. just about about ninety percent, eighty eighty to ninety percent of the customers that he talks to at all of these cons have never even heard of Indiegogo or crowdfunding or anything like that. So. We just got to work on keeping, uh, you know, getting the word out there. Mm -hmm. I got to imagine every Kenneth Rockefort fan, if they knew this <laughs> yeah. comic existed, would be jumping onto if it they straight did, away. Yes. yes, for sure. Maybe they just got to make sure they know. From there. <laughs> I got a buddy. That's where where is Kenneth? What's he doing? That's funny. Um, I was in the last weekend. No, like, during the week. I, I was with my chair, a broken, my black chair, t shirt. And just pe people ask about what that thing, and I have my stickers. And, hey, give, give the stickers, and hey, I'm going to check that. And that's you need to promote also in person. And you go out mm. in conventions is very more easy. But if you have your shirt with your logo with your campaign thing, yeah, that's help a lot directly with the people outside. Basically, yes. like if I'm um, sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was gonna say, if you have eyeballs and some money, and you don't have Gherkin too, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it, it's promotion um, uh, indirectly, directly. It, it's good, no, no matter how. Also, people talk about the project and say, oh, or I have it. Uh, sorry for you, you don't have it. And uh, yes, this is funny conversation open new new workers new people who follow the, the project and enjoy the the comment at the end. Mm. It's, it's a series, it's not only one, it's two, three, four, five. There there and also it's coming more projects under the label of Intografia. Um yes I have a lot of things to bring in the future. We only start last year with with okay, two years with that meeting. Then the, the comic series one traffic no um i have i started writing other stuff i will be busy for a long time yeah uh, so how was, how many how like how long did it take you to come up with the idea for the Groken universe you know and like the concept that you're building into this like how long did the world building and all that kind of kind of take well I did, um, it's similar of a few pages I did in Image Comics in Victory number two. There are three pages of items. What is your story? What I only showed two pages. Uh, it's the kind of world. I, I know that the world, but the broken is similar world. It's the same world, but it's other character mm -hmm. in, in that universe. Um, only I, I took a few years 
three or five. I don't know. I I recommend ideas. Um, mm -hmm. um, I start writing one night. I I did the the first issue. The the plot. Mm -hmm. Then I continue writing, and that don't take too much time. If you want the direction you, you want to go, um, for me, in that project it was easy to, to create mm -hmm. the, the plot. The the more consuming time is the early scene of the dialogue, or or on the events in the order you want to to put because you don't want the the reader is going to be boring. You need to create some intrigue. Some don't be so explicit to the concept. Of, oh, I know that story. I, I, I know how it's going to end. Of oh, these spoilers and at the beginning, you know how how it all be resolved. You want to create more more, more, more interaction between the comic and, and the reader and suspense oh and fun and fun parts you you don't want to, all, all the time like a one line or emotion yeah for to, sure to, to go and yeah, play with that yeah interrupt with stupid jokes or sad <laughs> things or action yeah because you don't want to create a pattern then it's predictable mm -hmm. You need to to put things like you enjoy more the the comic, and, and and when you tell the story, you say Grogan story like a, if you're going to when you finish all the the issues to read, when you're going to try to tell what happened, you need to oh one one moment I, I forgot that part and interrupt. It's like a I play with that thing to it's not easy to to tell to other in one line mm -hmm. uh, it, it's the different forms all all techniques are are open but when you do your own stuff you need to take that decision to what you're going to be the style not your style is the style for particular issue or particular series because i want to to write different for other series but that one is that way yeah yeah, it is. In each one, I start so going to the flashback or story history of the universe of, of that, and then you return to the Groken. And in the in the minus one, you start directly with, with Groken, the the when he was a kid. In this one, it is. No, it's... I, I going, I'm going to remaster the small to a, a big comic and add some stories. This is going to be the prelude of the going to be affecting earlier than the first issue. It's going to be a number zero graphic novel, but it's going to be in the future, like a, in two is, years. Are, are you going to be coloring that, Kenneth? Or... Yes, completely like a graphic okay. novel. I was curious about that. Yeah. He's going. I'm going to add more more things. It's not paste the same page to withdraw yeah. over that. No, it's going to be more more deep in the story. But, awesome, man! Thank you for you know diving so deep mm -hmm. into that, man. We appreciate it. I'm sure a lot of people are you know in the audience. You know, you know, just curious yeah. of how you work, man. I know me and Zade. We've talked about it. You know, um, all kinds of stuff, man. So yeah, appreciate you, man. But uh. Yeah. Yeah, you are. I just checked it. I'm gonna um pull it up real quick. You we're 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 inching along. We're inching along. So, if you guys would, man, please share this out. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, update. Let's get this there. We're reload, reload. It's more. Reload, reload. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit! It's more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I had sorry, to upgrade to get all the covers. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't resist. When you said that there's going to be six books, I'm like, yeah, I need to have mm -hmm. multiple copies of each issue. <laughs> uh, easy one to, to damage, to, to read, read. And yeah, I want one. I want, yeah, I want a, um, 
I want one that that I can just reread over and over and over again and preserve the others in pristine condition. Oh, awesome. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, the more valuable um, is the one you read, by the way. Oh, sorry. The, the valuable one is the one you're going to read. For my the variant one is what he said. Sorry, what was that? The like valuable hearing? one. Oh, the valuable one? No, that one's getting kept yeah. in pristine oh. condition. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, it's the one you read. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, oh, okay. Right. Yeah, the the most valuable one to Kenneth is the one that we read. That's uh, that's what. That, yeah. you know, oh, that's what right. That's the true creator. Yeah. You know? oh, Sorry for that. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. I got you, Kenneth. I got you. Thank you. So, it's okay. I'm uh, so Clayton. Hmm. Uh, you know, um, Kenneth, have you seen Kozor? Are you have you, yes. you checked that? Have you been able to check that out? Yes. Okay, you guys, you mind if we go check in on Kozor and just show yeah. some people in the audience if you know, whatever. Um, yeah. Here, let me uh. Let me pull it up real quick. Um, you know, Clayton, what's the status on that? I know that like, you guys are getting it printed now, or you have them printed. Yeah, we just sent out an update today. So we got a whole bunch of proofs done. It's our first time out the gate. We want to make sure we get it right. We figured it out, what the specs were going to be. So then we put in the final print run, and we're expecting all the books to show up to my doorstep on Wednesday slash Thursday. So once they get here, we're going to sign them all, send oh. them off to the U.S., and they'll be uh, sent out from there. So uh, we it's a huge milestone to finally be at this point. You're not going to send mine point. to the U.S., are you, Clayton? I'm not going to send yours. I'm going to send yours to say. your address. <laughs> you could literally come to my house and pick it up if you want. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say it just seems like a waste to send it overseas. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, we're really proud of what we've created. It's, uh, for those who don't know, I'm sure all of you know by now, but it is a dark fantasy story that, huh? yeah, it's a, it's a dark fantasy story similar to Berserk, The Witcher, if you guys have uh, ever been a fan of those franchises before. And there's lots of monsters and ghouls and savage warriors uh there's some babes as well some lovely looking ladies which uh, exactly. Corey is a big fan of um and it's just it's one heck of a hell okay. ride Corey and I, yeah look at look at that it's enough oh, to yeah. give you nightmares and, uh, i love the you know, stuff too man like yeah. again like that was another group of guys that i mean of course through joe catapano he knows clayton you know through the how to draw mm. comics.net and he was Absolutely. like, dude, look at this guy's stuff. And so when I first came in here and started seeing the Kozor stuff and stuff that Clayton was putting out too, I was oh, sorry, man. my dogs are kind of going nuts. Uh, I might have to bow out, let them go, <laughs> it's go okay. outside yeah. for a minute. But yeah, I actually I might have to jump off that, that piece back there with the, the bust go up a little bit more. That thing, like, that's what made me like go, oh my God, these guys are on another level. And I had to like just say hi to you guys and learn more about what you do. And so Joe sent me over to there. And then like, then I heard you guys were like remastering it, like going back yeah. and then doing more work just to make sure it's the best you guys could do. It's like, uh, incredible yes, stuff. Yeah. We the really went the whole way with it. It's a book that can function in black and white and color level mm -hmm. up both. Similar yeah. We've got a black and white version. Visually. It's a, uh, yeah, let me, yeah, let me, uh, let me pull you up here. Yeah, um, Joe, I know you, uh, um, you know, Joe, uh, if you got, if you got a bow out, um, his link is in the description, him and his, his channel, um, and then Sean Aaron with type one, all that stuff yes, in the description. Everybody that's in here or on here. So yeah. Yeah. Joe, if you got a bow out, that's cool. Um, yeah, I got to work in the you morning. Come back in a little bit, or what? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, Kenneth, congratulations, man! This is awesome. I Thank hope you. I wake up in the morning. And you're at that 125 mark. So, uh, hail the panel, hail the chat. I'll talk to you we'll all later. That. Uh oh. Thank see you. you later, uh -oh. Joe. It's uh, good we're to see get you. There. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get... later, Joe. Boost. Appreciate you hopping on. All right, thank you. Later, Joe. Uh, yeah, let's go. No. Yep. So that's that's your uh, that's you your proof those pages, man. Yeah, yeah that's the proof. What are you doing? Get it back up there. <laughs> okay. Do you want yeah, to see yeah. the colored one? No, I want to see the black yes. and white. Black and white. I, I can see both of them. 
All right, I'll get it up, Shelby. I'll do what I'm told. Yeah, get it up. Show me. Oh, oh that's nice. Yeah, I'm a sucker for full. black and white, man. You know that. Uh, I'm as excited yep. for the black and white as I am the colored version. Maybe even more excited because, I mean, I'm a really big fan of line art. And so I'm focused on values and rendering and lighting. And so this works really well without the color. Yeah. Uh, as well as with the color. And it's just, yeah, yeah. it's, we're really yeah, proud. All, all those lines that we laid down, it was worth it in the end. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You and Shelby and all you guys have got me into black and white too. I got all these. Look at it. Look at that mouth. Like these myself. Look at that mouth. Uh, uh, at the top, that top panel, I think it was Mandy Summers that was looking at my mouths and teeth and going like, you rarely see people go for the full like render of teeth and it looked great. Dude, that looks fantastic. It's good stuff. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. I'm glad you like it. I got a couple mouths down here. I got one that's missing some teeth. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's fun. It was a lot of fun to do. Oh, crack pack. <laughs> yeah. And, All right, let me uh, let this, this is the color right. version. I'll just get that up real quick so you guys can see what the colors are going to look like inside. Oh. Because they, they did awesome. come out really beautifully as well. Awesome. Uh, Corey and did, I really... Did you use the same printer as Rob? Uh, no. In, in, in... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did. We used the same printer as Rob and Bancroft. And um, they worked so well with us. They really uh, took the time to help us to get it right and to make sure that it was exactly what we wanted it to be in the end. And so, you know, I... <laughs> They were probably sick of me by the end because I made them print so many proofs. And he was so nice because, um, you know, he, he didn't even really make us pay anything for those proofs because, well, he said that they that he took too long to get them to us, but it was really only a small delay and for a good reason uh, on their end. So, uh, yeah, just so pleased with the level of communication from that printer. I would definitely be working with them again. And we yeah, got man. Um, if, Hell, Perth. Yeah, if you guys haven't, man. Hell, Perth, yeah. um, if you guys haven't, dude, I'm telling you, the colors, like when Ro when I got Replicator 4 or, or Replicator 3, um, dude, those things, mm -hmm. man, dude, they look so good in person. Like seeing them on yeah. screen does not do them justice. So, Oh, yeah, yeah it's yeah, they're awesome. And we got uh, a really nice thick cover as well. We, we tested out a few different cover thicknesses and realized that the 350 GSM, I'm not sure how many pounds that is in, for you guys in the U.S., but uh, we felt like that just made the book feel so premium. And uh, after all this time, it felt justified. That, nice. that I, think that's a, product. <laughs> I think that's yeah. a, uh, over here in the States, I think that would be a 110-pound cover stock. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, so, so uh, I think... I think Groken was 110 cover. Oh, great. The, the volume one, I think. Yeah. That's awesome. Maybe. I, I think I sang for only 100. But, <laughs> but the, <laughs> the printer guy really helped in the decisions. Yeah. Um, the final product was nice. I, I need to ask him again about the specification and take all the, those notes for the next one. Oh, this isn't the record. I only need to say I want the same thing. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Um, I love the final photo. I like it. Yes, I'm proud of saying that like, like you. It's a beautifully yeah. printed book, uh, Kroken. Oh, yeah. There's a, and it's, it's just yeah. super different when you only have the files, digital, you, you go through the PDF, all the stuff, and when you have it in your, in your hands, you say, oh, boy, that, that, that's real. I, now I believe I did something <laughs> because the, the, all of the other thing is only the process. Yeah, absolutely. It's so scary sending books off to the printer for that final print run as well, because you're just praying that you didn't miss anything, that all the pages are in the right order, that there's no double ups, which it's at one point there was. I noticed going through one of the proofs that I had put the same page in twice. I'm like, oh damn! Mm -hmm. <laughs> but 
that's crazy. And so I took it out, obviously, and, and redid what I had to do in order to get the correct page count back to where it was. But uh, just those sorts of things uh, make you sweat a little bit because obviously you're dumping a lot of money on that finished print run. Did, did so you, you got to go over the, everything with a fine tooth comb. Do you receive the the proofs in FAS apart or in the book, like a book? Uh, in book form. Okay. Yeah. What about you? I pages apart because about time. Oh, really? I, I say it's, it's okay. No matter. I want to check the yeah the, the pages, the, the colors, the okay the areas. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's awesome. similar, but I think having book that that's more amazing. <laughs> Have the, the yeah the copy proof. Yeah, well, they they put these together by hand as well. He told me. Yeah. Because I I was asking him about uh, I'm really uh, perfectionist, and there was a there was a slight bounce to the cover, and I really wanted to minimize that as much as possible, and I asked him about it, and he said that they were all hand made these proofs. And that the printing press, it'll be a lot flatter and whatnot. But I was just, man, the amount of time that they went to to put those together. Very wow. thankful. Glad that Bancroft and my, and Rob got me onto that guy. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, you know what else is awesome? Steve, you are now the proud owner of Groken 1 and 2. You're welcome. Oh, so you. we are. Let's go here real quick. Let's go. Hopefully, I don't get doxxed. That's sweet. Wow. Me. Kind of felt don't left out me. when everyone was talking about Grok in one, and I was like, oh, I don't even have a Grok in uh -oh. one. Okay, yep. Um, <laughs> I'll have to refresh. Yeah. Um, oh, man, I would have oh, sent you this... a Grok in one, Steve. I have like five. <laughs> 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 I like D Wag buying it better. He can earn. Yep. So. All right, let's can refresh. Make himself See if useful in for yet. once. Do something for me for a change. Wow, there we go. Wow, one point four. We need nine hundred and eighty dollars. Thank you. Less than a grand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, we, Kenneth. Give away prizes mm -hmm. and stuff already. I don't know, man. Uh, I, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how to. I don't know how to go about it. You know what I mean? Like, because incompetence, man. But that's the, what the perks are for, right? You know. <laughs> the stretch uh -oh. goals. Sorry. Yeah, they're like a prize too, but yeah, should be a prize for watching our show. Oh, true. Well, well, we're gonna be doing that, and maybe I, you know, I'll show you guys. What, um, <laughs> let me see here. One. My, my computer's going so slow, but uh, yeah, like um. Uh, Did you give yeah, away yeah, on, hours Roach, copies of Roach Falls? No, I don't know how we should do it. But okay. like um, we got thirty-seven people in here. Um, if people want nice. to, <sighs> crackhead, are you here? How would you recommend doing this? Oh. Is there anybody that doesn't have roach balls? Let's ask that in the chat. Hey, that uh, would... <clears throat> sorry, Darren. I'm going to jump out of here. But uh, okay, thanks for the invite, you, guys. Really appreciate Take it. Care, Good bro. seeing you all. Thanks, Clayton. Good right, cool. awesome. cool. Clayton. Good luck, bro. Cool, cool. Boom. All right, so we are really close. We're less than a thousand dollars away. All right, so uh, Linkovich is over there, my man. He's saying he's already got Roach Balls. Pass it along. Um, Stank rules. You know what I'm saying? Perth Comics. Um, Dojo says he doesn't have Roach Balls. Uh I mean, what are you guys thinking, man? How how should we do this? We'll we'll come we'll come back to yeah. it later. Um, how, how many, but, how many you got in chat? You, you we're going uh, we, to just make you like, if you're still here, we're going to go on to like 4 a.m. And whoever's left at the end gets Roach Balls. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> 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 the last person in the chat gets Roach Balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But get my, get my, um, watch time up. Um, yeah. you know, yeah. Last, last Never comment seen. after stream ends, you win. Yeah. But but they yeah, need to, to do a sign every hour in the <laughs> chat. Right. I'm still here. <laughs> Tell me, I'm in. 
Yeah. Yes. Okay, Steve, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's do it for like so our next stream. So let me put Steve up here. Steve, that Star Wars boy. You guys see right there. Um, since it's Matthew Fowler. Um, Steve, how many how many Tiger Blue action figures do you have left? Or how many you got made? Right Give me there something. is eighty something of them. Okay. I'm about halfway there. Um, do you think that we can get those finished within two weeks? Um if you today? quit bugging me to make you videos and stupid crap like that, yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, probably. I just bought you Groken <laughs> one and two. Chill. Yeah, I appreciate but, uh, it. No, thanks, brother. Okay, no, I appreciate no, it. I got to make a few more because I'm doing some glow yeah. in the dark ones. Ooh. Okay. And so then I got to make guys like a hundred more because I'm we're doing these two right mm -hmm. on the heels. So. And then I have to make, before that, I have to make the AROs. Cool, cool. I'm pretty busy. Get that off the clutch, Boogie. Yeah, so um, let, just to let you guys know, like, the issue we've been having with CGTV was um, we were going to rush fulfilling Tiger Blue. Um, I was going to go help Steve um, basically package him. What, well, what happened was is the printer, the magenta wheel on it, um, basically went out. So, um. You know, we had to wait for these. We had to wait for the printer to get fixed and then wait for that. So Fowler just decided to go ahead and ship everything else out and um, left these. So, yeah, Steve just got these about a week ago. Um, and, yeah, I think, Steve, I don't know if you, somebody's audio is uh, whatever clicking or something. Um, um, I don't know. I don't know if somebody's got a printer going yes. or something like that. No, but... my printers are off. For the show. Oh, no? I don't know what that is. I don't know, yeah. Yeah, I'm put, assembling all these by hand, so to, you know, put all the pieces together. All the figures are all together. So I have to, you know, just put this piece on yep. there, and then lay the figure in here, and, and put each one together by hand. So they're oh, sort of a hybrid between handmade and mass produced. Yeah. Because I okay. made like a handmade. massive amount of them by hand, pretty much. <laughs> Packaged yeah. at least, they kind of look like if you yeah. look at old GI Joe figures and Star Wars yeah. figures. <laughs> you know, you did you hear like, uh, J JV saying that you make these in the back of an abandoned Bob Evans? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> close. It's my yeah. mom's basement. But, uh, yeah. So what are we doing? I think I think I think basically where I was going with that, Steve, was that like I think um, you know, we wanted to get these fulfilled out, you know what I'm saying? And we want to bring CGTV. We we want to get the old production that we had on our old show um back, but like it's just been hard with like, you know, we were waiting for the the cards, then they came and they were had lines down them. Um and you know, we couldn't send those to you guys. But uh I think we're gonna go um I think we're gonna go to Fowler's and maybe like here in two weeks, do you think, you think by in two weeks time, maybe we can, uh, three tops, right? Like, I mean, we can have those over to Fowler's and I think we are going to film soon. a CG TV episode. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, is we're going to be fulfilling those and we'll do that an episode and then we'll go into CG TV. So that'd be yeah. CG TV episode 0.5. But, uh, um, but yeah, that's what we got Four, going on. Five, um, got number zero and number 0.5. Okay. Yeah. We're, it's uh, a build up. Okay. To episode number one. All right, we're getting we're getting we're getting slim slim pickings here, guys. All right. Um. Well, come for hype. figures, stay for the cancer printer fumes. <laughs> That's true. No, the plastic but, uh, ones don't give off fumes. It's just the resin one, which I don't use that much when my mom and dad are here. Those, those figures look amazing. The presentation. That's my resin one over there. So it does have fumes. So I made all these on my. You yeah, like the fumes? Ones. Yeah, but <laughs> sometimes like the the mix of my crack and weed. <laughs> you know, it gets, you know yep. I like it. I like it pure. You get that those fumes in there. It's like, eh. So Steve, you like the green smoke? Like rendering and broken too, right? Like, oh yeah, uh, all the swirly that. swirls. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got. Oh, I guess um. Totally sick to me. <laughs> what happened? Oh, okay. All right, hold on one second, guys. So I am gonna, Steve. You know, while we're while we're at it, for, we'll take a quick little break here, 
and I will, uh, I'm going to show you guys some, some of these what if card backs that we made, um, just kind of fan art type of things. Um, basically I've, I've got so, a template that I made for my tiger blue figures and it's all layered out. So it's pretty easy just to dip out, you know, the, the art and the logo and make it into some oh. kind of other one. So I, I'm kind of like, I want them all to look uniform like if i had the license to make every character in cg or whatever you know what i'm saying i would i would want each one to be unique and individual yet uniform so it's like just in my imagination what if i were you know to make some of the other because you have a template and you change the colors and put the image that people are attractive on previously um, yes like Super 7 down here, basically, they just mimic the old template from, you know, Star Wars figures and G.I. Joe figures. And they've went and they've licensed out, you know, all kinds of different, you know, IPs. They've got Thundercats, Masters of the Universe, G.I. Joe. And they, they're on that, you know, people my age and, and you know, that's 40 Star Wars kids and G.I. Joe kids. You just look at a three and three quarter inch figure and it, that's that's how it should be packaged right yeah you know it's like the figures the on standard, the side yeah. and then there's a picture and a logo and a border and that's what that's what a action figure should look like right so <laughs> so basically just kind of ran with that and it's like you know we can add more characters and more whatever and they, you know if you're out there and you want help making figures and you have a completely different idea for your packaging that's cool but like this is this is kind of like if i were making them this this is how i would do it there's aro yeah. 15. Oh. Bow! <laughs> so yeah th th this is this is a figure that we're going to be handing we're out to you guys make um, these. these are to the printer at 3dz yeah 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 these are actually going to be made um you know i gotta i unfortunately I have to share this the slow way um oh, sorry guys but yeah um i'm gonna show off roach balls my computer is just about to like die so um this, this like rich said he wants to make his own or whatever yeah, or something like that or this, you know whatever so this is just... rich and say oh you got to make that figure with steve rich will make his that he's like me he wants and and kenneth David, we want to do everything this is like if I made roach balls, I'd put them on a card like that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try so. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So Steve, you're coming out with like the CG version of Beanie Babies over here. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Except for their co cool action figures and stuff. Right. <laughs> you were talking about an American like Star Spangled one and everything like. Oh yeah, with the um. With the tiger blue. The tiger blue we kind of you know we just went because you know the time issue and stuff we kind of just went with a variant color but ultimately like have you seen the uh who, who drew that one d bag where he's got the machine gun he's got the star and that's how i would make Groken right there oh Groken. zoo yeah that yeah yeah, zoo. yeah. like oh, i would that, I'd, I'd put, put so tiger cool. blue with the machine gun i, I love the selection yeah. of colors around i kind of like i had it in my mind before i even made it and i had it the blue was a little bit different on the border and then i noticed on the sword and i said this color i'm imagining is real close so i just used my medicine dropper and i pulled the blue off his sword <laughs> so those are like actually and the red is the same red as off your logo up there so yes, also the, the yellow the, the, the yellow is a good choice yeah, it really the yellow, you gotta have off. something yeah. bright so when you're like on the other side of the target store you can see it hanging there on the peg you know yeah. like, good choice <laughs> Yeah. Here, here, yeah, yeah. he already knows where you're selling this, Kenneth. He said yeah, you yeah. see it at Target from across the store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's like certain things yeah, yeah. you could do Everywhere. somewhere. Like each title had its own color, or you could even like break it down. Like each character has its own color. I'm, I'm especially proud that you didn't say like Kmart or Savers. You yeah. said Target. You went straight to Target. I'm like, yes. <laughs> the only place that has any good figures anymore. Yeah, that's true. 
And you yeah. got to go like yeah. four times a week to find one. And then you just, they're 18 bucks now. So it's like, usually I'll get one or two. There's ARO. That's going to yep. be the back. That's going to be the back. So. And who is the artist who did that ARO? That's man? Rich Ayala's version yeah. on the back. And Billy Vasquez was on the front. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that years. night when that night when Bancroft, you know, like had Bill had was showing off that Billy version of ARO. Like, I'm not trying to out you, Billy. I would have cried too, man. Like that was insane. Uh he actually modeled the figure off of Billy's version. Yeah. He's got the baseball hat. I'll paint it up. I'm gonna make his bandolier gold. It keeps breaking. I gotta find out something better. Keeps breaking. Yeah, we we're wanting to make like just a, you know a bunch of these just to like you know for for easy content or whatever you know like and just fun fun ideas just with the community and stuff. See if there's anything that you guys like in the chat or something wanted to like like um well, see us do or whatever. Of the chat um, looks like Danger V has some nice news, a nice update for us. Uh -oh. Uh, yeah, that was me that backed it. I backed it. I backed it for Steve, but nice. yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we're gonna go to Groken too. But yeah, yeah, this is the Billy Basco um, ARO um, that he made for Mo, and then we kind of just slapped that together. Um, we yeah, will that was be the giving these out to throw on there. That Billy he, piece is just so was, iconic for well, ARO. Small to actually get the cigarette, yeah. and it kept breaking off when I tried yeah. to do it, so yeah. just took it off. Came out good, man. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, one thing we want to do is like you know like so like we're gonna hand out probably fifty. I don't know how many. I think you said thirty. Order. Did he? Okay, yeah. if we got but 30, you know what I'm saying, whatever, and then we're going to do... If we ever need more, we can always get more of anything. Yeah, that's the beauty of working with him. And that's kind of why I think I'm going to go with him for like, my... Where yeah. else are you going to get um, 30 card backs printed? Nowhere. I mean, yeah. they'll cost you $25 right, so. each or something. Go make them at campus. Right. Not really. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but, but you know, they get out of here. I tried making them on right, my home printer like I used to do, but it just looked terrible. Like just for a couple one-off things for giveaways, and then 3D Zach volunteered, and it was like, okay, I'm not gonna pass up on that. Cool, cool. Well, yep, yep. All right, so you did get another back or two there. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So, cool, cool. Almost there. Can I use my trading card. What I need to piece. <laughs> I read it? the chat. We've got... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, J Dollar. <laughs> we need to make about three hundred and five dollars an hour. <laughs> it's that stretch goal. <laughs> so nice pick, math pick there. Pick up the hype, D Wag. So Zade, I don't know if he just backed again, again. Um, but yeah, he's a backer fifteen sixty one. Wow, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Uh, Thank you, Phil. I appreciate yeah, we, it. We were that. hanging out with yeah. him last night too. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Yeah. Those Zay bros are awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Crackhead, did you go to the con today? Let's talk about something, man. Oh yeah. Uh no, I unfortunately I wasn't able to make it up this year. I uh, I got my wires crossed earlier. I could have in my head. I thought that it was happening in September, and uh, I just that's what I get for not writing things down. But no, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it. Looks like Neff went up though. Neff and uh, Frequency Girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like they had some fun. Probably, yeah. What's the convention near? I think Stockton this weekend. I don't know. It was only Saturday. Well, the week the complete weekend, but maybe next year I'm going to be there. Today. Nice. I was okay, cool. busy here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Wait, maybe, you said uh, Stockton? Yeah. Is it is it the one that's called uh, StockCon? Is, is it that, that one? That one. I, I think the same, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was, was like the, the old Guild Wizard show, and they sold it, I think. Right? It's a small one. It's, it's not a oh, big okay. convention. And the, the one I miss is the San Jose Big Wall. Years oh, ago, like a fight. Yeah, yeah. Big Wow. Uh, who purchased that? The guy, the co, the co-creator of Apple, Steve Wozniak. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He he purchased Big Wow. Yeah. And they made the Silicon Valley. Um, 
Sick yeah. Comic, but Comic Con. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's good, except for comics. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's a new convention in San Jose that the people say it's going to be similar. The start, I think, last year. If I'm wrong, is uh, I don't know the name, but it's similar than the uh, Big Wow. It's more about comics and stuff. I think uh, I'm going to start going to convention runs, I think my buddy Anthony runs that one. I'll find out. Yeah, let me know. Yep. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm up in Ohio. We were talking to some of the Ohio people in Indiana and around here. We might do a meetup, but I forget what all the dates are. Yes, I, I need to try the convention near to me. I, I love driving no matter how many hours to go and enjoy it. Yeah, I, I usually go like like a fan. Sometimes uh, I, get, I prefer. Uh, like, you know, that's uh, the thing. You, yeah, you go there as an artist, but you know you're also a fan at heart too. So I imagine mm -hmm. you can you know yeah. you know enjoy the best of both worlds. I remember when I was a kid and a teenager going to those things. Just you know, if you were loaded down, I didn't care about the panels. I didn't care about autographs. No, I just wanted to hit all them dealers with. I'm looking for this issue and this issue, and I want this figure. And if I found the stuff and came home with it, that was like, you know, what I mean, I could care less. About, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just wanted to go yeah. there and shop because I mean, mm -hmm. back there was an eBay. I mean, we had, you know, a comic book store that was pretty local. And once you pick through their back issue selection, you got to wait for, you know, yeah. for them to replenish. Yeah. You know, how do they, how are they stocking it? You know, so you go across town to the other one. And then the other one, and then you're done, or whatever. And then the convention comes. Oh, here's 50 dealers. I was a kid, like I'd be 10 years old. We went to Washington D.C. and my mom and dad, and they're all like, "Oh, do you want to see the Washington Monument? What do you want guys want to do today?" And it's like our first. Day, I'm going through the yellow pages. Like, where are the comic book stores in this town? That's all I care about. There aren't weren't any good ones in D.C. when I was a kid. We look, but yeah, everywhere we went, it's just like I want to hit the comic book store. I'm trying to collect every issue of Star Wars. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and uh, shout out so, to Ryan Johnson for that uh, meme right there as well. That was yeah, just yeah, hilarious. <laughs> Put it big. I can't read. Yeah. So, Kenneth, I don't know if you know, but they were, they were uh, helping out. That's right to the no. <laughs> Ryan Johnson is killing it in the meme department lately. I just every time there's a stream, a funny stream, you can count on Ryan Johnson to just perfectly encapsulate it with a beautiful meme. Like this. I didn't even I didn't even know about this, but while we've been at it, I was looking at who else was streaming, and I saw EBS was. So I just went in there and was like, "Broken twos, less than a thousand from one twenty five k," and then I come back, and then you guys got the memes on. It's like. You know, but her comment, I was like, oh no, what did I do? <laughs> but this is hilarious. Oh, and now yeah, it goes it's all, quiet. It's all in good fun. They, yeah, it's all in good it's fun. Much they know that. Much in my we love I used to have his hat, but when I was going to Indianapolis, there was this weird noise coming out of the bottom of my car, and I leaned my head out the window a little bit, and my freaking all caps hat blew out the damn window. <laughs> D-Wag bought me this hat. When I was up there Jurassic from Jurassic Park. Park. <laughs> well, I'll, I do know that the 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 chat is complaining that there is some like like it's like a, it's like a like Clicking a constant noise. like click 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 and it. And I'm still I'm still hearing yeah, it. I'll mute yeah, if I, I mute, my yeah, yeah. Whoever just muted, it's uh, it's you. So no, um, oh, really. Is, was it Colonel? Nope, it's not you. I, I think oh, okay. I think it might be. I think no, I don't think it's you, brother. I think. It, about, um, Steve, I don't know if you got a printer on or something like that, but yeah. Um, Here, yep, look, it's I'm, back. I'm gonna I'm mute myself. I'll see your computer. Sorry. Oh, is it a fan? Is that whatever? Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Whoa. 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 We got a backer. Thank you, sir. No Boom. Worries. Thank you so much. Yes, one twenty four four ten, dude. We are less than uh -oh. six hundred away. What? Yes. 
Yeah. Awesome. Hold on. Shout out to uh, Veru Kusaki, 86, backer ID, 1571. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Bow, much bow. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's – oh, crap. All right. Let's share this. Let's let's hit a refresh. Come over here. Awesome, dude. This is crazy. All right. Refresh time. Book, Mark. Book, Mark. Book, Mark. <laughs> Book, Mark. Book, Mark. <laughs> Now I need Kenneth, to think I what think... character I'm going to draw here or is only a lot of stuff. Hmm. Oh, man, we're so close to 50. I, I think it's too. going to be like a painting. It's not really going to, like a, the inside. It's going like a cover B, like a okay. stone paint, like a, I, I did for you. Yeah, awesome. marks versus, versus stickers. Awesome. Yeah, dude. Uh, awesome. Uh, yeah, Crackhead, I don't know if you have that, if you could share that, man. Like, um, when I'm... You uh... I do. Oh, I can. I can. Yeah, I can throw the. I, I see John just threw the link to the um, mm -hmm. sign up okay, in the I got chat. It, I got it. I got it. it. Snuggy yeah, actually it. just did a brand spanking new overhaul. He completely updated the mailing list page. Um, it looks really good. We got the Shelby Robertson art up there. We got, of course, the Kenneth Roquefort art up there. We got the Sean Aaron art up there for Type One, and of course, we have the Tiger Blue art up there now. So all of the pieces you can see that we have revealed will be on the campaign page, and we will be unveiling some more pieces in the coming weeks i think the next one we're going to unveil is the michael bancroft bookmark so uh yeah we're gonna nice. we'll, we'll keep cool. adding things to the campaign page as we reveal them yep cool all right uh, yeah i'm gonna pull that up right now uh all right share boom all right all right chrome tab boom all right share cool all right so um, a little like backstory for this, for some of you guys in the chat, some of you guys may, may not know this, but like, you know, or cracker, do you want to take the lead on it? No, go ahead. Go ahead. You know. Okay. It. So, um, you know, uh, there for a while, a while back, like, you know, um, a lot of people were doing these sh like topic streams, man. And they were, people were just overdoing them. So like, it became a joke, you know, like we did a stream. That was called stickers versus bookmarks. And the chat was just coming up with like the most hilarious like jokes one after another. Where our boy Snuggy Jr. has been holding down team bookmark for over a year. Almost by himself. So, single handed. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, because up until Kenneth showed us how to make an awesome bookmark, like, you know, bookmarks were kind of weak. You know what I'm saying? Like some people are like, well, what if you made a sticker? That was in the shape of a bookmark or, you know, or what if you had a <laughs> magnet that was in the shape of a bookmark, you know, whatever. But Kenneth kind of, you know, that, that was kind of the the thing, the theme of the stream is, or like like the, the stickers versus bookmark stream was kind of like, if you make something so awesome, you know, people will want to buy it. So that was kind of whatever. And Kenneth took it and just went and made yeah. one of the most awesome Kenneth saw bookmarks, that Snuggy need, so, needed some uh, backup over there on Team Bookmark. So Kenneth yeah. said, you know what, Snug, I'm coming and I got your back. I'm Team Bookmark as well. And he slapped mm -hmm. his meat out on the table. That's true. Just sorry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, like Kenneth, like, you Basically killed it. Like, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. If you guys, if you put, if you put uh, teambookmark.com, um, it will bring you to this site, man. If you guys want to sign up, man, a bunch of cool – you know, awesome people. Uh, Dean James, who is on the panel. Oh, oh um, boy. You know. Wait till they mm -hmm. see Dean's. Woo! Yeah, Dean Dean stepped up, man, and he did. Um, right. He was inspired by you, Kenneth, I think. I, can, I guess I, 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 it's not really my place to say, but, yeah, like, um, you know, he, he's, he's brought, you know, a little bit of his awesome. own funk with it, too. You know what I'm saying? But, awesome. yeah, like, um, in the spirit. But, yeah, he, you know, he did a traditional art, you know. Dean um, killed it, and himself. Dean did a double-sided bookmark. When he, when we finally get around to, I, and Snuggy loves Dean's so much that he, uh, I think he's declared that he's going to unveil Dean's last. Uh, he loves it that Ooh, much. Nice. And wow. um, when the, when when people do see it, I think they're going to be very very happy with the theme, what he did with it. He did a he did a really cool trick with it, with uh, you know the, the view of the piece. Um, Kind of hard to explain without spoiling it. Spoiling it, but people are going to be very impressed when they see uh, Dean's. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers for a bookmark. Yes, bookmark yes. spoilers. Really good, good. It's good to have you here, in the team bookmark. Yeah. Team bookmark all yeah. the way. Yes. And is there anyone, is there any? 
Is there I, any team sticker people? I am. <laughs> yeah, there's some team stickers. Oh, yeah. You pumps? Um, you pumps? I'm yeah, on the there's some team. team stickers. Yeah, team stickers are still very strongly represented. It seems to be finally evening out a little bit, so it's kind of a fair fight now. Rokafort came in and really made Team Bookmark strong. So now Team Bookmark can finally compete with Team Stickers, and we got a fight on our hands now. And anyone that does oh. sign up for the campaign page and you do end up backing, you will be getting a free Matt Bar CG Talk sticker. Woo! Cool, cool. Uh, Mo says stickers and bookmarks both have their place, but I'm Team Box. Ooh. We need more box for these Cox creator-owned <laughs> comics. So, um, you guys, you know, that is the new abbreviation what 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 is it uh, why am i blanking here there's some boxes there's some boxes i got some boxes that the acronym that box acronym I, that's why that there was on the tip of my tongue yeah you know so yeah Later own creator comics. own comics you know the big old cack who's so, got the biggest cack in the yard that's the question these days so but yeah kenneth kenneth uh and Shel shelby's got one two pieces there you know because that's his uh tiger blue mm -hmm. um yep. and then we got our boy type one yeah uh sean aaron he's gonna be having a uh, bookmark so with shelby's love. colors then, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got our boy we got yeah. my boy Aerith. he's in here team hd yes you know saying? Hold, up, hold up hold up hold up hold up all right i'm gonna make my i'm gonna big myself real quick because you know team box wow i have you know those what I'm saying? i so, have those <laughs> do yeah. you yeah. yeah. Do you? Okay. Awesome. I'm sure. I'm sure. Nice. Love that, I got baby. mine. That's yeah. for sure. And then you know, I also got you know in these boxes right here. Oh, I, I better not. JV. Oh shit! If JV's here, you know. But yeah, you got some some roaches up in here. I uh, had that every winter. Yeah. I mm. had that too. Yeah. You, oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. I didn't get that one, man. But yeah. But uh, yeah. Here's here's our roach balls from our boy Aerith. Um, we got Vaughn. We got the Vonster in the house. What up, Vaughn? Oh, good to see you, brother. Hell, Vaughn. Appreciate it. D-Way, did, wow. did you get Infinitale Chronicles from Chris Fisk? I do. I do I do have it. I just don't know where it's at. That box, um, that box is awesome. Yeah, yeah. It it, it is dope. Yeah, all, I don't know what I did with it. All of them are great. Like, anyone, like, I th I'm pretty sure all of us would want to spend the money to put it in some cool boxes, you know? Oh shit! I'm over here fucking shit up. So yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. I gotta quit looking for the infinite toe box. But yeah, I do have it. But yeah, um, real quick, why? Why? You know, I just showed off these roaches. You know what I'm saying? Your boy D Wag got the cover. You yeah. know what I'm saying? To roach balls here. So you guys are jelly in the chat. <laughs> I am you know saying. Woo. Um, how are we gonna? So so since Fowler's gonna give this out, I think maybe we'll 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 do the um. We'll we'll do the giveaway for that for the next stream or something. Maybe like we'll have you comment on this stream or I don't know. We'll we'll figure that out. But you know what I'm saying? So yeah, Rich Rich did this piece for us. This is from our old show, CG News and Reviews. Um, you know this was I think we called this uh, the trip, the the trip uh, the trip to uh, Crack Mountain. Um, oh oh, that's not good, JV. Yeah, I just read that too. It's like, Ooh, that's not good. No. Oh. Oh shit. This guy. Hopefully, he's not up to work. Oh shit. But yeah, big shout out to Rich. Big shout out to Eric. Those guys over there at the Comics Way. They're doing their thing. That's our homies. So much love to those guys. Um, big show. Yeah, I do got some gold Perth comics. Um, whatever. But yeah, thank you guys, man. Um, where should we go next, guys? Uh, we talk, we, the Danny we, we Bonfire refresh? Party. Is that noise oh. still there? No, it went no. away, brother. I walked all around my house to make sure. We can... Maybe I have my headphones on and someone's in my house making noises. I better go find out. <laughs> no, it sounds it's 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 a it's a mechanical noise that just ripped repeating over and over and over again it's like not, it, it's probably your fan or something it's it's a fan or something yeah or yeah maybe that too fan. something like that yeah it's maybe that's what it is it, it's not doing it now but yeah okay. it was it was just constantly clicking okay sorry about um, that somebody in the you know, it's all right man somebody else was breathing in the mic earlier too but yeah we we, we we 
Oh, was it? Okay. I don't know. Oh, maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> it didn't sound know. like a dog. Yeah, I don't know about but... that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it was the dog, but. <laughs> yeah, if you guys would. Okay, so we, have, we did not pick up another backer yet. Mike. We got a couple hours, though. Yeah. We're going to get that popping. Um, I do want you guys, I do want to show off um, Beck and Recourse um, real quick. Make sure you guys sign up for this. Uh, Colonel, um, when, do you, when do you plan on launching this? Late fall, so I'm looking like possibly somewhere in November. Uh, the whole idea is I want to get as much as the art done as possible. Uh, that way you guys aren't waiting long. I've kind of been saying that since I've been starting on it. So uh, uh, that I'm trying to get it all done and ready to go. That way when you guys know the art's done, you guys know it's just, you know. So, yeah, I, I keep saying you know a lot. But, yeah, that's where I'm looking at, like somewhere in November, yep. late fall. So you guys, um, you know, make sure you guys sign up for that mod. We could throw that in the chat. He's also got his prototype video game up on Steam that is free to download and play. Um, I do want to show this off. I did not get a chance to. Um, there's not much art on here. Um, Dean, if you want to send me some, yeah, uh, you know, but uh, they got this dope. Dean's making you know, toys If you want to send too. me some art, you know, Dean's got this dope ass action figure. He's they're, they're working on for the embrace. Right. Yeah. Um, um, how do yeah. I share on here? This is... Um, you got to make sure you don't share sound, and then you just click the um, it's the uh, the, the computer screen with the arrow, or may, uh, the computer screen with the arrow is what it is, I believe, on mine anyway. I, but I'm on the crackbook the pro. The th the three dots at the bottom, uh, next to your is that camera. what it is? If you click that, it'll say it'll say share screen. Oh. So okay, should be a you got it. Oh uh, yep, there you, it is. Got it. You got to hit uh, right, up, 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 down, down, left, right, left, right, B A. Yeah, select start two player. All right, cool. Because yeah. yeah, I do not share tweet. the audio or the echo. <laughs> no, it's just my pin tweet because it's got everything on there. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, boom. Yeah, yeah. can All you right, guys cool. see it yet? Yep. Yep. All right. Well, yeah, this tweet's a little out of date, but we're actually a little bit over two hundred and fifty signups now. So you know, thank you very much for that. But here's the cover by me, and um, we're you know at three hundred signups will be the next thing because we've been doing this we've been doing launch uh per, like uh, you know, perks you know essentially but like stretch goals and mm -hmm. at at 200 we gave away um a 200 trading card thing and it's, you know, things like that so we've got here we've got it all listed out 250 signups thank you all list exclusive so far we have the holographic trading card which um i'll find it there it is this is by Xevious. And we also have a signed bookmark by me, which is you know, still needs to be done. And it's a hologram. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a, cool. Yeah, it's gonna be all like, you know, nice and shiny. Go back to that car. I've seen this before. That yeah. this thing's dope. Oh yeah, yeah. This is um this is page two and three from the book. It will be colored, but this was just a reveal we made of my line work for the interiors awesome. of, of the book. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, yeah and then so. of course we've got the action figure, which is they're going to be extremely limited because it's not going to be a mass <coughs> thing. They're all hand, hand like put together and hand painted and stuff. They're going to be three D printed action figures, and yeah, so look forward to that. But please sign up for the embrace too, because I would really like to get to three hundred sign ups. Because hold, on, I'll have to share this with you, D Wags, because I yeah, okay, I've only got it on my phone. But at 300, okay, yeah. if you want to send it to me in my DMs and I'll, I'll pull it yeah, up. Yeah, that's easy done. Uh, once we get to 300 signups, I'm going to be adding this. We're going to be getting a silver coin, a special embrace silver coin made that's only for the people on the mailing lists. And um, okay. on the back of it, it will be the Nine Realms logo. But on the front of it, we've got this special embrace design that I've just sent to DWAGS. All right, hold and on. So, pulling it up now. That's only Lunch. if we get over 300 signups. Yes. Yeah. We're going to get that cool. color right, cool. and stuff too. Great. Cool, cool. Yeah. And, so. and challenge coins, like I can attest, like challenge coins are so awesome if you can't afford to do them for your campaign. I hear a lot of people love them. I've not heard anyone say they didn't like them. And uh, just especially for the groups, for your teams that actually came together for the, for the creation of your book. Like, it's just a cool little momentum. Next time you guys get together to discuss the next project, you know, whoever, 
throws the last coin on the bar has to buy the round, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, how many? So, uh, when do you guys plan to launch this? Uh, I'm sorry. This will be launching. This will be launching in October. And okay. Almost, yeah, yeah, I think October first. We don't exactly have the date set in stone or anything, but we're thinking, you know, the first of October. Cool, cool. Nice, nice. Yeah. And I didn't mean to interrupt you, Kenneth. My fault. No, no, Continue. No. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, time myself out. Sorry, I was. I appreciate no, no. the art. The show, yeah, it's my. <laughs> <laughs> I only say it's, it's beautiful. The thing I, I look at, it's so cool. The hands moving, the design. Of oh, thank you. So. Yeah. Um, so sometimes oh. I just struggle to enhance, and you did well. <laughs> so <sometimes laughs> ah, thanks. I need to, to learn. When, when I, yeah, better than better. I was probably. really bad at drawing hands. <laughs> um, and when I know is for expressions, is a good language. Uh, mm -hmm. In we Latins, we, we we talk with Spanish people talk with the hands moving too much. But <laughs> when I draw, I need to. To draw better hands uh, when i saw the artists who take the time to draw nice hands that that's great and you try to have their hands <laughs> yeah um, okay yeah I, I don't, that oh, was my fun. design choice i don't know like because because the the character it's like a ghost character he's got it's a whole thing with his son and father and you know it's too complicated to explain real quickly but the point was it needed a lot of hands and so i had no choice but to learn how to draw hands so you did well. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Show others. I know draw hands. <laughs> no, that 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 good thing. Internal joke, I think. <laughs> no, but can it can it sell you to brag? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no, you you did good. I I, I think and the, the cape is it's like an entity or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's um, because the story, because this is the sequel, this is number two, but the first mm -hmm. one, it opened up with the father and a year beforehand, his son was murdered, and his son was just an eight-year-old boy, and, mm -hmm. you know, he's obviously in a bad place because of all of that, and he, you know, he is um, visited by the ghost of his son, and then when he gives, when he comes into physical contact, because he gives his son a hug when he sees him, he's given mm -hmm. a vision of what happened that night, and exactly what happened, who killed his son, and everything, and so then when he comes out of that vision, he's in this super suit that is essentially powered mm -hmm. by the ghost of his son and has all the spooky ghost hands and everything. Okay, is that to give him so, protection or? Is yeah, it yeah, it gives him, you know, good. standard superhero powers, super strength and all that. But he also has the ability to shoot those spooky ghost hands just out of, out of basically out of any part of his body. I think it's super original, that concept. And mm -hmm. it was thank you, thank you. Similar than that. Kudos. It's working. Oh yeah, that's, oh, that's yeah. the first one there. I've learned a lot since then, though. I mean, Dean. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of us were like taken aback by the embrace, dude. I mean, it looked really cool, and like I said, like in the green room, like Odin's writing along with like your ability to kind of put that emotion even that face on uh, like on that on that page up there like tearing up looking at his son like there's a hysteria there that you know usually movies can pick up real well because good actors will start doing the ticks the body ticks and stuff that but you capture some of the like that psychology in a lot of the artwork so i was i really enjoyed the read and Thank the artwork. You, I really appreciate that. Is we that be my first comic book ever? Nice, it's so beautiful. We have interruption. We have a, a good news about the one twenty five k. Yes. What? We hit Congratulations. it. Already? Wow. Hold on, hold on. All right, all right. We'll come back. We'll Clean come back either. to this ding. Yeah. All right, all right. Boom. My yeah, right. In the shot, and I check. Yes. Oh, the, oh, you guys are cheating, man. We're supposed to, you know, do this the hard way. Yeah. You know, let my computer sit here and load up, you know. So, boom. All right. You know. Ah! All right. Let's do this. Man, you guys are freaking awesome. I appreciate you guys coming and kicking them with us, man. Kenneth, I appreciate you coming here. You know what I'm saying? Showing these guys Whoa. some love. Oh, wow. Oh, that's... Whoa! 
Boom! Oh, that's another yeah. shot. Sorry for that's me to be a Harry Pooper and say the, the number earlier. <laughs> but oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's official. Um, yeah. Now it's going to unlock the stretch goal. Awesome, man. Oh, on TikTok, we'd be like jumping up and down, pulling our shirts off, like swinging oh, up, yeah. like going nuts. <laughs> like, imagine that. Wow, wow, decor, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Kenneth. Thank That's you nice. So much. Dude, thank yeah, you, you guys. You deserve it, man. And every backer. Dude. From one to the last one. And um, yeah. We yes. don't finish Dude, now. No joke. Dojo puts yeah, that number in, there. in the chat. Yeah. 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 Look at Dojo. Sorry, dude. We want you to sweat 000. more here. In your, in your hey, channel. there's there's three <laughs> hours left. Kenneth, twenty five thousand. What, yeah. What's the next? Yeah, what's the next there. stretch goal? One fifty. Uh oh. Uh -oh. One fifty. No, okay. no, 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 no. I, I, I think that's the stretch goal. One fifty. We got three hours. Let's go. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> Where's Neff? Where's Neff at? Somebody call Neff. This yeah, come on. We got one. We got one speed. Let's go. Every shot. Every shot. Banging seven gram rocks. <laughs> yeah, dude. Congratulations, man. Yes. Thank you guys to the chat in the chat for you know what I'm saying like saving my you know dignity and, and all that stuff man it's all about Romy, you, dude, good to see you you said what I said it's all about you tonight man <laughs> oh yeah absolutely you know what i'm saying like you know it's my night you know um skull leader thank yeah. you <laughs> yeah but no congratulations um, kenneth, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right you know what yeah, I'm saying? Anyway. but no thank you kenneth, man <laughs> kenneth kenneth really like loves you guys dude like he's telling me and crack it you know last night man but yeah this is uh pretty awesome to see Thank you for sharing it with us and, you know, and hanging out over here, man. You know, thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks to the people who give donations and yeah. really take the comics, all the backers, everything, and the time here in your channel, they work. Um, mm -hmm. But right ahead, too, um, those days to finish the 70 days campaign is amazing. I never beat those long hours. Just the thing, <laughs> yeah. and training, and seeing it that way. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, tomorrow we, we, we're going to to look how the campaign is going. Going on, cool. is that cool. function is that in demand function? If not, we are happy and we still celebrate. Oh, yeah, well, awesome. you've been doing great on these streams, and we love Kenneth Rogan for it over here. It's not so me we'll without see. you guys and the chat and everywhere mm -hmm. the person are. I'll yeah. see you guys some chat. Yeah. A lot of the chat goes <laughs> yep. to them. Yeah. For being super awesome. Hell yeah. Nice. Yep. It's amazing. Yeah. And I know, I know, I, you know, Kenneth, if you got, you know, most of you guys, Kenneth's a little shy or, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, this means a lot, you know, coming out here. And I think they, you know, the people in the chat, they respect you for that, man. Um, Lord Crackhead, I don't know where he is at, but yeah, he's sitting there putting Roca Force in the chat. Mm -hmm. If we could do that, man, that'd be cool to get that, you know, flown with some Roca Forces. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. thank you guys so much. Wow, I almost hit in stream. That would have been bad. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, yeah refresh. Again. Yep. Huh? Refresh again. Don't boomer. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. Hold on. Is it... Okay, hold on. Refresh. I mean, it's a start, you know, like. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On our way to 150. Yeah. One more back here. No, just kidding. Nope. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Crackhead's yeah, getting so... a snack. He'll be right back. Oh, man. Crackhead, come on, bro. Well, he's got oh, we got eat, my man, man. Nora and Turbo. Yep. So. Yeah. Silent yep. moment. We celebrate it inside. Yep. <laughs> Kenneth, are you hungry? Or you, need, you, need, you need a snack, too? Should we go always, snack break? Always. I'm hungry. That's if, my problem. Need, if anybody needs a snack, <laughs> if anybody needs a snack break, go get a snack break. Um, I'm gonna okay. play a clip here for you guys um, about some awesome books. Some of you guys might not have seen this, so it's, it's only a minute long. So much love here. I'm gonna play this. If anybody needs to go get a snack, go get it now. Okay. Bow. Books, check them out. Books, check them out. Pick up a book. You got a fantasy, imagination can take you to where you want to be. 
Are you curious? How can you find out? Books, check them out. Books, check them out. Read about stars and cars, play electric guitars, or cops that work hard, patrolling the boulevard, the heavyweight champ and his craziest bout. Books, check them out. Books, check them out. At your library. Wow. Yeah, we are three hours into this. We got 40 people in here. We got my man Ryan Johnson. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. We're gonna show off, you know, what you made earlier. Um, why everybody's on their snack break here. Um, oh shit, I gotta go over here and do this. Man, my notifications are blowing up, you guys, but um oh that shit, are there, there more me? Star Wars. Oh, okay. Good. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ryan Johnson, thank yeah. you guys. Thank he you guys for your found support. Comics Gate when he made the final, whatever, the, what is it called, The Last Jedi. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ryan Johnson. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Oh, I got. Okay, I didn't yeah, I couldn't hear you. Ryan Johnson, I think. Yeah, it's obviously oh. not the real one. <laughs> Phoenix. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. um, Phoenix, snack, I'm going to send you the link if you want to come in here, brother. Yeah, oh, Phoenix, shit, I was shit. showing these right That's before, not, no. but I got sidetracked, too, from the Embrace, when we were showing the Embrace. Embrace yeah, yeah. metal cards made by Phoenix Animation. They're badass. They're trading cards, but they're on freaking metal. Yeah. That's badass. Yeah, yeah hey, d -way, since oh, we yeah. got some, yeah. Since we got some watchers, you guys have seen that cover of Beckon that I've got, the double wrap. I'm wanting to know... How many people want a me the metal smith to to do metal prints of that that cover? That's part of my perks. I'm trying to figure out. Like, I I need to I need to talk to him because I've been wanting one. Want, I want a big one. So I'm seeing all these metal cards coming out and all that. I've been talking about getting that done for a while. Um, where'd he go? Is he coming? I don't know. That was my drum roll to get him in. His booth in, in Indianapolis <laughs> at the comic convention and saw his whole backdrop of metal prints. Oh yeah. And they're, they're freaking awesome. He was selling a he was selling a bunch of them too. Mm-hmm. I've got one of them already. That's what kind of sold me on it. I think it was for um Cobalt, the, the one he did for Cobalt. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, yeah, got to get one. Yeah, it's probably true. John, it's probably not his real name. Hmm? I'm no, just responding no. to the chat. My bad. I'll just mute my Oh, oh Ryan Johnson's probably not his real name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I sorry, guys. Something um really um messed up happened. Um. I don't want to get into it, but yeah, uh, sorry, I'm trying to catch up on that. Yeah, disappointing to see oh, what no. I just seen. Not this has nothing to do with our stream. This is something separate, but um, oh, unfortunately, it is what it is. But uh, oh, is Boob Dan here? Hey, hey, hello. Boob Dan. What is over under Vanessa? Vanessa, would you like to come in here? Vanessa, I'm gonna send you a link. You don't have to come in if you don't want to, but um, yeah, I'm gonna send you a link. I haven't got to talk. Me and Vanessa used to hang out all the time, so um, it'd be nice to catch up. But yeah, let's send her. She's a big Roka Forge supporter, so I'll send her the link. Um, see if she wants to come in here. It'd be good to talk to her, you know, so catch up. But yep. All right. Breathe through it, D-Wag. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, it has been sent. Yeah, so uh, whatever. Oh, Dean, are you wanting to show that again? 
I mean, yeah, oh, sure, no, if you want. Like, that was... I just had it up earlier. I just swapped sure. over. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was when, when we were talking about it earlier. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's the double page. Interior yep, pages. Yep, cool. What kind of a car is that? Uh, Chevy of some kind? <laughs> can't remember. It is an actual car, though. Like, I got references of a real car. Cool, cool. Thank you, John. Yeah, appreciate that, man. Hey. But yeah, if you like that, which I hope you do, please sign up. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Oh. I like yeah, it. Dean is We're really, debating really, on... really, really stepped up. Do you oh, think we ahead, should buddy. make that like once that's all colored and everything? Do you think we should make that like a print, like a poster? Because <clears throat> a lot um, of people seem to really like it. Uh, hold on. Somebody just jumped in the back, and I'm lagging here. I think. It, well, maybe not. I don't see it. I don't see him. That train was my idea, wasn't it, Dean? Yeah, man. <laughs> Phoenix, for the stream, brother. We're talking about you and, 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 and the embrace. Oh, what you're up, Phoenix. Oh, you're connected. Nice. You're out of sync. What's Phoenix? Oh, uh, it's right about Phoenix. Now you're now now since <laughs> you're ten. So, I think you're yeah you're coming in now. Robot Phoenix. Nope. Now he's a zero. John, zero I am out of offended. Ten. ten out of ten. GT three fifty is what checkpoint saying. He usually is spot on. Phoenix, you better, are. Right? Um, yeah, yeah. Phoenix, unfortunately, man, I'm I'm looking at it. You keep going from zero out of ten to ten <laughs> out of ten connection. So I don't know if you want to. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think you're you're coming in, bub. No. Um, maybe if you're if you're at, because yeah, you know he's probably wrapping up being at a convention right now, so we'll try to get him in. Um, you know, so whatever. But yeah, yeah. What were you saying, Dean? I'm sorry, brother. I'm ADD right now. I wasn't need, saying anything. Right. We need posters of this thing. That's what he's saying. If it's color, yeah. let's get some posters out. Who's interested? Yeah. Oh no, in only if people want it. Yeah. Right. The hard part is is um is, is the um uh, is the shipping probably for you guys. Well, I guess I know. I guess Michael Odin's going to do it here, right? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah it's you, always you done in the U.S. and just like the first one, you know, we'll have the big box and everything. So mm -hmm. as long as it can fit in the box, it's all good. <laughs> What's in the this box? Is... <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, Lord, Lord Crackhead! He has graced us with his presence today. He was supposed to be on here, you know. Uh, Backpacking the stream for me. Come on, man. Nah, but... I'm neglecting Hell, my duty. Is... It's all right, man. That's why I brought the colonel in here, kind of help out him and Dean. They've been showing up, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, team box. A lot of team boxes, you, yeah. Yeah. KSSS, you guys. Um, all right, let me. Uh, I guess I got to grab my phone. All right, I'm gonna grab my phone. But yeah, KSSS. So you guys don't know, like, so uh, the first Tiger Blue stream. Uh, he was the winner with the most comments, and then uh, um, and then Mo was number two, and then Mo did win last week, and then um, KSSS. I don't think he showed up, um, or whatever. He was lower in, or he came in, but uh, yeah, um, yeah. I wanted to show you guys this, like it shows, like um, your your number uh, of of chats. But I got to go get my phone, and then oh, and then whatever, and put it. But yeah. Um, let's check in on Groken and I'll upload these things and I'll show you guys what I mean. Like, so like, yeah, to show you like the number of comments or something. And maybe like what we'll do is, is like after each month, you know, or something like that, we'll hand out ARO figures to the like number one commenter or something like that. That's not Mo Biggs, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let me, um, you know, so, uh, Kenneth, um, speaking of tiger blue, um, would are, would you care if we sent you an ARO figure? That doesn't even make sense. Um, we, Speaking of Tiger Blue, you, we, no. Okay. <laughs> Say it. What? You said, Help a brother out. You said, Help a brother out, Steve. Speaking of Tiger Blue, do you want an ARO? That's not the same thing. I that was a terrible freaking segue, man. That's all. Look at you. I back the Tiger Blue for you. I receive it. Don't worry. We're back in, <laughs> no, um, 
something with this tiger blue figure, Steve. We're making some tiger blue. You must be nice. Blowing there, the all. dark figures. <laughs> and we're making some ARO 15 action figures that we're putting on a card. And we want to give them away to all of our friends that help make our show good and promote our books and each other's books and all the awesome people in the chat. And, nice. you know, we were doing crackheads giveaway with the roll and the dice and all this. And I said, well, what if we make our ARO figures kind of like, you know, actual awards for like D Wags? He's saying the most chat. I'm thinking, what if we pick the best chats? or something or mm. just what yeah, if we just make idea. them random when people do cool stuff or something yeah i need to say hello yeah, to my daughter Vanessa. Good yes. to have you here. we got v in the house yes oh, oh. hola padre what's up hey, hello how are you doing <laughs> i'm fine doing good, doing good. <laughs> i know kenneth yeah, Kenneth broke we're family. Family. Like, uh, yeah we're in family yeah <laughs> Listen, what Twitter brings together, it will never be separated, okay? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, have you here. Life. That, that doesn't, that doesn't go away easily. No. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for you guys who don't know in the okay. chat, um, I think there was something that was going around Twitter. What was that? was like a year and a half now ago or something, wasn't it? Like, and um, everybody was doing this, like, like families or something like on Twitter. So, so yeah, some of you guys are yeah. 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 So type about? in your name mm -hmm. and it'll tell you who, uh, who would be your Twitter dad, your Twitter oh. daughter, your Twitter kids and stuff like that. Yeah. Based off Twitter like your family. interactions with people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Weren't but, you, yeah. Uh, Vanessa. Weren't you, weren't you my Twitter husband? If I remember correctly that thing me uh yeah maybe i think or maybe i was your son or something i don't really yeah. remember yeah. No, I, I know yancy was my daughter and i was like oh, oh my god yeah mm -hmm. i was just like i support yeah. you <laughs> yeah vanessa so i you know it's been a long time you know you know since we talked um I'm, i've missed you hope you've been doing well um how are you feeling about this uh performance at groken too well i mean it, it's not bad for you know my my unknown Twitter father, you know, artist. Uh, it's his second time ever doing comics, you know, just doing great. Uh, quite frankly, honestly, I thought this was somewhere near the where the first one should have been, but but when the pitch was literally, <clears throat> it's broken. It, like I understand, <laughs> like I understand on that on that first one, I get it. But you know, I'm. Personally, I'm very pleased with the number. I'm sure Kenneth is too. He hit yeah. him in my Twitter, Aunt Jessica. You know, depending on yeah. if this goes in demand or not, that's that's a little bit more packages than the last time. <laughs> she did. She, she did good work. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think, yeah, Ken, I think Kenneth's actually pretty impressed and, and happy. You know what I'm saying? He was just, he just was spilling his guts out to the chat. You know what I mean? No, um, we, we're making him talk for hours. I'm super happy that uh, everyone here count uh, the celebration and um, you make it happen. And this is a good vibe channel. We enjoy all, all, all the stuff. And we are together. It, it's a good vibe. It's, we, we celebrate. And we, we, we saw this group. Why we, Twitter dad, why, why are we acting like the, the campaign's dying? Like we're no, he's not dying. Six feet I'm, under. I, I'm so he's happy. Like, Sorry about for my tone. Baby, I'm, 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 <laughs> what? He, he's like, I, 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 it's so hard <laughs> to say goodbye. Yeah, we're not marching off to the gallows. <laughs> we're uh, yeah, we're going to be all right. Party. Yep. But, uh, this has been great. I heard uh, Kenneth earlier say that um, I believe it's already well surpassed, uh, obviously, the total, but the number of backers on Broken One as well. So it's nice to see that growth in both departments. So good stuff. Wow. <laughs> yep. um, Dave Brink is in the chat. Um, you know, he is wrapping up Perfect 10. If you guys haven't noticed, I just want to give him a quick shout out. Perfect 10 is in the lettering process. So that should uh, Perfect 10 number three. So uh, that description is in the chat, the description or uh, the chat description. So um, much love, guys. But yeah, so um, but yeah, dude, broken two. 
it is on its way. We are doing awesome. You guys are amazing in the chat. Um, and I don't know where to go with that because I'm <laughs> pulling an ADD moment. <laughs> Colonel, save me. Who's shiny? What's up, bro? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. uh, you know what what's got your attention like you're going to ooh shiny but is it more books is it more links is it you know is it more is it more groken stuff i mean is there oh, stuff about groken that you've already done kenneth that we haven't seen yet like of course what's in the book but i mean like more stuff beyond that have you e even tried to start concepting your next book after this one and you said about books the next issue or mm -hmm. other titles Next issue, next title, whatever you're going for. Have you got any any more like concept but, work? Uh, last, week I, <clears throat> last week I started doing a planification of a new title. Ooh. Um that that one is going to take more time because it's over 80 pages. Yeah. Um okay. but I'm going to work on the on layout and stuff during two years because mm -hmm. I'm planning um over five more than five years, I have the schedule of things I, I want to cover, of titles. Um, I have always like only two books. Um, yes, it's a lot of things is it, coming. Is yes, I'm going to try something a little superhero in the future. Um, other thing is more sci-fi battle stuff. Cool, cool. Yeah, I, I have the different taste of um you can you will have things to choose and and you got many eyes so. but no that's yeah. great i mean a, a, a an 80 page another rocafort title sounds incredible hell mm -hmm. a superhero title from rocafort mm -hmm. sounds really yes. interesting i mean that's awesome and, and maybe it's more than 80 pages but it's only the one wow. book, completely only a heavy one nice and so it'll just be a quick one-off it's not going to be a new series just the 180 page <sighs> one-off when i say more than it is more more than the 80. only the concept is going to have 80 pages when you start nice. writing you know with the span nice. and splitting things inside mm. it's going to be a heavy book yes. um, yes. it's, it's the heavy. idea and the evolution of that things oh i want to put that thing, that thing, and I know the end, the beginning, and the drama, the the, 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 the good part is so solid. Um, I proud. Of, I I want to start that project, but I need to to fit in the way broken. It's planified, broken right now. Nice. It's not going to change. Nothing about quality. It's going to be beautiful graphic novel series. And yeah, I'm going to. I can do. That that's the spoiler I can I can give now. Uh, I, I can say name. <laughs> they can't say anything more. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, no, I, you, you certainly oh, said yes. enough to get me, and I'm sure mm -hmm. many others well intrigued. Well, today, yeah, it's yeah, the day yeah. I say it to the public. That one. Mm. Just take my money. Yeah, yeah. take my money. Man. <laughs> yeah, is there like a payment, like subscription for Roca Fort work? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like, yes. it's Patreon. It, it, it's like, can we? Well, I don't know. Like, just, Tell me. I don't just like, can, can we just do like a I just send you a hundred dollars and you just send me stuff kind of deal? Yeah, whenever it's done, I'll just send you yeah, money just, every yeah, month. Just send, me, just send money. me some stuff whenever <laughs> it's Patreon? done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I can put that yeah, in my yeah. budget. Like, what yeah. is this? This is Kenneth Roquefort. You get service to Kenneth Roquefort himself. Yes, yeah, just get oh. your tax returns. You know, sent right to him. <laughs> to, to, Ken, to Ken Starter. Um, Arrogant Ape says in the chat, Ken Starter, you can start your own uh, you know, you uh, website, crowdfunding site. Maybe oh, just a subscription service, you know, Ken Starter. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, Dave Dave Brink in the chat, Genuine Comics, he wants to know um, how many issues of Groken will there be? Seven. If you have that number. Seven? seven? Issues, okay. Uh, they discounting the number zero. Well, it's seven. It's a nice round. Cool, cool. Awesome. And yeah. I explained that the number zero is we remastered the minis, and we have a other story about one of the characters, Gennaro, inside. But it's going to be soft, the movement, and I'm going to expand in the minis. 
more information and cool. it's uh -oh. it's good to have like a book mm -hmm. that but that would be the fourth book i'm going to launch oh. now we are in the second um, nice. i need to wait another year or a little more that's okay. my kind of okay. if i if i had the opportunity to a uh, book a year book, if i can reduce the the time that's be perfect Cool, cool. Um, and, and I know you were talking to us last night. I like how you. You're... Oh, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix. Uh... <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what this train wreck. Phoenix, are you there? I hope he's no. fighting off vampires or something. Right. That was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. Somebody's trying but, to steal the 2004 Honda yeah. Accord. He worked hard to get not. that vehicle. <laughs> well, hopefully he's not running someone over again like last time. <laughs> he's honking uh, at them. You know, doing nah, his, his car just butt dialed you, bro. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, Phoenix, you are not coming in, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I'm saying like like his connection. Um, his connection. Uh, like, yeah, your connection is unstable, brother. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if he can hear us. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I wasn't saying like uh, I want Phoenix did awesome on the uh, Tiger Blue stream. But uh, um, where I was. Yeah, it's saying you got a zero out of 10 connection right now, um, brother. But uh. Yeah, like, um, so, Kenneth, one thing you were talking to us uh, last night and you mentioned it earlier is, like, your process for, like, the books is, like, and I, I'm bringing this up because Colonel does the same thing, is, like, you basically, you lay out the entire book and you map that out so that way you know exactly what you're doing. Yes. Um, yes uh, is that correct? And you only have three pages left? Yes, that's correct. Uh, is that for something, the pages I need to, I'm working on? And next week it's going to be done the rough layouts of the book, the complete book. Um, I always change the method. I I work in every comic, but for be more responsible and and the schedule, I that functioned perfectly. Have all the layouts of the rough layouts of the whole the whole story. In that way, I only need to proceed to to the finish pencil and inks. And mm -hmm. um, I cover in less time a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So in, in the past, I worked page by page, but in like a, the last one, the broken number one, I work and jump in between pages. Mm -hmm. And then I, I feel, oh, I need to expand a little more and I need to figure out how the, the number of the pages on the left, on the right. and mm -hmm doubles per page um it's a little difficult but mm -hmm. you, you can resolve but that make time okay? take time um yes i recommend okay if you can't cover some part big parts of, of your project okay do the all the layouts have the script done or you want to do the script at the end well the best function for you but at, at the moment mm -hmm. that formula of working process is perfect for me cool yeah yeah and the reason i brought that up was i wanted to show colonel colonel kind of does the same thing i just wanted to show off colonel if you if you wanted to show off because you you do the same process is that is that correct like uh, i'd imagine I mean, like a lot of guys do what's called thumbnails and then you yeah. kind of you could you could do a lot but of your thumbnails are like <laughs> you can yeah. do a lot of adjustments real quick on little, small thumbnails but uh, when I started going into this, I had, you know, Noah in there going, why are you working on the full page's size and everything? And I mean, I wasn't really going for it, but I was, I thumbnailed my whole book out. And, How many pages? Uh, it's 27. Uh, it's going to be 28 when I get it done. But uh, okay. yeah, it's a small book, but, you know, I laid everything out all the way through. I sent it around to some guys. Uh, they gave me some you know, pointers, adjustments, stuff like that. So, and then when I got it all set up for the full render, it makes the work go by faster because I did all the perspective planning, did all the shot planning here really fast. 
So I even think uh, Jose Garcia talks about, you know, when you're just laying things in fast, keeping the flow, you keep your balance, you're more, you're not worried about your details so much. You're worried about how the overall thing is looking. Uh, so that, uh, that was the other thing about this was just making sure that my values and my setups for everything, you know, and the page flow, the panel flows, you know, whether if something was confusing to look at, I need to fix it. So, yeah, yeah this is yeah. just basically like thumbnails, but bigger, you know, uh, no, but I, I, mean, I mean, treat them just as fast. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. amazing. It's, so. it's similar. I, I, I work that way. Like uh, one thing you said, I okay, the flow is mm -hmm. better work quick and maintain the 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 motion of what happened yeah, yeah. um you, that way you don't skip things you, you that, that's the, the other thing is the continuity it allows yes. you to kind of just keep that continuity between frame to frame without you know having to spend all this time doing this part and then you got to break off a little bit here doing it meticulously yeah. helps it can well, yeah and, well and I, that yeah. yeah and that moment you you know the, what the cue of the, the character enter out in the pages and continue that way until mm -hmm. it's done. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that, that's great for him. Yeah, I think Kenneth does a really good job of illustrating what's going to be happening in between the panels, like the way he sets it up mm -hmm. and the way he kind of brings it home. He paints a good picture as to what's going what's going on in between panels as well as on the page as well. So it's 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 a plus for me. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and I, yeah, I, I'm 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 pl pleased to say that like I got you know some awesome people helping me with my book, Time Crawler. I'm just gonna say you know Zade has been spending hours and hours with me on the phone, coming up with awesome concept ideas. I I got to start drawing my stuff, but yeah, that's uh, you know that's a double, that's double page, page spread, spread, but like scribbled. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah, they're they're just scribbles, yeah. like whatever. I can't show my. No. <laughs> you want to show it? You, 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 no. No. If you want to show it, you I don't have to. I select exactly what, what page I can show. I, I, I am okay, kind of yeah. curious. Yeah. I've seen other artists' layouts. Um, I, I'm not naming names, but it was an artist that was hiring another artist to do a kickboxing thing, and they showed me their layouts, and I was like, I could draw this. <laughs> I'm like, not impressed with you, yeah. but... <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of well, I mean, it's the it's basically the foundation for the storytelling, right? Like your your page turns and you know layouts make and Kenneth how big. how it works. Yeah, yeah make Kenneth kind of big. Sorry, so, sorry for the light. It's not maybe it's too glossy. The what this is is a big panel to one country dollar and some small here. How much for that book? I feel like I have to do this because he's not here, but you know, your dear friend Skip, um, that you're mm. very close with, he would really appreciate that if you would just give that to him as a gift. Like a gift? Yeah, 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 a gift. Yeah, you know how Skip is, you know. So I, I feel like yes, since uh... he's not in the chat. <laughs> That I have to do Why that is he first. not here? Where's the where enemy? Skip. Uh, send, send I don't. He's either asleep or at work. <laughs> like Skip Edwards. Yeah. 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 yeah he should be. Here. Um, yeah. John. John has got Skip Edwards. He's got his YouTube. He's a great friend of the channel. Um, that's where we we started the crack pack and stuff was over there. Um, Skip is an mm -hmm. awesome dude. He's an awesome illustrator. He's done work for like mm -hmm. you know other people that are you know um in in the industry and stuff whatever and you know stuff like that but yeah um he's got his own mailing yeah, list out awesome. right now too sleight yep. of hand, sleight of hand. check it out yeah. he's been yeah. killing it. Telling to send me stuff. what huh wh which character is your oh. favorite in broken what was that what's your favorite character um let's see as i'm looking for my for me it's I mean, between I mean, obviously, and obviously i like broken i like okay you know, I like uh, what's his face, Enzo. I like him a lot, Enzo. and I think Enzo's I think cool, Enzo, yeah. yeah, I think Enzo. He obviously he has to because of how broken one ended. You, you know, we have to either complete well, that storyline or look at him. He's like, do we though? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you will enjoy the the second book. 
Oh, yeah, as so... Kenneth was saying, uh, we're going to be getting some more. Uh, I guess Enzo is going to become yeah. more important down the line. So I'm looking yes. forward to that. Some flashbacks, some history. We're getting Ooh, some yeah. peeking out. Yeah, he also he's going to tell more about the 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 art in the walls. Yes, in and in the very beginning that we see uh, Enzo's in that cell, that prison. And we see all yeah. along the walls. I remember Vanessa. We, that was one of the first things that we noticed when we first uh, reviewed Groken way back in the day. One of the yeah. first things I saw was all of these markings that are on the prison cell wall on the inside. I'm like, all right, these have to. These can't be random. They have to mean something. It's going to mean something later on down the road. And Kenneth has kind of uh, confirmed that, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's 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 a lot of obviously with the first issue. It's a it's an intro issue. Um, yeah. And again, I destroyed my copy, Kenneth. Remember, I, 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 I'm, I, I currently, I I'm currently back <laughs> twice. It's the second backing where I just got the cover. I think the cover A. Don't sign that one. Give me a quote unquote damage copy. So I, I, I'm going to you, do a note <laughs> yeah. with the extra copy. For, I, all right. Just, for a system no, I, of water. I bought it. I bought it <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Like, don't, don't sign it because I, I didn't know you could rub off Sharpie, but you can. Yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, there's there was a lot of seeds planted, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they cultivate. And you, you said there's going to be more Stella, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who are who yeah. are going to be happy about yeah, it's, that. It's Stella, yeah, it's Stella. Yeah. Recently, she is in the cover. Yeah. This is not only for I catching is is for because she has a role. It's not yeah, just she, to cash in on her. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. I, I yeah, dedicated to draw for some AAT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, I mean, the, the, the battle of the comet is, is is her lens. Mm. You know, the broken one is the, the Salvatore necklace yep. logo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, so when are you the... going to sell that necklace? Ooh. I, I need to make it first. So. Uh, well, I mean, you, you are a trained sculptor, right? You can get on that, yeah. Dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I can do it, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say hold it, 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 it's, it's not a challenge. I only make time and I do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you know, showing off that reminds me of something. Me and Zade have been kind of talking. You know, help. He's been helping me. Um, obviously, Aldous in the chat is is my editor, but he also helped. You know, is giving me a lot of like useful information. He's a fucking you know, Aldous. Much shout, shout out to you, real quick. Aldous is in the chat. He's hey, he's Aldous. amazing, and he just got five hundred subscribers. But uh, yeah, oh, Colonel. Um, this is something I've had my whole life. I, a lot of I'm I'm part Native American, but yeah, Colonel, can we can we for time crawler? Can we turn this into a clock as a logo? Yeah. So I can, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. This is what I wanted to do. I wanna, um, Simply, yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I need I need Colonel to keep me motivated. Um, you know what I'm saying to make sure I start you know putting this stuff together. But yeah, I, I I'm wanting to put this as the logo, or, or maybe like I don't know if I maybe maybe it's time. I want to mix a clock in for time crawler, but. I'm wondering if it would be better as like how um like as like a like a company logo like Dreamcatcher Comics or something, but yeah, maybe if you can help me out with that this weekend, bro, that I would much appreciate it because yeah, you I mean and, and you guys don't know Colonel's been the man; he's been helping me out, coming up with some great ideas. We'll figure it out. Kind of helping me lead my way. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, I gotta I gotta put this thing to use. You know, the old iPad Pro I just got so. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. But uh, yeah, big shout out to all this. Big shout out to uh, Colonel for me. Um, I thank you guys so much, and thanks you guys for the chat. Um, I'm, I'm gonna check in with Groken here real quick, see where we're at. Um, and, and yeah, Vanessa, man, you beat the hell out of your copy, man. <laughs> Listen, that, how many that times you read enough. that thing? Not enough. Yes. And I prove I approve it. <laughs> see. Oh, there, there's, yeah. there's did say his favorite like, oh, issues is the ones that we read. So, you know, yeah. beat up yeah. and all. If you're reading it, it's his favorite, I guess. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. By Listen, the way, I, I just... about the, the necklace, I'm going to take it like a challenge. I'm going to do it. Ah. Uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe one, but I'm going to mm -hmm. do it in the, in the updates when I finish. I'm going to oh, nice. show. Sweet. Mm -hmm. so, it's only for me. But... <laughs> so, yes, yeah. I'm going to do it. I like it. All right, but yeah, we are 125, brother. 125, almost 125.5. Yes. So we're still moving. Um, congrats, man. 
own. Thank you. Yeah, Congrats. Really Kenneth, cool. Kenneth, if you make it out of clay, like that's your master mold, you can get some silicone and make a really tiny mold ah, of it. That way yeah. you can just keep going. That's up. what I'm doing for these knives, man. Yeah, you can make them forever for mm -hmm. you know, every campaign. Yes, yeah. I, I have a, a smooth on project, um, products. I can build a mold and yeah, yeah. awesome um, cast of, of, of the piece. Yes. Thumbs up. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, all the beats and other things. Yeah. Oh, can I we can get? Yeah, cool. yeah. Can like what John's saying? Can we get a spoken word read from uh, from the creator of Groken One? Like a so line. Night. Good night, Kyle. Like a, Good night, a Kyle. Line from the book. Thank you. Sorry, I don't understand yeah, the, cool. the what he's asking. Uh, it would be awesome to hear Kenneth Roquefort read a line from uh, Groken One. Oh, okay. Let me find the smaller one. Read it. No all. way. <laughs> In voices. <laughs> no way. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> awesome. Well, I, I I never think about what the tone the. Mm -hmm. The voice of the each character at the moment. Um, I know the tracker is really like a double voice, really deep, but mm -hmm. maybe like a monster robot creatures kind. And Rocking, he he talked to the other. Uh, if you notice in the comic, it's like a blue color, no completely black. Mm -hmm. The the lettering. It's because he is more telepathic when he talk with other. It's not like mouse moving. And the information I think is in the trading card of Rocken. They say he have that the ability. When I speak with with others, it's not like a voice from. It's like a so, mm -hmm. mentally voice you hear, but it's not from the source of his mouse. Right. 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 Yeah, because his mouth is on his chest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I I Always noticed smiling. that on like the fifth or sixth <laughs> time when it was like cough, cough. I was like, that's his chest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a really uh, interesting. That's so design, sure. so I, I thought that was cool. <laughs> that's awesome. He don't use very souls. It's fine. <laughs> No, yeah, it, I want to learn more about Groken, you know, the tracker, the, their origins, how these characters came to be, mm -hmm. why uh, Groken is like that, why his mouth is down there on his chest. Like, there's so I have so many questions that I hopefully will uh, get answered throughout the course of the series. But I'm loving the uh, breadcrumbs that you're laying out, Kenneth, on that first issue. So I'm looking forward to, you know, unveiling more on issue two and beyond. Thank you. And for, funny thing is, um, when I just started designing the characters, I always want do a comic like the character is not like a pretty um yeah like we have enough easy, pretty easy superheroes yeah easy we need look. some ugly no. guys <laughs> and i say okay i want to have fun with, with those characters okay so, so it's yeah. pretty yes but a uh, different kind of, of characters more of what they the role and i wrote the the plot and i took too much time Design the character was when I finished the, the plot and started designing the character. I don't, it's not the project like I design the character and then I do the sword. That was ah, the first yeah. of that. Um, sword yes. great too. Yes, yeah. I, I don't have problem with, with draw pretty characters. Maybe in the future, I'm going to go that way. But in this project, I want more focus in the story and have fun mm. that way. Well, it's yeah, because though. yeah, because Stella is hideous. There, Kenneth, the most the most uh, hideous thing that you that you draw. Yeah, that yeah. That is so gross, right? Yeah, so yeah. gross. She 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 she, she, she looked. Yeah, yeah, I don't Hi know. Haifa, though. <laughs> yeah. People dig Haifa. Haifa. Yes, she she's she's been in in the next issue too. Haifa, Paulino, Juanito Luca. Yeah. You have a big part of the, uh, and I told you the the hiding character is going to be in the next issue too. Yeah, then right. see the 
This is why I need to have my my ready to be destroyed copy sent to me. <laughs> so when yeah. I'm doing my where in the world is Carmen San Diego search through Broken Two, <laughs> I, I'm not like, and I'm being all rough with the book. I could be like, yeah. all right, I have I have my my one copy on standby over there that's still in its bag and board. This is, <laughs> and I mean I don't want to. Well, people are going to take it however they want to take it. Grokin was the first book where I really wanted to put that thing in carbonate, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. get it rated. <laughs> right? That, yeah. that, that's, that's the first awesome. one where I was like... Me too. Well, but at the I same think... time, books are meant to be read, so... Yep. That's right. Sure. For e me, everybody gets you... heartburn. Yeah, you have to read it. Would you ever get mad if I got like if I got it blown up and wallpapered like the interior of my house, like just all of it on the walls? Yeah, do whatever you want. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me uh, a little bit of a royalty. Yeah, yeah. 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 Colonel. Do whatever. Send, 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 uh, but send me a, a picture of that. Uh, that's there you go. Oh yeah, if it ever happens, I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> I want to have a record of. How manifest in my art in different places. <laughs> yeah, some broken wallpaper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's fine. Well, whatever you do with the book, if you read it and you enjoy, then awesome. it's recyclable. <laughs> uh, it was yeah. just a joke, Kenneth. I ain't gonna do it. But hey, you're giving me ideas now. <laughs> How would you do? Would you like put it in the in sequential order so you could just like stand there, like and read it, the yeah, and, uh, and read I it mean, as you mm -hmm. turn. I've been in comic book stores on the floor. There are comics. Oh, yeah. Those, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. It's, it's one in LA, I think it's LA, a famous store. Like the, all the, the floor is dark comics. Um, yeah. It, it, it's, oh, yeah. It's nice. It, I, I wish my comic would be there. <laughs> and, <laughs> you gotta uh, mind having a wall just full of all my, some of my favorite interiors and covers and mm -hmm. stuff that you can just, you know, all right there, blown up. That's a, that might be a good idea. Yeah. Well, by Maybe. the way, I really enjoy that work in that company. Rocking is one of my for I'm super proud of the project. Mm -hmm. um, more than because you the first be. time I read a graphic novel, I the story I, I, I love. Maybe you don't know too much at the moment of the story, but I I like it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And like you yeah, said, yeah, as yeah, each yeah, you issue comes out, like when, when we get issue two, we'll be able to go back and read issue one, and more of it will make sense. Just as when yeah. we get issue three, we'll be able to go back. Maybe it makes sense. Maybe it's going to be more complicated. Maybe, yeah, maybe it'll be more complicated. But I, I have faith in you. I have a feeling it's going to start yeah. to make a lot more sense as these issues come out, and we'll get a more full picture. That when we go back and reread, it's a whole new experience reading issue one all over again because we have more of the uh, more of the intel. I'm going to read it again, and again. Yep. Well, I know, I know for again a fact. Again. I got, I got, I got five friends from high school that left comic books about 2002, 2005. They they quit, and I talked them into doing uh, both your books, dude. Because wow. I was impressed. I was like, hey, you guys like need to read this. You need to you need to check it out. And uh, they did, man. They did. Yeah, yeah. they did the wow. the one and two. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I was, I mean, we had the um, some of the House of the Dragon new subs that I've been getting over on my channel the other day in uh, the chat, and we actually got one of them to back Broken Two, so, which is really cool. I'd love to see uh, you know get some new eyes, you know, some different readers into these chats that maybe haven't been around mm -hmm. before and don't really know about these comics, and maybe they'll spread the word to their friends and so on and so forth. So that's the plan. So it's, uh, yeah, it's awesome. this. Yeah, this campaign should have thousands of backers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like this is one of the this is one of the the campaigns yeah. that should have you know three four thousand like yeah. easily. 10, you know? Yeah, it's I mean uh, one million backers. Like no, yeah. Like I said, I I, I don't. <laughs> I, I hope this isn't like inappropriate. Dollars. <laughs> you know, like but like this, I mean, like this is a beautiful book, and I just picked this up. It was like um, it was at a mm. like I went to the Ollies and got me a whole bunch of books and stuff. But yeah, this was this is amazing, bro. Like I don't know how long ago you did this, but like as great as this is, like Groken is just this is just a, this is un unbelievable, bro. Like I haven't seen anything like it, so or anything that you know. 
Thank you. I, Not I, much compares to this, but. Well, I, I love yeah. the experience with, with, with writers. I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's the thing that made grow um, professionally, work with others. Yeah. At some point, mm -hmm. you say, oh, okay, I think I can manage the do, do a right and i have some ideas and and when you decide to don't share the story and you manage and you manipulate in the way okay people are going to enjoy the story um do it um be critic on your own work be your own editor if you can if you ask for help it's nothing wrong with that but tell in your way the story you want the public know your name mm -hmm. in the book and mm -hmm. share share your talent yeah share your ideas and make other people happy too mm -hmm. yeah yeah i i, I so, love what comics is something like i need to we, we, we like an artist need to still work in to this industry no the comic book mm -hmm. is still alive it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's a medium like uh, easy to, no, it's not easy, but, but because it requires a lot of effort, but the satisfaction of the end is, is good. So, so are you doing any work anywhere else or like, I, if you're not allowed to talk, whatever, but like, or is this like, like, is it a goal of yours to like only start basically just doing your own thing and becoming your own boss or, or is that already kind of the, what, what you're doing? Um, it's not wrong to work for other but this is a plan b and mm, okay, okay. I, I worked for a long time my plan b work for others mm. um, but plan a is you create your own stuff and that's the situation yeah. push you to, to to plan a that's good thing because mm -hmm. yeah you need to to say okay i'm going to do my my stuff and yeah, I imagine your stuff is time. your main stuff. It's your main passion. It's your creation. You kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, but I also saw recently that you did um, you did a little bit of um, brigade work with Rob Liefeld, which looked beautiful, by the way. I did one page, the page. Yeah, man, three, that was great looking. The remaster. Yep. Um, yes, it's nice to collaboration and have other eyes over my project too. Um yeah, um like I, I can say about work in the industry for other um and, and different of the people the indie comics. People in the indie comics you need to appreciate that moment because mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to create your own stuff, work mm -hmm. on your own project and not attached to to companies. Because when you go to companies you're going to desire have that time to create your own stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, that, that's uh, I don't know. It's pathetic, maybe, <laughs> for, <laughs> when, when you go to the industry. Um, yeah. Yes, you, you you can give your talent. It's good. Uh, work in superheroes like uh, you admire. Mm -hmm. um, but the, those things is never yours. Yeah. Um, what you create or collaborate with and have only the, the the character is better because it's your name is your reputation mm -hmm. is your quality is your you give to to the public to the audience um yes people who start in indie appreciate that time is super valuable because it's the dream of people who are in the industry in, in, in the in the big two because they want own something you're lucky mm -hmm. yeah. well I, I i have something here um that uh, vanessa wants to share um speaking of superman she wants to pull this up so um boom why are you always talking about yeah. shoes constantly yeah that's not me bro what are you talking about <laughs> Listen, I don't, I don't pay for, ad. For, okay. yeah I, I don't pay Tennis? for ad blockers like <laughs> me neither yeah <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, you're just going to have to deal with Wolverine. So, this is something, actually, I know you did it in, tw in uh, 2019. Um, if I remember correctly, it was a fundraiser for, like, a gorilla um, enclosure or something for a zoo. Yes, that's that right. Correct? It was yeah. uh, the different artists 
was selected for painting over a statue of a gorilla, a blank one. Um, yeah. I was selected by Henry Cavill to to their collaboration. Nice. Yeah. And, and it's beautiful. This and this thing is huge. Look at that thing. Right. Look at yeah. it. Yeah. So so, so this. Does How long did it take you? Is exist somewhere? Yeah. Yes, I'm in Jersey, um, UK. Nice. And I was around a week and a half. Wow. Uh, nice. I moved there to, to work in that piece. Uh, yes, what beautiful island. Um, Jersey, you can find in the map. And you can look at Paris from the coast. Mm -hmm. uh, good food. <laughs> um, yes, I, I gained some extra pounds. <laughs> uh, what, what, what was a nice experience. I, I really enjoyed be part of that charity mm -hmm. and be selected. Now, what's uh, what's Henry Cavill like? Is he? Uh, did you get? Did you have a chance to talk to him at all for a little bit? Or? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, he seems like a re he just seems like a really nice guy. Genuinely, not one of those guys that is, just pretends yes. to be nice. You know. Yeah. Super nice person. I met him a few times. Mm. Um. Yeah, I can say, well, it's really a gentleman with other people, um, really press awesome. attention with when he talk. Um, yeah, what's it, and it's fun. Also, we was also in the zoo. Um, he invited me to give food to the animals. No, oh, wow. well, I didn't. I was on the part of the island at the moment. Uh, no, no. Yes, um, so super accessible with the people you know. He worked with his family. He's, yep. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Well, he he's that's from good. Jersey, not. Yes, he born there. Not 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 New Jersey. It's not Jersey. Our Jersey. It's, yeah. I, yeah. yeah, it's a yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's a UK island that's mm. just north of France, Jersey. That's right. Yeah, that's awesome, man. It sounds like it was a blast, and uh, yeah, Henry nice Cavill man. just seems like one of the coolest guys around. And I met also different artists there, super talented, who made the, his own painting or, or the blanks. Who was a oh, studio wow. with like a, over nine figures, and each one working his own. It was, it was um, nice. that, that, that's a super nice experience. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of uh, talented artists, we have another one that just popped into the ca uh, chat. Cat Pappy Shane Davis. Yeah. Ooh. What's up? Oh shit! Um, Shane, I'll send you. The, I'm gonna send you the link if you want to pop. It. That'd be Shane. awesome, man. Uh, I congrats on three hundred thousand, man, dude. Yes. Big, 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 mm -hmm. big milestone. Not many people Absolutely. have hit that three hundred k mark. That's very impressive. Mm -hmm. In that picture, we are laughing because um, some something happened with the marker, but it exploded in my hands. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> <are we doing? laughs> And yeah, well, that's really normal talking, uh, stupid things. Yeah, it usually doesn't happen that quick. I'm sorry, Henry. Yep. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, other okay. talented artists, we also got Evie uh -oh. S in the chat. What is wow. that? What? What is up? Can I send hey. uh, Uncle E? Uh, Uncle E, I'll send you the link, man. I it would. I would love to freaking have you in here, man. Um, I was on the Jack show with you before. Um, I didn't get to talk though. I was supposed to be outside, but cool. I'll send you a link if you want to pop in here, man. Be <laughs> <laughs> no, Steve, they, shut they, up, man. They gave me shit for months. Outside, <laughs> and they didn't get to go outside, and that just fucked just up. Right. That, that was the whole thing. It fucked up his whole, yeah. his whole routine. Man. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> He's yeah, actually really super fun. funny all the time. Well, not super funny. for when it rains. But, <laughs> yeah, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, big shout out for sharing that campaign out, man. Um, I, I, say, I just sent it on Twitter, but thank you, brother, for helping us out reaching that um i'm gonna sh i'm gonna go ahead and i'll share it right quick um we'll see where we're at with groken right now um boom we share close um, to the you know so wow um let's see it's loading it's loading all right i guess i hit a refresh see if we got to 126 yet um and, and uncle e i i i don't know if they were joking but they said something about happened to your your, your channel so i hope hope nothing uh serious happened i don't know or if it was a troll but uh yeah big shout out to you guys thank you for thank you thank you for your help man appreciate you but yeah so but yeah we uh we reached our stretch goal that was good um yeah 
Kenneth, are you thinking about doing another Mark, one or Mark, something like Mark, that? Mark. Another a stretch goal? Well, yeah. yeah. Maybe if we move to other numbers, but I'm I'm fine now. I think <laughs> I, I, I don't look into much yeah, <laughs> about about expectation. I, always I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. And I, I, it's, I think in that way, I'm always surprised how it's moving. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it did want to show off. I, I, um, Kenneth did some amazing work over there on, um, oh, uh oh, oh shit. I think, it, oh man, it is the man, the myth, <laughs> the legend, Uncle E. Hello. Thank you, sir. You yes. Hello. Hello. Hey, well, hey, how hey, are yo. you? Uh, I'm I'm here to do a couple of things. First of all, I would like to tell Kenneth Roko for it that we love him over here. And uh, Kenneth, you know, we we we've been here promoting, and whatever I did to hurt to hurt you, whatever I did to offend you, I want to personally no, apologize. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, we we would definitely like to have you back on Comics Gate Kings and all that stuff, uh, because we love you, Kenneth. Yeah, cool. No, no, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Kenneth. Now, the other thing I want to do is that's, I want to yell that's, at Shane. That's, that's not like drama. I don't know. That, that's a, a, a bad thing to show, but <laughs> nothing happened by the way. Do you see those crack rocks on the Roach Falls campaign, EBS? That's how we lured him over here. It's, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I, I want to yell at Shane Davis, who, by the way, uh, we're here. Uh, we are here promoting the hell out of everyone. This is what we're doing. We're, we're making a real difference in people's lives. Uh, we're talking about uh, pulling crack babies uh, out of trash cans in Haitian, uh, in Haiti. Uh, and we're, we're talking about giving them a better life. And Shane Davis, uh, who I believe himself was a crack baby that was abandoned in a garbage can in Haiti before he was adopted by the circus. Where is Shane Davis? He doesn't come into our chat. He comes into your chat. And we love you, Darren. I, I just want you to know it's no offense. You know what I mean? I, I understand. I know my place, brother. I appreciate you. It's no offense to you at all. I mean, it's just that it's almost like it's almost as if, you know, like, you know, your your girlfriend makes a stop at the Darren Wagoner show before she comes <laughs> to hang out. That's basically what it's like. That's how we feel about what Shane is doing. She comes home smelling like D-Wag, John Mellon just said. <laughs> <laughs> He's very I mean, I'm a hot piece of ass, baby. You know what I mean? I am, you know, look at me, you know what I mean? So everyone's yeah. very upset. There's a lot of crying going on on my side of the channel. I'm sure the, on my side of the internet, I'm sure uh, quite a few tears are being shed right now with you. But what I want to say to this is most mostly people want to say F Shane Davis. I don't want to say F Shane Davis. <laughs> What I want to do is I want to say, let's give Shane Davis another chance. And what I want to say is uh, Kenneth Roquefort. How do you pronounce Roquefort? Am I right? Ethan, you have a, a back number? It's Roquefort, right? Yes. A lot of people are ga uh, gaslighting me about it, by the way, on my chat. They're like, no, it's Roquefort. No, it's Roquefort. God. Am I right, Kenneth? Am I wrong? Um, it's Kenneth. So you were right, brother. All right. You have to get a that lot of people gaslighting me right now. So uh, anyway, I just want to say that Uncle E. Yes. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for interrupting. Keep going. No, buddy. no, no. I'm, I'm, yeah, I just want to say real quick that uh, tonight is kind of the Rocco Ford's night. Uh, we are we are promoting him over here. 1,100 people. Uh, we are getting people to back. Listen, there's only one more hour. There's only one more hour, everyone. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need everyone uh, to dig deep. Uh, you know, if you were thinking about adopting a Haitian baby, can it wait? Uh, tonight is all about Broken 2 uh, by Kenneth Roquefort. Uh, we need you to put everything else, put all your other plans on pause and back Roquefort's Broken 2. Broken 1 was so good. You, if you missed it, you can get Broken uh, 1 uh, on this campaign as well. And so I'm saying this not only to uh, D Wags chat. I'm saying it to my chat. I'm letting everyone know that you're all being watched. Okay. 
Thank you. Big thank you, guys. You know, yeah, yeah. this is this is Kenneth's night, man. If you guys would come together, back this thing. Let's set it out. You know, knock it out the park, baby. Yeah, we see you. Those of you who are. Oh, damn. I got 85 people in here. Big shout out. Big. Yeah. yeah. The sun rays. The sun rays. You know, they are beaming. Those of you who are not backing Roko Fort, we are taking names. (laughs) <laughs> we will not forget you. We will not forget who you are. Those of you who couldn't find it within yourself to just for one minute, just for one minute, stop buying recreational drugs and promote what? and no, support Groken 2 uh, by Kenneth Rokel for it. Real comical, one of the get best. It, get it to 126K in an hour. Just just hit that. It's so close. So oh, close. Get way past that, my friends. We've only just well, begun. But- Sell drugs. The war is on. <laughs> uh, all right. Who, wait, who came into my chat? Somebody just came into my stream. Let me check. Oh, oh, look who it is. Oh, it's my one of my fair weather friends. Uh, just shows up on my chat. Oh, you'll never guess. You'll never guess uh, which one of my fair weather friends uh, it is. Are yep. you gonna let that tiger out? Sorry. I'm live on both channels. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, trust me. I I totally haven't noticed that your mods haven't been dropping any links, except for Sheila. We ha- I have no beef with you, ma'am. Uh, who's not dropping yeah, you links? What kind Sheila of links? Holding it down. <laughs> Hell, Sheila. Your your mods, Ethan. I have not seen one broken link the entire time that you've been. Hold over on here. a second. Let me yell at my mods. They can't hear you, but. Uh, according to Danger Vanessa, <laughs> who is a beloved uh, member of Comicsgate, everyone loves Danger Vanessa. She is saying yeah. that my mods are not supporting Grogan, not to the, uh, not the way that we would like uh, to support uh, Kenneth Rokoford's Grogan too. You need to be dropping the link in the chat nonstop. Now Sheila's doing a good job, but the other seventeen thousand of you aren't doing shit, and you're embarrassing me in front of Kenneth. Uh, who I'm gonna, I'm trying to get two more pages of Cyberfrog out of. Kind of do you really well. I know you're busy. I'm trying to get two more pages out of you. Uh, I know you're busy, what? my friend. But I, I'll pay you. Well, well, John, John Malin said something funny. John Malin said, uh, I, I, I hear the, that. I hear that. No, he said something funny. Shane yeah. Davis, he said something funny just a little while ago. Uh, John Malin is capable of saying funny things. He said, I, I overextended my Kenneth Rocafort credit. He's already done too much work. He said he only does two pieces per person per customer. Is that true, Kenneth? Nope. And yes. No. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, wait. Uh, okay, so John Malin just gets two things. Everybody well, else. Well, I, I don't talk business here in public. What? Uh, <laughs> Kenneth, wink, wink. I hear you, yeah. pal. Yeah. yeah this no, just got Kenneth totally does awkward. only do two pieces per customer. That is, he, you are right, Kenneth. I'll, I'll talk to you later in private. We are here for yeah. celebrate and the those are the seven days of Broken Two. Um, with goodbye. That's right. Yep. Yeah. What do you mean, sandbag him? I'm, I'm not sandbagging him. He is yelling at me though. He's saying I don't talk business in public. So uh, Shane's right. Kenneth, I'd like to apologize yeah. uh, on behalf of Comic oh, Artists. Yeah, yeah, cool. uh, and uh, you know, and I, so I don't want to create drama and things in the, in the media. Yes. Sorry for that. Uh, I know the move <laughs> for that. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate okay. it. Uh, we'll see time. you guys later. I will leave. Yep. Okay. Much love. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Big shout out. Yeah, Kenneth got. Uh, yeah, sorry guys. Oh, you're cool. Um, totally not. Well, thank you guys for showing up, man. Please back Groken too. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, oh uh, D-Way, refresh. Yeah, yeah. Refresh. refresh. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Mm, Ten dollars oh, away. Can we please bucks. make this happen? <laughs> Can we please make this happen, yeah, right guys? Right there. Yep. Mm. Oh, so yeah. awesome. 
you know, B big shout yeah. out to you guys. We've been going for four hours over here. Oh, that's um, amazing. Much we're, love to everybody. Good yeah. numbers. We are here celebrating. That's cool. Mm. No make silent moments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, big shout out to you, brother. Um, congrats, man. Yeah. You know, uh, Steve, uh, we got, I bought you your copies. Are you happy? Oh, I'm like super excited. Yeah. Okay. It's like, you gotta understand, I'm like a dude who likes to read comic books, and now all of a sudden, all the comic books suck. And so I'm like, when I see a good comic book I want to read, I, you know, I, it's like you, it's so like, look at Crackhead right now. He's so excited for this new Game of Thrones <gasps> show coming up. I'm so jealous. Yes. I haven't felt that way in so long, you know. It's like, you know, I feel it like, oh man, I'm, I got broken on the way. That's gonna be awesome. Hell yes! All right, we're refreshing. We're gonna refresh right we here. We hit it. We hit it. Did we hit it? Let's go! Wow! Yeah. Congrats, brother. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep. So, um, while we got a few eyes on us, um, should yeah. we go check out um? Oh, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, Ooh, yeah. The no. There you go. Hey, Kenneth, I threw the link in my graduating class Facebook group. <laughs> 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 nice. I figured, okay. I'm like, I went to school with a bunch of nerds, bro. Like, they, they got to know who you are. Like, there's got to be a few in there that don't know about this campaign. So, I yeah, I had, a, I had a friend that uh, I just yeah, told him this morning. Page. He, I asked oh, yes, him about uh, your. I asked about your was, name. He goes, uh, "Oh yeah, I know that guy. I've got a few like the the Superman comic. I don't know if you've done one or if you've done multiple, but he was he knew your name. Super excited about this. So he's probably jumped in and back. Uh, but normally he doesn't come around like uh, like the indie comic scene. It has nothing to do with that. He just doesn't know it. He's just programming all the time. But since I've been getting into it, I've been sending him campaigns left and right. So. But this one, he was like, I know Kenneth Rowe before it. So I was like, oh, I got to send you this. This is like his independent stuff. So he's probably jumped in and back. But yeah, dude. No, the, the, that's true. I, I, people talk to me and say, oh, I didn't know you, you're you doing Grokken recently. I say, because uh, they're not following too much the media. And mm -hmm. they have the opportunity to say hello. Um, and I add some friends. Like I, they request on time and say, Hey, how are you doing? Oh well, I'm working in Grokken. And say, oh, let me see. And they really jumped to Grokken. That's super cool. Um, got another update too, D Wag. If you refresh, got another. It's it's moving fast. This 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 thousand moving right. faster. Okay. Yes. Cool, cool. Uh, thank you, Atwater High School class of 1994. Hell yeah. Get that yes. <laughs> It's all them. They saw that and they're like, oh yeah. <laughs> It's it. It is, dude. Been watching all night waiting for that, man. You just put it over top. Show me oh, right into this. Yes. <laughs> yep. One of two hundred. Thank you, guys. Listen, there, there's no limit to what we will do Roll in the Rogue Force, right? Stuff. Yeah. Like we'll do love our... power is unmatched. <laughs> no, we, I'm we, jumping on dude. Yeah, you get right. on Craigslist right now. Can yeah, it? get on Craigslist. <laughs> t tell your high school reunion. <laughs> Get flyers. I mean, if the Mormons could do it, we can knock on doors and just be like, there "Have you, you go. heard a good word about broken?" Uh, I got LDS. LDS thought word. Let's post this. Yeah. I had a job knocking on doors, selling insurance. Okay, here's what you got to do: you go up to the door, you knock on it, you walk about eight feet back, and you turn yourself sideways. So when they look out your their window or their peephole, you present the most non-threatening profile step one but wait wait steve what if you have a beer belly wouldn't that be the more dominant pose um <laughs> if you have to walk yeah, around it's... neighborhoods knocking on doors you'll work that thing off pretty quick well i mean don't underestimate people but okay so you stand you sideways be, you gotta be hungry to be out there taking a crap job like that too so that's true you know mm -hmm. <laughs> Checkpoint says just bring a wheelchair. I mean, you're just rolling down the yeah. street. <laughs> Hover around. Camera can't keep it. 
where I'm on it all the time. It's always, it's not attached to anything. It just goes loose. And I hit the wire down here with my foot. That's why you see my camera just is moving all that. So, okay, so poor Steve, showmanship. In, it's all good. So you said, <laughs> knock on the door, step step back, show them the side. So what what else? Um, always talk to the people like you know them, and you are absolutely supposed to be there. And when you see a no trespassing sign, the dude who trained me said that doesn't mean us. <laughs> But it so did I, actually, and people would it, yell at us all the time. So I would avoid if it says no trespassing, post posted, no soliciting. That dude's just gonna yell at you. Just go to the next house. <laughs> That's so, not so, the advice I got. That's the advice I would give. So I knock on the door, step AP yeah. fact, show yeah. show the side. Oh, no, if, you, if you have a briefcase that you're carrying, like we did with our presentation, you'd actually set that down on the porch. And okay. step back and leave it there. Right, so, so now you have, have to step forward to pick it up. What are, what are some other methods to get broken to people's doorsteps, guys? <laughs> Newspaper <laughs> red. Right. 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 One a.m. We should, shouldn't be deep diving. This right. I, I'm thinking no. Yeah, uh, drop it out of got an hour, fly guys. over and <laughs> drop it out of some airplanes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna call my mom. Um, <laughs> see if she'll back it. Um, call my aunt and uncles and stuff like that. Uh, I don't hit, hit the family reunion. I've got a blind yeah. cousin. Hey. Hey. You can't read it. Sure. They're coming for hey. you. No. You got a credit card. Well, I mean, you'll be you'll be supporting your local economy because he would have to get somebody to read it and describe it. Right. So so you get like a high school senior or like somebody in college of like, hey, for you know, however many dollars I need you to read this comic book to me. Hey, they have interpreters at church. We need to interpret the word of broken. Yes, we, yeah. we cannot deny. You know, there 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 are still Roka Force out there that doesn't know that they're Roka Force. Go telling on the mountains. Yes, we have need you get, to spread. You guys the word. ever seen those? You ever seen those interpreters at uh, concerts like rock or rap shows? Have you ever seen them? <laughs> No, but that's no. got to be crazy. Yeah, YouTube it later after after right after, after all this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They sign it, but they they're into it, man. It, it's it's pretty wild. Awesome. Like they have them for like gangster rap and stuff. Yeah. Like I yeah Q, yeah you'll yeah you'll see them. There, like, that'd be pretty mm -hmm. cool. Yep. So we got all of you. I. Th I think this is pronounced Youper in the chat saying that they backed Groken. So welcome to the Roka Force. And, Thank you. And, yep. and, welcome. And, and, and we know EVS has been pushing it all night. We just, you know, he comes over here. We can't just like let him take the show <laughs> over, right? No. <laughs> like this is this, oh, no, this is not his house, you know. No, this is the Roka Force night. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, but no, in all seriousness, Kenneth, this has yeah. been an incredibly impressive campaign, man, from start to finish. I'm super yeah. pumped for you, and it's just so humbling to be even a small part of it. So thank you for that. You yeah. say small, you say small. Really. Kenneth, I, I feel, I feel, I feel like my campaign is more successful by adjacency to Groken. Okay, so thank you okay. for letting me uh, join you on your closeout. Yep. Yeah, I really appreciate you coming over <laughs> here and hanging out here. with us, man. Yeah. Um, For sure. So I, I, yeah, I really do. Um, yeah. Show you trailer. Much love to you, brother. Yeah. Oh, show the trailer? All right, hold on. I got I to pull yes. it up. Yes. All right, boom. Uh, again, again. <laughs> Love that trailer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think I need to work on another trailer. 
to the for the end when are near to complete the comic for showing the process yeah. and ah. working on uh, some images how to a, a, a collage of things mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. all the territory to make the growth into i think that was really nice we got dying days of youtube that do does some killer uh really cool like after effects and stuff with a lot of the trailers uh yeah, he, stuff's great he, he puts out uh voice actors too like there's been a lot of great voice actors in these trailers recently like i've been seeing so many guys like putting some good sound down mo biggs does crazy good yeah. like voice acting too so Even some uh girls too uh some of mm -hmm. the uh, voice acting that i've seen ali do has been really impressive. oh yeah oh yeah Hey, yeah, I'll D pull way. him up real quick. D way. Yeah, what's up? Hit that refresh. Hit the refresh. Okay, cool, cool. Refresh. Let's see where we're at. We moving? He moving. Oh, we're moving. It's moving. Slowly but surely. We're still getting there. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good. Yep. All right. Yeah, I'm going to look up Dying Days. Show you guys. Uh, We'll look him up real quick. Hey, that sure you can allow. I need to yeah, step out. I need to step out. I got work okay. in the morning. Gents, it's been yeah. fun chat. Y'all been real as old. Kenneth, Hail Padre. Me. This is a this is yeah. a great job. And and I look forward in the morning to see if it went into in demand or not. Because Roka Force, <laughs> we may get extra time to spread the good Woo. news. We yeah. just might of Groke. I appreciate it. Really. Just might. My heart. All right. So everybody have a Take good care. night, and I'll catch you You're awesome, later. V. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. All right. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. And everyone, subscribe to Danger uh, Vanessa's channel. She's got her own channel yeah. now. She's over there. Yeah. She's doing her thing, doing some streams. Definitely give her a sub. Yes. Yeah. Zachary A. said he uh, did not know about Groken. He just backed it. So big thank you to you, sir. Wow. Appreciate oh, you. Awesome. Um, awesome. To know about it is is to want it, right? Yeah, that's why we do yeah, these promo to... streams and closeout <laughs> streams. You never know when there's someone that's going to wander yeah. into the chat that just hasn't seen the book before yet. So that's mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you, Zach. Mm -hmm. that's amazing. Cool, cool. And yeah, that's good. Cracker, do you remember what, 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 so after last night, what were we at? I thought we were at 116. Uh, yeah, 116 we ended off at last night. Yep. In, in some change, in some change. So, yeah, maybe some yeah, change. I mean, um, maybe. Yeah, I appreciate all you guys coming so out. Killing you know, it today, man. Support. Killing Broke it Force today. Came out. Um, big shout out, man. Jumped uh, up, what, I'm, about $10,000 today alone? That's awesome. Yeah. I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to that uh, bookmark painting that Kenneth, Kenneth creates. Yeah. I don't have any idea. I only select the, the medium. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I know the, 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 the dimension. Of, of no, the, you have. No, you know, it's it's going to be your uh, it's going to be your that car that you drew. When you were little, yeah. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, the car. Go. <laughs> That's the little car. R two D two. No, because I I yeah. into copyrights. The Star Wars is going to kill me. But the, uh, uh, the, the, the car I going to my, the version of that car I going to do for the sketchbook inside the sketchbook. I going to retake the idea and do nice. my, my remaster or maybe don't look that cool, but. I think it's going to be nice addition. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, what's here, we decide he's going to be in the book. The supercar, colorful. Now the, the, the I answered the, the question about my color palette, why it's so colorful sometimes. I born that way with too much colors in sync. I hey, love man. the color palette. I, I love how you yeah. kind of work in a lot of those like pastel kind of colors that are a little bit muted and just they, it just looks so good with your line art. It's just nobody colors your work as good as you, I think. Much like Shelby's work. Yeah, Shelby's amazing. Right. So Shelby, yeah. what thing you don't do? Uh, I don't know about comics. I don't about comics. <laughs> oh, I don't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, signal before making a left. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm he not really good at lettering. He's done going to the bathroom. He's, he's, oh no! Yeah, I, yeah I, I, I accidentally washed them before I used the bathroom, and then it's all messy. <laughs> yeah, I uh, really lettering, man. Uh, I'm no good. I am. I am the worst letter. 
I, I tried it before. It's not my thing. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, lettering is something that I think a lot of people, a lot of artists try to do. Uh, well, but you planify sometimes the space. you're better off hiring somebody. Okay, what you think in the space for the lettering? Or you say this is the problem of the lettering? When, when you uh, have like the, the, poor the layout. handwriting or poor, you know like where it's going to be the balance. No, yeah, no, I, I feel like I have a natural. I kind of, I feel like I have a natural instinct on um, negative space that's needed. Yeah. I, I still draw through it, uh, mainly because I really like doing the black and white editions with no lettering. So I'm like, well, someone's going to see all this work I put into it regardless, because I'm going to have an edition out with no lettering as well. So, um, you know, but yeah, for the finished product, full color with the lettering and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't stress it. I don't stress it too much. I know a lot of, a lot, a lot of other pros that, um, they, they get too married to the lines, you know, uh, they, they don't want anything covered up. So they, they figure out like, Oh, I did this really cool fade here, this cool vehicle here and I don't want it covered up. So, they'll finagle it in any way they can to try to make sure the letter doesn't cover that one spot. And, uh, sometimes that's inevitable. You know, you can't, you just, you, you kind of have to like, uh, it's like handing it off and, and trust that it's going to turn out. Okay. Right. Like you just kind of hand it off the letter and like, oh, I hope, you know, I hope they don't cover that thing, but if they do, it's yeah. not the end of the world, you know? So Ken, if you got a question here in the chat, um, have you decided if you're going to go in demand? Are you still debating or, or, or what's up? I think I'm going to give the opportunity to people who go late to the campaign. Okay. Uh, nice. I checked the, the option. Okay. Uh, I hope it's function. Like I said at the beginning, yeah. I hope it's that function. Um, the, yeah, I, I think we, did the goal, uh, the thing I didn't mm -hmm. expect it. Well, you did it, guys. I'm oh, it's, high, it's higher <laughs> than the last time we checked. Quite a bit. All right, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Um, You know, uh, so you are, he is going in, so um, whatever. But yeah, yes. let's still push this man, you know what I'm saying? Um, You know, we, we did hit the 125K stretch goal, but uh, let's refresh here. Um, whew. But uh, yeah. yeah, I think most, you know, especially, you know, the people in here just love you, brother. So, you know, I think everybody just wants to see you succeed. So, um, you know, I don't think anybody would be. You'll make it. I think everybody's going to be happy for you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and big shout out to Wayne. He's he's a he be, he backed uh, day one for all the covers yeah. and he just backed again for one and two. Said, and again, Kenneth, congrats, congrats to Wayne for winning that awesome Roken Ford original art on the giveaway. Oh, he did win that, didn't he? That was yeah. that was him. Yeah, I'm sending it out to him this oh. week. That's right. Along Congrats, with some extra Wayne. goodies. So be on the lookout for that, Wayne. I am so jealous, but be on the lookout for that. <laughs> wow. Nice. That's super. Which uh which piece which piece was that? Um I can send uh D Wag a pick of it if he is uh yeah. if he doesn't have one. Let's see. Yeah, if you want to send it to me, I will. Uh, oh yeah, wasn't it that the uh, the creature bust? Oh yeah, yeah, beautiful, absolutely awesome. beautiful. Yes, I, I did that piece specific for the for the giveaway. Uh, the, the <laughs> couldn't more. thank you enough for that, man. It the, is, like, so cool. I I didn't like I I say in that stream. Okay, I going to do something. I don't know, it's monster lady or whatever. And I decide to do something specific for, for that gift. It's That's awesome, man. To try to, I know I, I like give a fresh piece of art or oh, illustration, mm, yeah. how, how you may name it. And um, yes, I I feel more like a collaborate for the movement in that way, like a something fresh. It was. It was definitely fresh. I mean, look at it. Jeez. Ah, so beautiful. Wayne, you're a lucky man. <laughs> yeah, this thing's yeah. this thing's sick, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, your characters it, are like something out of Star Wars or Mad Max or uh -huh. something. They're so weird. You just look at them. 
and you say, what the hell is this guy's story? Or what's, you know, what is, what's going on here? I need, I need to know more. Yeah. yeah. I really like your astrobiology. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. His character <laughs> designs are unlike anything I've ever seen. It's he, he right. lends all of these kinds of styles together, like sci-fi fantasy, a little bit of cyberpunk in there. It's just, and it always comes together beautifully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, well, he can say I did exclusively that piece for him because it yeah. was for the winner. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, this is specifically drawn for the 1K giveaway. And Wayne, it is all yours, pal. Congrats on the win. You deserve it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, that was that was an amazing. That, I mean, that's the biggest giveaway that in the history of CG and whatever. Just, uh, you know. Crazy. <laughs> probably any comics any comics at all you know and and like dude like so i think like was this was the the giveaway was the day of shay's auction wasn't it like in, in... uh yes shay had the had her auction so. uh early in the morning and pretty much all day and we started later on at night around 10 p.m yeah. eastern by the time we started i believe yeah. the auction was over by then yeah. yeah. And I mean, I was I, like, you know, Kenneth had a few, quite a few pieces in there. Um, and then like, like these were going for a couple grand. So mm. Kenneth okay. just, you know, out of the graciousness of his heart, you know, as, as, as fantastic of, a, of I, an I'm illustrator for the as next are, one, man. The, the next number to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, give some, another piece. Ooh. Okay. All right. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. And with me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll keep you that know, in mind. You, like, as as awesome of an illustrator as Kenneth is, and he's he's the best. Like he's even better of a person. So yeah, just straight big up. shout out to you, man. There's nothing much. Well, you he's know, let's real he, talk. he's he's second best. Rob Arnold claimed best. Oh yeah, Ro yeah. Rob Forget, Arnold did claim about Rob best. Arnold. Best. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that. Rob Arnold's a okay. liar. <laughs> and, and yeah. that's, remember, uh, I said that was that's the key element in becoming a pro. You have to lie. That's the that's the most important part of being a professional uh, artist. You're on the right track, Rob. I need to work on that. Yeah. Good job, Rob. Hey, look, you're <laughs> still there, man. You get you still got a little bit of that smile. Now it's a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> it's my face in the, the tongue. Don't say See, ghost and that, look, in the same I do. sentence. Rob's gonna get the wrong idea and think he's got a cover coming. See, I wash yeah. my hands. Remember how dark that was earlier? <laughs> I wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to be known as the uh, the dirt worm. He he doesn't wash his hands after the bathroom, and that he, that 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 stuck. <laughs> that was something he just couldn't get away from. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Just went up seven hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, all right. right. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Class of ninety four AHS forever. That's right. Yeah. Scroll down the page. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Facebook groups. What's up? Scroll the campaign. Scroll down. Show some of Classmates.com. Thank you. <laughs> Ring doorbell app. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mercari. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> to yeah, all I like my uh, only fan supporters. <laughs> and that cover is so good. I like it one. is. It's a beautiful, beautiful Stella cover. I like what Wayne is saying in the chat. Uh, Kenneth, I love the balancing of the color. White helm and shoulder, the light green with the red, orange. It's sick, man. It really is. That's such a cool design. Thanks. The, the, the thing um, when you work from characters who have colors at certain points mm -hmm. in your custom, you need to play with the pose because you need to put some elements like uh, your eye moving. It's not mm -hmm. only the color of the character. You need to to consider in the composition colors. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenneth, so uh, I, I'm asking this just because I already know like my own answer to it. What, uh, because you know that you're coloring yourself. Do you change your uh, approach to the line art than you would normally on like say like a commission? Uh, the, the the commission. I I need to know it's going to be black and white or color right. from the beginning, because it's different approach. That depend what is the medium you're going to use. Uh, when people say, "I oh, can," you did a, a black and white commission. I want you color now. I say, "No, <laughs> the, the piece is done. 
Yeah. Because you designed it, you meant for it to be in black and white. So you'll do certain things in a certain way that just wasn't meant to have color. Yeah, I totally understand that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I meant, I meant, I meant more so like, uh, like your interior pages. Like, uh, if you think someone else was coloring you, would you draw it differently than if you knew you were coloring it? I want one moment in my life when the colors they don't have too much and i think hey i need to put more black areas to don't mm-hmm. give the opportunity to the colors damage my work yeah <laughs> uh, you know but he's thinking about the thing that important how how much space you give to the colors to to feel feel free or you control the colors mm-hmm. but it also is depend on the title if you can yeah. have the opportunity to uh, positive area, negative areas, and stuff. Um, it's always have a good conversation with the colorist to say, okay, I want soft colors or more saturated. Depend the the title, not not by each page, but you have have a good communication of what you expected. If the colorist says, no, that's my style, and deal with that, and say, okay, I hope they change next time <laughs> the colorist. <laughs> Because it need to be a teamwork because it's right. um, having good communication. I have, I have, I'm blessed to have good colorists in my career and they help. Um, but I like colors too. And I'm the competition of them when I have the opportunity. If That's I can right. color my, my work, I, I do my work and I, mm-hmm. I expect them. Yeah. Uh, emulate my style and color my spot. Um, I, in Marvel, I, I was a backup colorist. I did some pages in the, in the coming of Ultimates. One page at the end of um, Galactus, the Lightbringer. I think I, I draw a few pages in the, interior, in the interior book because the colorist have a bad schedule. He didn't finish. At time, so they needed was, you to come in and fill in basically. Yes, I, I, I need to cover my time, do my time, yeah, and also help over to. And it was, yeah, but this is a teamwork, right? We, yeah, mm-hmm. teamwork, right? Teamwork makes the dream work, especially mm-hmm. when uh, art is concerned. Some of the yeah. best pieces out there are collaborative efforts, you know. Yeah. So. And I did a few times a few titles in yeah. Madame Mirage, the first pages, two pages I did by my own to in that way the other colors can base on my on my style yeah it is i did colors all, all my life if i had the opportunity but for timing it's better have a colorist yeah yeah if you're uh, pressing time it, yeah it be, how, how you prefer have a colorist or you do your own Hey, can we hit 127K in like under 30 minutes? We might. We just might. Yeah, I, I do prefer coloring myself, um, but I do your like the manage. Your colors so good on your work. Like, the, like I've the, seen other people color your work. <laughs> it, it looks good, but when you color your own work, yeah. much like Rokafor, it it just looks so good, man. Yeah, I, but there, there are instances where I've had other people color pieces that I was originally going to color. And then for whatever reason, I actually like it more. I'm like, you know what? They made a lot of decisions here Mm -hmm. that I wouldn't have made. And it actually enhanced the piece. Um, A very good, a very good example is uh, when I finished inking that Del Kion, the, the uh, cover for CG vacation. Uh, Oh yeah. Phil had it mentioned if I was coloring it and, and uh, I'm glad I, didn't because I do like the colors on that cover a lot uh, now. I don't think so, I've seen them yet. Yeah, Phil posted the final the final colored cover on uh, Twitter. Not really. So, I'm not too excited. But yeah, no, it turned out really nice, man. Uh, and I was like, you know what, ah, dude, I, I like it a lot. Like, and I even told him I was like, um, you know, they they made a lot of the right decisions. Um, I did get the layered file, and I and I did some. I tweaked a few things out that needed to be bumped up a bit. Um, but really, that's just, uh, you know, end of the line. It's kind of like the gaming process, because I had asked Bill, I'm like, hey, can you get me, like, the layered file in case they, like, 
botch it and then I can like fix some stuff. Um, mm -hmm. It's just finish line work. It's, it's not really heavy lifting with the piece. Uh, and it didn't really require that much. It was a little bit of uh, some of the levels were a little dark. They contrasted too much to characters right next to them and things like that. But um, overall, I mean, they, they nailed it. it. It turned out really, really nice. Um, yeah, but I, I haven't had the same opportunity, like for really good colorists. Um, it seems like I would always get fill in issues or uh, really cheap publishers that, that mm -hmm. just wanted to use somebody who they were a friend of or something. And it's like, oh man, yeah. like they destroyed. I almost wish I just took four times as long and colored it myself. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. yeah, it oh, happens. There. I see. It I happens. See vacation piece. Oh wow! This is this came out nice. These colors are. Yeah, great. it did. It did, and that's yeah, and that's not my colors. I I did the edits, but I didn't color it. Yeah. Wow, they did great. Cyberfrog looks good. Crimstone and, and uh, mm -hmm. Pit look really good. Yeah, yeah, and I really like the colors I mean, that they it, used uh, for Pit. Yeah. Like Pit's Pit skin looks really cool. Right. Like I was totally like, man, they used a out. little bit of a yellow, like a hard light to it. I'm gonna send this to you, Dwag, if you want to uh, okay, yeah, share yeah. it with everybody. Because yeah, yeah they, they, people should see this beautiful work, man. This is great. Yeah, yeah that one turned out. That one turned out pretty good. But yeah, this came out uh, great. If, if it was hundred there in the corner, <laughs> and yeah. Like cannibal. So I I only inked I only inked that piece. So um, mm -hmm. Del Kion obviously penciled it. But on something that I do, um, I work similar to Kenneth. I I just do pencils and then I I scan that, go straight to color. Um, Nice. On majority of my work, I don't ink very often on my own. Yeah, look at that. But, yeah, no, it pops and it looks fun. It looks like a summertime piece too. Um, I, I would probably make it. I, I would have gone a little too gothicy, I think, to be honest. Yeah, it does have that summer vibe because yeah, where it's not too yeah. dark. You know, you don't want it to be too kind of gritty because it's got that summer feel. And I think they definitely captured that for sure. Who colored this? Yeah. Uh, Phil. Phil's colorist, actually, the the uh, the same colorist the who works on the crim the uh, the crim the crimstone story, yeah. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this came out. My buddy's uh, dying days and arrogant ape made a made an awesome trailer for it. That's right. Bad, a couple badass trailers uh, yeah. that went along with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull that up if that's cool for you guys. Derek Ward. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Do you wear? Do you wear? Do you have clips in this? Huh? Can you do? Can you do clips in this program in the restream? Uh, yeah, I can. I don't have. I don't have them uh, pulled up though. Or uh, uh, okay. I've only. Used, you know, this is only. Have, yeah. The, technically, this is only my sixth stream. Um, the three yeah. were at a con, and there then this is. is only my third stream. So, um, I, nice. you know, I. Uh, I was just curious. I have. I'm not familiar with this program. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. upload them and stuff. I just, like I said, I like I, I've just been uh, procrastinating and stuff. You know, like like me and St you know, oh shit. Um, me and Steve were wanting to. Uh, put out our skits and stuff like we normally do and, and, and um, type of type of content that we were doing on our old show. But, uh, yeah, man, busy um, at the moment. We're Tiger Blue a lot of all stuff. Yeah, we got a little bog, yeah. bog down. Yeah. And, there uh, you go. Sorry. Yeah. We'll be back. Look at those guns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going I'm to let this play here. Hey, it's the Diaz Brothers from Zay Comics, and we're back with our latest campaign, bringing together all the greatest artists and talent that CG has to offer. So take a look at- Whoa! I'll take it from here, Diaz Brothers. What up, people? It's your boy, Mr. CG. Allow me to be your tour guide on the biggest, bounciest beach party book in CG history. CG Vacation! <laughs> We got bodacious beach bots springing up from the biggest properties in indie comics. Baby, you don't need those guns when you got these guns, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Featuring art from the industry's heavy hitters, as well as the best new CG talent. I'm talking Dale Keown, Billy Tucci, Ati Bear, Shaq the Jenny, Remy Draws, and many more. Rubbing 
click on hot properties you love, like Pit, Sheep, First Net, Sovereign Wolf, Cyber Frog, Chanu, The Loser, Downcast, oh, I go on and on. And I will! We got Andy Smith, Kelsey Shannon, PTP, Kaylee, Lil Presti, Monster MD, Rage Tully, Graveyard Shift! Yo, on CG Beach, we even got the weeds covered. Or, uh, uncovered. Ha! <laughs> It's gonna be more than 50 pages of pinup perfection, like Benumbra over here. <laughs> hey, Mamacita, I was just walking by, and I couldn't help but notice. Holy crap, what the hell is that? We're all gonna die! Why are you posing right now? So what are you waiting for? Take a little break and get away with all your faves. You know you deserve it. Back CG vacation on Indiegogo today. Later, gang! We got Dahl, Robertson, Joe Ball, Sontag, Sneary MTS, Lawless, Bancroft, Romero, McMahon, Dalton, Casanova. Just too many to mention, dude! Nice. <laughs> Big shout out to Arrogant Ape and Dying Days for putting that together. Big shout out to Phil. Um, Helawasi. Buy them guys, smoke some more weed, oh. you'll get it. Oh, 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 oh. Do, oh. I need to, do I need to pull up a broken? <laughs> no, yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. So All right. All right, let's see here. Is it pulled up? Close. Let's, let's hit a refresh. Can we get 1,500 backers? We got 20 minutes. Uh, 25 more dollars. Oh, man. The 20 minutes. Oh, uh, <laughs> almost. Be the hero. Ooh, only twenty-five dollars away from one hundred and twenty-seven thousand dollars. The next backer will put this over the one hundred and twenty-seven k mark. Are there any heroes in the chat tonight that can put this thing over? I guess we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, come on, guys. This um, this man painted a gorilla with Henry Cavill, bro. Like Henry freaking <laughs> Cavill, Superman. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a good time. Kenneth's like, you guys are ridiculous. Oh, uh, right, uh, hold on, hold on. Before we refresh, before we refresh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a clip from you know some awesome campaign show off. You know what I'm saying? Most of these guys, all the campaigns are in the description, and then we're gonna come back. And we're gonna refresh. We'll be back in one minute. Books, check them out. Books, check them out. Pick up a book. You got a fantasy? Imagination can take you to where you want to be. Are you curious? How can you find out? Books, check them out. Books, check them out. Read about stars and cars, play electric guitars, or cops that work hard, patrolling the boulevard, the heavyweight champ, and his craziest bout. Books, check them out. Books, check them out. At your library. All right, all right. Let's refresh, and then we can we can play the Groken uh, trailer here in just one second here. All right, so I'm gonna refresh. See if we got it. Did we get it? I I sent my payment in. So did it's... the back the backer number did the backer number change? Uh, I think the backer number changed. I don't. I it did. It, it was a delay earlier for me yeah. too. So yeah, the yeah, backer number did change. Update. We're just waiting on the money now. Okay. There's one more extra backer, so we are officially going to be over 127k as soon as this ticks over. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, all right. Well, let's see. Let's see here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. Do it hey, again. Bow. Yeah. Bow. Bow. There we go. Bow. All right. 1603. That's that backer number. Wow. Oh, 127. Beautiful. 7 number. 7. Yeah. Whew. That's Crimshell. Wow. We are on we are so close to the finish line, you guys. Um, and we have completed so much. Thank you guys so much in the chat. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna give big it big shout out to the chat. Yeah. Big shout out yeah. to everybody, everyone that's back to campaign, there, everyone that's promoted it, all of you. Yeah. You guys are rock Thank stars. You. Thank you, Lord Crackhead. Thank you, DWAG. Shall be everyone oh, here. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Everybody. Everyone. You guys really killed yeah, it. The, the, the thing, you make the time for opening your channels. Um, it's oh, it's, it's it. nice to be here in good company. <laughs> to celebrate. <laughs> oh, man, dude. 
Nah, dude, like, like you're, you're honestly like, I mean, it's so cool that like, you know, like that you come in here, you don't just, you know, when you show up, man, like you actually talk to the people in the chat, man, yeah. like engage with a huge them, honor, really man. So love them, you know, like. You didn't have to give away, you know what I'm saying? Like that piece that you made, dude. You're so right. good. You've done so much more that people don't even know. You know what I mean? Like just mm. stuff you, you speak. Yeah. Yeah. But I really want to say thank you, thank you for you guys, the people who really made that happen. Also the chat, every bucket, like I always say, put the first one to the end. And they continue their welcome. And thanks. Um we we oh. still doing good product, good comics for you enjoy. That's right, putting out yeah, good and product yeah. and spreading the love and having fun and you know, adhering yeah. to that golden rule which is just have fun and that's what we're doing here. That and just put you know really like the thing that we, you know we want to do is put out just good comics man you know what I'm saying yeah. and and, and really focus and on that. Vibes. Um, Holy crap, we just got two new backers on the see. campaign. Uh -oh. Wait, 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 wait. Where, where, where am I at here? Where, who, who oh, back? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I here, didn't say I'll, stop. Okay, me... I don't going to say stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, let's, let's 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 move you. All right, let's refresh here. Um, yeah, yeah. Much bow. We got 15 minutes left. Final 15. Hopefully, it, <laughs> it goes in. We're 15 back. We're 16 backers oh. away. We just jumped up another two backers again. Wow. Three more. Um, okay, hold on. Holy crap. And They're coming in now. I want to – oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, People yes. are really coming. I, I want to show off this guy. Um, I – as Straff Sterling, yeah, he, he was the guy that asked earlier. I think he probably respected the honest answer because he just backed. Thank you, brother. Um, You know, uh, appreciate you uh, showing support, man. So, uh, awesome. Much Thank love. You. Awesome. Yep. This is beautiful. Oh. Mo Biggs is back. Mo Biggs. Mo hey. Biggs. Mo Big shout out to you, brother. Mo Biggs does so much for the channel, you guys. Um, you know, can't thank him enough. Um, you know, but yeah. Uh did uh did uh did you get to see the final um here I'm gonna sh I'm gonna pull up uh Steve's R A R real quick here. Um Man, dude, I've, I've been getting blown up today, you guys. Um, here it is. Here it is. Um, I'm going to pull up the f back that we got for uh, um, this right here. Boom. All right, all right. Let me share this real quick for Mo Biggs. Thank you, brother. Um, boom. All right. But, yeah, Mo. I think, we, uh, Steve, you have an edit on that? Oh, haven't done it yet, but yeah, we showed it to some people. Aldis, our good friend, suggested a an edit in the second paragraph that I think I'm going to take his advice on. I just haven't done it. Can you zoom in on it at all? Is that as big as you can get? Yeah, I can zoom in. Show the part down here at the bottom. This is what we want to tell everyone. If we're making these for everyone in our chat and all our friends that help promote all our stuff. And um, awesome. Aww. They're not going to be for sale anywhere, but we're going to make no, as no, many. Not in Target? No. no. And, it, it, and as you guys see, we, we got AR-15s in Walmart. Walmart. We promise they will not yeah. turn up in yeah. Walmart. <laughs> I mean, we'd make a fortune if we did, but yeah, you know, I mean, know what I'm saying? As you see right here. We could sell a million you know, of these, the but we're just going to make them special. for. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know. Like, I haven't, you know fully like talk to steve but like i think the, i think what i want to do is like these are going to be handed out to you guys that make shit happen like cool shit happen in the chat um like that but like what we'll do is is like there's a ton of aro fan art yeah. that so we're going to kind of right. try to you know make like limited edition ones so like you know after however many fowler order i think he made or ordered 30 of these Some um, you know, we'll make another line, 30. maybe so, yeah that's yeah 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 that's kind of good idea colors and the does that mean and different things does that mean we're going to get a sexy ARO? Possibly. Like what I drew that one time? <laughs> oh, Dean, yeah. Dean's, yeah. Dean's ARO. Dean did a uh, Titanic um, <laughs> homage uh, where where he drew the girl, or he drew the orangutan with the girl. I don't know if Mo was now, uh, There's the meaning that of furry. About well, you'd have to ask oh, Steve. No. Hey, Steve, will some yeah. uh, cha-chas fit inside of that blister pack? Um, <laughs> We can use a different 
blister, maybe. <laughs> if it doesn't, we're we're got kind of where I where we're getting our blisters from. You know, there's like a selection, so we do have to yeah to um keep that in mind when you know posing and designing how they're gonna fit in that pack. But once we get rolling here, we'll we'll be making our own blister bubbles. We'll just make whatever we want, and we'll make blisters that that fit our figures specifically. That'll be down the road. We we I know how to do all this stuff. We just need to get the time and the money and and things like that you know once yeah, one foot in yeah. front of the other we're you know we'll get there but each yeah. each each day hanging around comic skate or whatever i learned something new every day from all the people i hang around people in the chat and all the other creators and well speaking of apes man arrogant ape is tuckering out for the night thank you brother for all you do you're amazing he hung you this all night voice acting um yep thank you man for hanging out and all you do like he's he's awesome man can't yeah. can't replace him a. so a. A. big shout one, out man. later double yeah, yeah we need some funny voices all of the chat supports yeah, all of these a. books multiple backings too almost every mm -hmm. book he backs he'll back two three four five six some sometimes ten times and uh yeah he's yep. one of the biggest supporters we have shout out to arrogant mm -hmm. and his masterful voiceover work yeah, yeah. and he's funny so much man, man. He's hilarious. Oh, he is. Man. He really is. Hilarious. It's been a while. Does the campaign say one hour for the entire hour, and then it just stops? yes. Yeah. Yep. So Unless there's no you, count, there's no and, timer. There's a, there's a timer, but you have to request it from Indiegogo. They don't just put it up mm -hmm. automatically. You have to email them okay. and ask for the counter, and then they'll put it up during like the last uh, week or so, or the last forty eight yeah. hours. They'll put that ticker up. I, I, I it feel like be we've been back. looking at this one hour left for an hour already. That's why I'm yeah. asking him why. Yeah. This yeah. thing's been up for a bit. It'll go from one hour to closed. Hmm. All right, guys, yeah, you got 30 seconds. That, um, yeah. Well, hey, he's not he's not too far off. Less than 10 minutes now. Come on, we can go 128K. Let's go. <laughs> Uh oh, we got somebody. We got a giant in here for a giant of a campaign. Phil Diaz. Thank you, so Thank hey. you, brother. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Where Where my hell, Phil. Chat. Those guns. Congratulations. Bro. Look at these. Thank Who you. needs those guns when you got these guns? What's going on, Phil? Nothing much. Just doing a little bit of writing. I was listening to you guys uh, earlier, and then uh, I, got, I finished a page, a page, got to a page point, so I jumped in. You know, taking a little break here. Yeah. Oh, what's sorry? Oh, dude, I, sorry. I want to give you some kudos. Oh, oh go ahead, go ahead, Kenneth. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I want to to know more information about what he's working on. Oh, I'm writing uh, the next Lost Pages, Lost Pages three. Lost Pages three. Yeah. Gonna I got to back it officially. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna be launching that sometime in November. That can't be. Nice. If we get everything on certification fulfilled. Yeah, we're gonna get some more uh, more lost pages this year, hopefully. Wow, oh, that was that's awesome. quick. I mean, it feels like just the other uh, just yesterday that we were receiving the lost pages too. And but yeah, yeah. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. The Diaz brothers they stay steady cranking those books out, so that's uh, it's not too surprising mm -hmm. at this point anymore. Yeah. You guys really really crank them out, and at high quality, so that's awesome. Yeah, I'm the slow Zaid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one's steady though. Steady. Steady. Back in the we got the camel. We got camel up in here. Good to see you, Camel Moon. No camel. But yeah. No eight. It's yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got we got man, yeah. you know. Almost five hours, Darren. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm feeling it too. I I, I, I've, I've been on. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I, I don't know if you guys are. You know, I'm. <laughs> on, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold 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 on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on. He's been here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I got you. I got you. Awesome. Well, you got a. Oh, wait, you wait. drink? Did you drink a Bang Energy too, D, D Rag? <laughs> uh, no, I, I I get those, but no, I mean, I I got more. I mean. If you guys can see here, I got. Yeah, yeah you I need mean, you need to take a photo of that. <laughs> become a uh, become an influencer on Instagram, D Wag. Oh yeah. yeah, my heart my heart was about <laughs> to explode. I was sitting there so nervous, like thinking we were gonna this. hit that. 
that stretch goal and everybody's going to blame me. Um, <laughs> and, and I was going to, you know. You did good. Oh, did did you good. Okay. Really good. No. No. Everyone. Yeah, you know, your, your heart's the size of an almond, bro. These are from a – so, like, I actually used to be addicted to these things. I was drinking eight be. of these a day – or, well, not eight – eight of these. Hold on. They said eight of these a day. Bulls to kill a man. Oh. The D-Wag did it in two. So. <laughs> yeah, there's a drip in there. Get it, bro. <laughs> oh. I used to drink Monster. Oh, oh I love Monster, Monster too. I, I just – um. I, I think I more drink for it because they have some codes for Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day when NOS first uh, started as a company, I went to a, a fighting game tournament in Atlanta, and it was sponsored by NOS. So they had these just big, basically like garbage cans, but they were NOS drums. They looked like <laughs> NOS cans, and they were filled with free bottles of NOS. And so everyone was just grabbing them, sucking them down. And like three people passed out and had to be like hospitalized because oh, there were no. like too many of the things <laughs> at the tournament. No water fountains, just NOS. No, oh, no. It's got yeah, electrolytes. Hey, so, so back around, so it, it was around 93, I guess, of what they used to do at my high school was they would bring in these uh, college girls in two piece bikinis. With yeah. these giant backpacks right and on the mm -hmm. back it it was uh the the it had the wings out of it it was they were they were handing out red bulls at lunch breaks and they would just yeah. walk the campus and, and i was like whoever whoever came up with this is smart as hell yeah because every dude was like yeah yeah oh yeah i love red bull they have never had a red bull mm. <laughs> yeah. oh yeah it's a mo. Mm. So uh, Mo Big says he would like to congratulate Kenneth on a great closeout and Colonel Crack on maintaining his Hello, rank. Mo. Thank you, Mo. Since Groken 2 hit his stretch goal, he can remain the Colonel. Well, yeah. Yes. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. And thank you guys um, on the panel, too, for coming and helping out, too, and, and you know, oh, yeah, staying here this whole time. Um, I just you know, finished this you. cover piece, so. Oh, yeah. Hey. yeah. So that's what you, yeah. I'm, I can't show you. I bet you I can't, can't show, show us, you. Can't I just finished no. it. Oh, okay. Okay. So we got less than five minutes, minutes, guys, in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey where, where are you at? Down to the where, where are you at? All right, all right, all right. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, let me make it big. Let me make it big. Giggity. Boom. All right, let's 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 refresh. Hold on, baby. Let me make it big. I was going to tell Phil, uh, I was watching his show the other night. His show's really, really getting good, man. Oh, they had on, um, you got a couple backers, game two. Um, you had on the Morpheus, and it was the blue pill versus the red pill. And it was like the red pill was become a god, and the blue pill was uh, a place like a blueberry gummy bear or yeah. something like that, dude. And the chat, like, that's what we used to do on our old show. And you really, like, reminded me of the type of stuff. Like, that was kind of like what Stickers versus Bookmarks was. Yeah, we, we try to do whatever people polls. People people love polls in the chat, and we try to make yeah. them you know, the stupider the poll, the better. So we'll just yeah, the <laughs> stupider the more they like it. Yeah, well, man, like I've I've talked to people before is like um, is like you. You want to like you know dumb it down in the chat because like some people man if and everybody's like this unless you've been kind of like you know your brain's kind of like warmed up to it but like you know you have people that be like Batman is the best superhero and then you got other people well you're an idiot it's obviously Superman and then other people are gonna be like oh Superman yeah he he's invincible uh, you know and people are really get into big ass arguments and stuff so <laughs> stuff like that can kind of just break stuff down and we are down to the final three minutes three you guys minutes. so. <laughs> Three, uh, three, uh. Yeah. but uh yeah um can we man dude it would be so awesome to get 1500 backers i mean you basically there you know what i mean uh, yeah. um kenneth uh, yeah. how many backers did you have on on um groken one do you remember yes um 1137 there you go. Okay, so you've gained backers, you've gained well funds. over 300 more backers on this campaign. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Growing, always growing. That's awesome. Kenneth, yeah. you, you gained the support of AHS, class of 1994. Thank you to the class. 
That's right. uh, my mom called. She backed. She actually did back because I accidentally used her credit card to pay. So that's me. Thank I my appreciate mom. that. That was <laughs> My accident. <laughs> And she ain't gonna oh, see this. Yeah. So by accident, I kind of was like, oh yeah. Um, so I have a gift for her, for you. Said, yeah. What coming. was this for, Nas? <laughs> D-Wag, D-Wag's gonna get grounded, but he has a book to read during it. Yeah, yeah. D-Wag oh, bought yeah. a case of, Ma- of Nas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. You you know, Steve, you're the brand new owner. Check it out. Here's what you got. Boom. You know awesome. I'm saying you got Groken and stuff. So, um, oh, congrats man. to you, brother. Boom. But uh, I want to see someone yeah, cosplay as Groken. Impossible. Oh, dude, that man, that would be a that's going to be complicated yeah. to make, man. Uh-huh. Real skinny. Yeah, real and skinny. skinny. Yeah. I want to see a you nice, know? sexy chick cross uh, dressing up as Stella. That's what I want. Yeah, to see. me too. I want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Checkpoints. I have friends who are the cosplayers. Yeah, one minute. One. One minute. One minute. Back one minute. now or forever hold your peace. One Until in demand, maybe. Big. Hopefully it works. Otherwise, we're all effed. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we almost we almost got it there, Kenneth. I know last night uh D Wag promised one hundred and eighty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Almost yeah, close. just yeah yeah maybe the next one we'll get it we'll get it there. way to go D Wag <laughs> yep, yep. here we go calm down oh. Oh, it's done. been a great uh, ah! it's 12. It's 12. there it is it's two a.m. my time right. it is, is it I, I, it's the, on the there you go three, three a.m. Eastern yeah three a.m. it should be closed oh, looks like it's well. In- yeah, the funding part it's anyway. In it's over. And, and there's yep. that. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Man. Congratulations, okay, it Kenneth. It is closed and you are in demand. Big awesome. shout out to everybody in the chat, too. You guys hey. killed it tonight. Yes, chat. My Native American side. Everyone. Yeah, John pacing. is saying, D Wag, your mother is going to slap your bum. It was well worth it. So, <laughs> um, big shout out to you. Congrats. You know, everybody's saying, congrats. Um, Thank you. You know, congrats. I would say every name there. Where the story goes. So this is going to be awesome. Kenneth. <laughs> boom. How you feel, man? Super. Is that you? I Super? I feel like Superman. A... Yeah, kind of. Maybe more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 thank you. I appreciate nice. all, all of you. Oh, uh, yeah. you don't re- yeah. re- we re- appreciate you, have. man. We appreciate you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Kenneth, yeah. Kenneth, thanks for creating yeah. cool comics, bro. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for believing Thanks me. for keeping us That's interested in comics ever. when everywhere else outside of this network, they seem to be dying on the vines. So, and, I, and I thank all of you creators here for that. So big shout out. We are here for you. For yeah. all the supporters. And right back at you, man. You know that always. Well, yeah, it's done for today, right? Yep. Yep. All right, guys. I think that's gonna wrap it up. Let me see if we got any outros we can play. Um, thank you guys for showing up. I don't have any loaded up, man. But leave it a big piece, and a, you know what I'm saying a Roka Force. You know, bow. Roka the way. Force. So much bow, guys. Bow. Shout out to the chat. Bow. You guys killed it. Wow. 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 Wow.